Hey everyone, looks like we're live now. My name's Chris. I'm Wendy. And we're Meeple Overboard. That we are, and today we are having famous... Hall of Fame designer... Phil Walker-Harding. Game Marathon. <laughs> we're we do playing this, nine games. We're playing nine of his games, today, seven of which are in our collection, and the other two, a friend of ours said, you don't have those? Why don't you own those? And then they dropped him by. So we were playing uh, two of uh, two games, which are a friend's copy. And I do wish that we owned one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other is going to actually be the first time that we've ever played it. So we have never played Emotep the Duel. So yes. Read the rules. Should be fine. It should be good. Yeah. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about reading a Phil Walker Harding rule book is they're usually pretty small. So we're starting <laughs> today. Like, look at this thing. This is like a, this is it. And most of it's pictures. <laughs> I love, I love Phil Walker Harding games because mm -hmm. they are, they're always short, punchy, quick, easy rules and everything. And that's what we're starting with today is this little number right here, Cloud, Cloud City. City. This is newest release, actually. Uh, just came out from Blue Orange Games. Uh, that was, I mean, this came out like this month along with um, Meeple Land, their amusement park game. In fact, if you want to watch us play a different version of it, just meaning the same game but a different time, we have another video of it already recorded and up on YouTube. So yeah, that's true. But you actually. get to watch it now. So yeah, that's Why that's bother? the most important part. So yeah, let us know if the sound is good. We are live. So if you're in the chat, you know, chat away, say hello, introduce yourself. We'll be here all night because all we're playing all night. Nine of them. <laughs> all right. So what is Cloud City all about? Uh, Cloud City is all about these nice little pieces here. We're setting up a 3D city. And are we going to do the 3x4 or the 3x3 grid? Yeah, let's definitely what did we do decide? the... Let's do the 3x4. By what did we decide, you mean, oh, we haven't... What are we deciding right we now? We haven't talked about this <laughs> at all. Um. So basically what we're doing is we are building nice little cities with these cute little attachments. And we are going to uh, attach things to them. Here's our fancy little... Oh, we need to pull these out. Oh, yeah, let's just dump those. Very nice. We're going to make little cities where things are connected by by uh, railways. What are these? No, they're just Pneumatic bridges. tubes? Sky bridges. Oh, I like pneumatic tubes actually more. They look like pneumatic tubes. This like, is going to be all uh, all cartoony today. It's all about, yeah, it's all about, it's all about going to the bank. <laughs> and being a kid and wishing that you could send something through that pneumatic tube. Wishing you could go through that pneumatic tube. Totally. That too, yes. So yeah, there's connection pieces. Um, once connections are out in a particular color, they are out for good. There's the same amount in each color, but each color represents a different height. It's hard to see um, once we start building them. But these are the different heights. So as you can see, um, you can build green over the top of blue and you can build brown over the top of all of them. But you cannot build blue over the top of a green or a brown space. Yeah, but they can go under the uh, the other bridges and stuff. So we'll actually be building bridges going over each other and stuff. It's a very neat little puzzle. It's a fun little 3D thing. Yeah, it starts with the tile laying and then you lay the buildings out onto them and then you make bridgeway connections if you want to. Let's see, what are our extra scoring objectives over here? We're playing with two, because we're doing the advanced variant. Is this the person with the most green buildings get six points at the end correct. of the game? Yep. And this one over here, what is this? Uh, minus two points. Oh, I can zoom in a little bit on that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so yeah, so most green buildings at the end of the game gets six points. A little bit hard to see uh, that number six in the, oh, there you go, yeah. Right there. Six points for having the most green buildings, and this one is minus two points, negative two points, for each building in your cloud city that doesn't have a bridgeway connected to it. So that's why there's the little X's in the corners there. So there we go. Mm -hmm. um, we each have a starting tile based on being first player and second player, and then we're going to be dealt out three more tiles in hand, and then we'll have a lineup of tiles from which we can pull. That we shall. Yoink, 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 yoink. All right. And then uh, let's see. I think it's three in the market. So let's put those out. I'll check if it's three or four. It's like the only thing I ever need. Yeah, just three. There you go. I mean, that's the setup of the game. Deal everyone three tiles. We start with the little buildings on here. Mm -hmm. And then we build away. I should look at what I have in my hand. 
Because that seems useful. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we're just going to play the game until we have built a three by four grid of these and then, you know, built out all the bridges and stuff that we want to. And then the points are written right on the bridges themselves. So the different length bridges will be different points. This length is a five point bridge, whereas the even longer one is like an eight point bridge. Uh, and the shortest ones are one, two or three points. Clown City. What's up, Paul? Welcome to the... Welcome to the Clown City party. Paul is the one who let us borrow a couple games. Yes, so, indeed. Thanks, Thank Paul. you. All right, I'm going to build this here with my green tower of power and my brown tower of terror because, you know. But it's Halloween. It's right. That's right. We're going to be partying until it's Halloween, very likely. Uh, it is 8 p.m. here in the Pacific time zone. And so. That it is. It'll likely be past midnight by the time we're done playing all nine games. <laughs> There he goes, that's what you did, huh? That's what I did. All righty then. Well, I think what I want to do is I'm going to build out this way. Oh, what did we determine this was? I'm sorry. Oh, negative two points for each bridge, or for each building that does not have any bridges connected to it. Okay, so connect a little bit of everything. Yep. That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Paul. Oh, that little thing of like live streaming and trying to pay attention to... Other stuff happening. Okay, yeah, I can see. It looks like Clown City. Interesting. Also, it always looks like Clown City to him because... Because the D doesn't have the bottom. It's like all, what mm. do you call it, cloudy over the top of it. I get it. Yeah, at least there's no chance of meatballs. Are you sure? Yes. All right. So, boom. So, uh, because I built two buildings in a straight connection shot from each other. I also went ahead and I uh, added onto there the bridge. This one, this particular bridge is worth three points. So I am just screaming to the lead and I'm gonna take this future tile because I'm gonna want to add it over there. Kazow. All right, Wendy, back to you. All right, back to me, back to reality. Mm, mm, I don't know what mm, I'm doing with my life, mm, so mm, that's mm, always mm, useful. Mm, mm. Um, I think I'm just gonna bust out the the super long length green right now while we're while we're at it. So there's only three of these per color, the super long ones. So we will begin with that. And what do I want? I don't know what I want. I want everything and nothing all at once. Do -do 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 -do. I will take maybe this one. How dare you? How dare I? Will you feel please? You got it. All right. Looks like we have a few new stragglers in the chat tonight. Mm. My mom is here, Karen Rosser. Hello. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Mm. Okay, yes. If I place that there, I can build the eight length uh, brown bridgeway. Oh, hopping in on those eights again. And then I put this green building here. Oh, that's funny. It's going to be a little bit hard to see. So I'm going to scooch it over for the camera. So I'm going to do that. And so I can build a, what is it, like a two point bridgeway here. But the only thing is that each building is only allowed to have two total bridgeways. So if I do that, then that means this building here can't build like out or anything. So I'll have to be, mm. I'll have to be cognizant of that as I plan that. Oh, all right. Um, boy, howdy. I'll just take this, I'll take this brown tile. I'm doing heavy brown this game. So let's see if that works or not. That we shall see. <clears throat> Oh, my life decisions. Okay. I think I'm going to do this. Question mark. We're just going to do a little green one. I think that's a two or two pointer. Right. Right there. Nope. Oh, I'm having trouble from this angle. Let's try again. Paul, have you gotten a chance to try Clown City? Ever since you pointed it out, I just keep looking at the logo and thinking it kind of right. looks like Clown City. I think I'm going to take that one. There's a lot of green and blue in the market. <laughs> uh, that there are. 
let's see. This is interesting because, yeah, there's only so many of these eight length routes, and we've each already used one. One of them, yeah. I'll tell you what, Paul, because you let us uh, borrow some of the games for tonight, you can borrow this one if you'd like. It's it's neat. It's small and quick, and it's very, you know what I mean? It's very, very Phil Walker Hardingy, where it's mm -hmm. just delightful and, and easy, but... Fun little puzzle. Yeah, especially two-player. We're playing the... In, normally, you play a three-by-three three city, but we're going to play the three-by-four because it makes, it makes it a little bit harder to plan everything. And just having a little bit extra, like that idea of having a little extra rope is enough to hang you yourself with. Like that, <laughs> that's kind of what this is works. like. See, I could do this. Meh. I don't know if I want to, eh. Or I could just throw this one out there, maybe. Just get those covered. Just so that you don't get the minus two points. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, this is good. I'll do that. And yoink yoink, I throw out some blue buildings, and the re like part of the reason that I really want to make sure to get this one is I don't want this. Uh, yeah, you, the camper can see it. There's a blue building sitting down here. I don't want to lose the two points for not building off of it. And since everything is going across, I want I want to make sure not to neglect that little fella, the little fella right there. All right. He's not forgotten. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this one. Replenish the market. It is aesthetically pleasing. I agree. It's really fun to see what your city ends up looking like in the end. I think that that is like half the pleasure of this game. Sometimes our cities look like cities. Sometimes they look like uh, weird train connections. Sometimes they look look like different things. Okay, so I'm going to take a, that's not a five, a three. Well, you are not allowed Ooh, to Ooh, I'm not build. allowed to connect yet. Yes. Got yeah. it. You're not allowed to build a bridgeway over an empty uh, a gap I in remember tiles. this now. Rules. Rules, schmools. Okay. Um, what to desire? What to want? I know where some of my things are going. I guess I'll take one of these duplicates because there's duplicates. No other particular reason. So I have five green buildings currently. Chris has three. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm leading in the plus six points, but that may change. You do have more green buildings. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about that objective. Okay, well, I'm glad I reminded you. <laughs> I'm not glad I reminded you. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no, no, you're not. And that's okay. Uh... On a side note, you guys can't see, but we do have these nice decorative pumpkins sitting out. We uh, made these with our daughter. Uh, Teresa says that your nails look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Halloween-y. I have a broken one. Nah, don't tell sad. them. Go but ahead. the rest of them look cool. Yeah, the secret's <laughs> out. Secret's out. Got to bring it up early. Teresa's one of those people that can naturally grow really long nails, and they always look great. And I do not have that ability. Mm -hmm. That's probably good, but... Mm. But I do have the ability to do my own nails, which is a great money saver. YouTube's wonderful. It's true. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm happy if I do that. So let me get out a blue and a green building. Because you're happy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> get a little two-point bridgeway connection here. And then a little two-point green bridge connection. Very nice. So that's good there. These ones will never connect. That's fine, because I'm not going to get hit with this minus objective. Because mm -hmm. uh, I've at least got some of the connections done. And now I need to draw a tile. I would be tempted, perhaps, to do that. If I did that, I'm going to place a blue building out that will never be connected to anything. So I think I'm actually going to take this one. This one, I might actually have a higher likelihood. Yeah. Yep. Boom. Done. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this down since I forgot that I had to put something there. And this is what I was going to put there anyways. I'm going to have so many connections from this turn. Ooh, nice. So I have a single. Oops. So single blue. Uh, single blue. Sacre blue. And a three of blue. Which is equivalent to four, which if I had rotated the tile, it still would have been four. 
So two and two versus a one and three. Yep, exactly. Transitive property of addition. That's not transitive. That's just <laughs> that's just numbers. <laughs> this, is this a three? Yeah, it's just pushed weird. Okay, there we go. That's a three, and then can I have an eight of brown? A brown eight. Yikes. That is a fifteen point turn right there. Thank you very much. Can now the camera to... see just how stacked that, how layered that is? There's a brown bridge, a green bl bridge, and then below that is connected the blue bridge. That's pretty slick. Yeah, super fancy. Um, now I have to figure out what I want to do dial wise though. Yeah, what are you gonna that grab? That is the concern. Okay, so if I put, sorry, I'm thinking out loud. If I put this one here, and you like Ed Sheeran? Who's I making Ed Sheeran jokes about? I could put that one there, maybe. The problem is, is I'm planning a three by three. I'm planning like each row as I go. Mm. Maybe not the wisest, but it's what's happening. I think this will work. I'm going to take this one. Okay. That one comes out. And I will place this one out. Oh, interesting. So the way that Wendy has built this I noticed this tower is... Oh, did I mess that up? Well, the thing is that, you know, you've been thinking oh, about building build this down. way. But you can build down. You can build left. You can even build up, which is one of the perks, I think, of doing yeah. the, the four by three is that you still have up or down available. True. And you always could have built left, but I don't know if you've been planning to build right. I so, mean, yeah. everything's finished, so I can build whatever direction I need to. All right. So I'm going to place this one out, which is a blue and a green building. All right, uh, this blue is not connected to anything yet, but I am going to take, this is the second green eight length bridge. My Sky City is looking great. Uh, and then I will take a two point. Yeah, it's two point. It's pretty sky for a city. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so boom, I made the sweet little uh, Aww, complete. Oh, you made, the, you made a, a 215, a, a loop mm -hmm. around a city. You guys, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what I was thinking or oh. planning. Oh, I totally know what I'm doing. 100%. I think I've lost to you most times that we've played this game. Oh, uh, I think you have. Oh, I think all is resolved. If I do this, then this, then this. Okay, we're good. Resolution completed. All right. No! This puppy? This puppy, can I have that Ada Brown? Is that uh, the last one? That is the last one. Yes. And I was about to build it here. Ha ha ha. This is all about being amazing, and I am amazing. That's all. Um, now I have to pick a tile? That's how, a thing. How could you play me like that? Um, Play me like a hemiola. Do you want to define that for our our non musical guests? I'm trying to remember a hemiola. That's the two over three pattern, yep. right? That's the alternating pattern. So like a, um, so like one is snapping in two. Dunk 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 dun dunk dun dun dunk dun dun dunk dun dun dunk dun dun. That's a that's a. This is clicking a three or like a triplet basically. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, over two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, or wait, no, that's one, two, one, two, da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. That's a hemiola. Also, I can clap with one hand because I learned that from a Simpsons joke once, and <laughs> I thought, well, I have to try and do that now because mm. sounds utterly delightful. I think I'm taking this one. I'm not sure what to do with my fourth row. I really did give myself enough rope to... Uh, with which to hang yourself? With which to hang myself. Hmm. If I do this, and I do that. Okay, that's a something. We got a something. Nope, that's not the something. That's the something that I didn't want. Is this the something? Oh, there we go. Hey, I fixed it. That tile was what I wanted. Thank you, I'm quite talented. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, the thing is that if we were playing the three by three, the last three turns here would be so, 
like easy. But yeah. the fact that we have to do even more, I'm realizing that I built this bridgeway and I could have held off on that if I thought that I was going to connect more green out because now that now that each of these green buildings have two bridgeways connected to them, they're done. I can't build any more green bridges out from there. That's so. true. You can't have more than two bridges touch a building. Okay, there we go. There we go. Problem resolved. I'm going to do this. Oh, no, not problem resolved. That's the problem is that, the, <laughs> is that there's problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build out a brown building here, the brown tower, and a blue one. Now, the blue one's cool. It's going to give me, yeah, this three victory point bridge right there so that my little blue guy all by his lonesome is no longer by his lonesome and is, in fact, connected to another. And I'm going to get a five victory point brown bridge connected Ooh, across nice. there. Because Wendy took the eight, else I would have arranged this tile so that this were further out and it would have given me a longer bridge, but... No, unfortunately, the my my proud citizens of Skytopia here will have to deal with a five point bridge. Hmm. And that this is the agonizing part. Which of these things do I grab now? Yikes! Uh, probably this one. Ooh, that revelation might change things. I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Debating whether to build down. You know. Nope. Do 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 do. No, that's not good. Dang it. Hmm. <laughs> there's something. There is something. There is something. How many green eights are there? There's just one green eight left, right? Yep. And there is, uh, are there any blue eights? There's. I think there's all the blue eights. I don't think either one of us have done one yet. That would be correct. Oh, I had a grand plan and then something changed in the lineup. Now my grand plan is gone. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Love it. It was this. We're just going to do it because it's safe. Green... And a brown. And uh, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to for sure connect. Is this a two? I'm going to for sure connect that. I'm not sure about this one yet. We shall see. So you can always connect buildings later. Um, but the problem is, is that then you don't have... Um, you don't have as many out. So like we ran out of eights. So we had to make those connections really fast. Oh, if, if you hold off on building bridges because you think, oh, maybe I can connect this elsewhere, yeah. then you can miss out on them. Yeah. For sure. Oh, man. I need... How does that go? This is a really good puzzle. It is a really good puzzle. I agree. I'm liking this. Usually in a game I think with I'm gonna like, take this one. With more basic objectives like you just get a bunch of green buildings. Like, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't sound like exciting. But now I'm really sitting here thinking about it. Like, oh, can I can I pull that off? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wendy has six green buildings, and I've only got five. But I'm going to pull off a few more here, so we'll see. So you're done drawing? I'm done drawing. All right, next tile comes out. So I'm going to place this one here, brown building. Can't put it upside down. Now, this is where height matters, because the brown building is taller than the green. So in this case, I can't connect these two green buildings with each other, because a taller building is right in the way of them. And so I like that little dynamic, right? Whereas if, like with the browns, the browns can be further from each other and have a bridge over it. But the problem is that all the eight length brown bridges are gone. So I'm going to uh, content myself with five victory point one instead of the eight. Uh, and then I have now have this green tower that is just kind of out on its own. Uh, and I'm gonna take a green and a 
blue because it's the only green that's out. Might as well try and play keep away from 1D. That's fair. Keep things away from me. Okay, I'm going to play this one right here with a green and blue. And because I didn't make this one connection here, I can now make this bigger connection, but I'm still going to wait just in case I want to connect something else. Interesting. I can if I want to. Um, now the question is, is what do I want to have? What are you going to grab from the lineup? Yeah. What am I going to grab from the lineup? By the way, everyone, is the video good? Is the video sound... Can everyone see clearly? Not the video. But, uh, yes, also the video. I meant the audio, but completely space that one. I think this one makes sense. Yoinky, yoink, yoinky, yoinky. All right. Uh, so I'm going to play this one out now, which is the a brown and a green, because I would like... Brown and green. So now I can connect all of these. <sighs> Video and audio are both good. Cool, cool. Because the last few times that I've done a done some live streams, sometimes the video comes out a little bit choppy, or mm -hmm. um, half the time when I do them, I forget to switch to like this active microphone. And oh, it's so just, it's like not very clear. Well, sometimes it just decides like oh, it just decides no audio should come out, and so. Uh, sometimes I stream with my buddy Jordan and we ref affectionately refer to that as the do you want to ruin your live stream switch, yes or no. And half the time it defaults to, n to yes, like please ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also get this three length here and now mm, this is what's tough is that I could build this connection here for only two points points or I could hold off and try and get like a longer connection out of it because once this uh, once the circle is done this would have two um, mm -hmm. each of these would have two bridges off of it for me I'd wait yeah because I guess there's there's an abundance of two point yeah bridges here I'm unlikely to build five two pointers or six two pointers I guess seven yeah I think there's seven of them I'll probably take the green from you. Please reveal something good. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to build... Hey, Ruel has joined us. Hello. How's it going, sir? I'm surprised you're not in the middle of live streaming like three different games at once, actually. Ooh. Um, I just keep waiting for better tiles. <laughs> so I can take one off the top, right? Um, I think that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Can you just hand me the one off the top? Oh, sure. See what happens. Something happened. I don't know if it's the something I wanted, but something happened. Well, thanks for stopping by, man. That's awesome of you. Uh, let's see. Mm. Mm, this is getting good. I've been planning to build out this way. I realize I could be building down, but no, I think building out right still makes the most sense for me. Friday's your rest day, Ruel. And you still streamed twice? <laughs> uh, if you don't watch Ruel's live streams, he does them uh, frequently throughout the week. He puts out a whole calendar. Like Monday will be these three things, Tuesdays, these things, Wednesdays. I'm, you know, I'm taking it easy. I'm only doing these two things. <laughs> so, yeah, Ruel. Busy, busy. You're a good man. You're a good man. You're happy to watch us playing a game? I'm happy to see us playing a game, too. It's a good game. So far. Oh, it's just the, yeah, just the internal agonizing of, of everything. Okay. I think I, I think I got it. You think you got this? I think I got this. I don't want to hear that. How many? You have one, two, three, four, five, six greens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight greens. You have eight? I have eight. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I only have seven. And I could put out a green on every single tile that I put out, maybe. And if I were to do that... Maybe I could do that. 
Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one out here, which will put out a blue, put out a green. I'm going to make that blue connection across here. Do, 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 do. And I'll grab this one. All right, flip over that new tile, see what happens. What is it? No double green for you. Oh, no. This is terrible. <laughs> I thought you uh, had this. <laughs> I mean, I have it in the sense of, like, I have a way to complete. But if you can put out a green literally every next tile, then I don't have the extra six points that I thought I had. So that's all. That's what I was concerned about. That is the reality of my existence, which is fine. Um, can I place this here, even though I haven't placed the one in the middle? Because it's touching everything? Yes. Okay. It'll just be tougher for you to actually fit the bridges in. It'll be so tough for me to fit bridges in. But um, I might have to deconstruct. <laughs> Interesting. We have really bad city planners in my city. They're like, yeah, we'll stick something in the middle of town. We just don't know what yet. It'll just be a landfill. Can I have the top card? Please do something good to eat. Hmm. Wendy has no poker face, so I was just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I, I I never read this as Clown City, but Ruel says he also kind of, you know, he sees that. So uh, I was just excited that a new Phil Walker Harding, every, every time a new Phil Walker Harding game comes out, Hall of Fame designer, Phil Walker Harding. <laughs> is this kind of his like inauguration ceremony? Is that why we're doing that? We're just playing everything? Yes, yes. That must be it. Now we have to do this for every... Uh, for every initiate? Every initiate. Of the Meeple Overboard Hall of Fame? Yep. Does it make any difference if I do it this way? Because that would be two points. <laughs> that would be two, two. I don't truly think I can make... I don't think I can make this bigger. I think I can just make this work. Because that would be a one. That would be a three. That would be a two either way. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm, just, I'm going to go ahead and play this out. Because it'll look cooler. Ooh. Ruel says yeah, you have not played yet. You still have, have to play Gingerbread House. Yeah, we'll be playing that tonight. I don't know how late you can stick around, my friend, but uh, I mean, we don't actually have an order to this. We so don't, so we're taking it, requests. If anyone wants to recommend the next game that we play, yeah, we'll bust out Gingerbread House. We do have to warn you, Gingerbread House, our copy didn't come with cards, so we made our own. <laughs> so they're, uh, they're via the lovely art of Christopher Yee. Yeah, so what happened was we got our copy... Uh, we, we got our copy, and it didn't come with cards. I thought, I'll write the company about it later and then I kind of forgot about it for a little while and then I thought oh I better write them write to them and then I forgot to re request the replacement <laughs> cards and then by the time I remembered Asmodee North America which does look out games as distribution said hey surprise we're not sending replacement parts to anyone <laughs> so we have a hand-drawn version of Gingerbread House that we do so okay so I put out the things here I need to put out the bridgeways not a two-point, a three-pointer. All right. Can I place my last tile? Are you ready for that? Do I want to... You know what? I'm going to build this aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to complete this big circuit. All right. It's your turn, Honey Bunch. Your All turn. righty. Um, I'm going to place out one more green just so that I don't lose those six points. First, and I can share them. We can play the equivalency game. I'm going to okay. lose two points from this tower right here. I don't know if you guys can see. This one right here is not going to be connected to anything. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth not losing. I'll lose two instead of six. All right. Now I have to figure out how to fit. Because the thing is, this is not really a dexterity game, but sometimes fitting these bridges <laughs> in here. It feels like it is. Yeah. Okay. So there's a little one-pointer there. I have a... Let's see you do this. Two-pointer here. I just bumped the microphone. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. Um, another two-pointer here, and a one, 
and a one. Hey, Tim from Meepleville joined. How's hey, it going, Tim. Tim? Thanks for swinging by. Yeah, Tim, we did get a copy of, um, what was that game? Emotep Duel, Emotep Duel and Cacao. Look at this. I got a blue eight. You did get that blue eight. That was eight. my whole big plan was to get this blue eight over here that I... Why are the blues harder to put in for me? I just I feel like they move more. Maybe they're just closer to the table, so it's harder. Okay, then I need a brown three? Question mark? I think it's a three. I link. reckon that's a three. Okay, and I need... I think that's everything. You think you got it all? I think I got them all. This is my weirdo city. So when we did our other version of this game, we actually had like a moving um, camera. So you're able to get like the side view. We don't have that set up right now, do we? We don't. Nope. No, yeah, we're using every USB port on our computer right now. <laughs> All right, so that's my last tile placement there. I'm going to center this a little bit so y'all can see my, my city in all of its resplendent glory. Yours looks like a skyscraper. You've got like this nice like layer within a layer thing going on. It, it's kind of a reverse skyscraper. It looks like a donut, you know, because it just keeps getting more shallow like towards the middle. <laughs> Mine is just chaos. It just looks like chaos. Do, 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 do. I do that. Chris's looks like he had a city planner. Mine looks like we decided to make a city and later we called in a planner. <laughs> he was like, ah... Uh. I'll work with you on this. All right. All right. So I am going to use my phone calculator because we have way too many times borked the uh, borked score calculations on our, on our videos and stuff and doing a live right now. No way. Okay. Officially, how many green buildings do you have? How many green buildings? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten as well. So ah. do we sh do we both get six? Do we not get six? I think we both get six, or do we get three? Just for final score amount, we have to have a consensus. That's true. So that other people can compare their scores to our glory. Uh, let's look it That's up. That's true. Here. I know I start with negative two points, so let's just begin with that, because this one building. Do you have any minus two points? No? I, no, everything is connected to something. So every okay. uh, so in case of a tie, then all tied players involved earn three. Uh, sorry, these aren't victory points. These are council votes. Oh, okay. We, um, yes, <laughs> uh, these cities are not very earthquake proof. That is true. How do you know? You haven't shaken the table. Okay, yes. so I, can you guys see my phone as I type in? There we go. Oh, oh, if I do it sideways. That's fine. They don't need to see. We'll there assume. There we go. <laughs> they, they can trust that we. I currently have one point just from doing objectives. Okay, so I'm going to start with browns. Ooh, whereas I start with three, baby. And I'm going to take them off as I complete them, right? So I have two eights. One, two. So that's 16 points. I have a two and a three is five. Already destroying my city. Oops. Wrong thing. Already happening. Okay, so with greens, I have another three and a two, which is five. I have an eight. Do, 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 do. I have three and a three, which is six in green. So let's just add oops, six right here. And then three, four, five. And this eight right here. So that's mine. You're What's at your, 54 points? I'm at 54 points. Okay, so just doing my browns, uh, 2 plus two plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 5 is 25. So I got that typed in here, plus my starting 3 for this objective. Uh, so I'm at 28 in browns, and now I'm going to add uh, 8 and a 2, so that's plus 10. Plus, now I've got, all right. Two, two, three, so that's seven, plus another three is ten. So I'm just going to add another ten. Reduce my mental load here. <laughs> plus a two, two, and a three, so that's seven right there. Mm -hmm. so that's where I am at thus far. Woo, woo, I'm at 55, and now I get to add oh, no. five, 
10. So 10 points in blue. Beat me by a ton. 65 points. Hey, Kyle. Thanks for jumping on in. So yes, you uh, you jumped in. I have just defeated Wendy as the best city planner of, of the skies. Yes, thematically, what does it say here? Introduction to Cloud City. The city is kickstarting one of its most <laughs> exciting projects with buildings so high they'll rise above the clouds. Prove your ambitious project. Get your models and... S oh, these are just models. We're not even building the real... Oh, lame. We're not even building the real sky cities. We're building models. Pretend <laughs> sky city. I guess that would make sense, though, you know, so that we don't actually just start building skyscrapers and go... Oops. But, John, what are you doing over there? Haven't fathomed that yet. <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay, that's why. We're building models, and then we're getting city council votes to approve our plan. So This makes sense. Okay, so I'm just going to half clean up because we can do the big full cleanup after the end of this video. This, like, five-hour video that we're making. Yeah, we're playing till Halloween, probably. So Stephen Alferi asks, do you think the game has good replayability? I suppose so with a scoring card. Yeah, like, that helps the scoring a Scoring cards help a lot. I wish there were more scoring cards. How many are there? There's, like... I think there's ten that comes ten? in the game. Yeah. Okay. So I wish there were a little bit more, especially because there's another one of these that's, I think, blue. There's some, like, similar kinds of scoring tiles. Mm -hmm. um, I think this game is highly replayable if you enjoy the concept of the puzzle. That's what makes it replayable. The actual, like, rebuilding the city, the, the general, like, brain work is the same, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's... it's it's more similar from game to game than dissimilar. Yes. But the objective cards help a lot. And we always play the variant where we play with two of them out because that's going to make it more different from one game to the next. Yeah. But the downside is, and we said this in our, our podcast episode, is that if you play two of these cards at a time, then you see them more frequently. More often. And so then they start to become a little bit more similar feeling. So I don't... <laughs> So, I don't know, I, that is that is probably the one downside I would really have to this game, is I think that the replayability is going to be lower compared to a lot of the other games of his that we're going to play tonight. You know, because the other games, like, some of them are just, just classics. Whereas I don't think this is going to be a classic. I think this is a very good game, though. So... I don't know. It's, it, and it's so unique. Like, I really love the stacking up the, the 3D buildings and the bridgeways one over the other and stuff. Like, that part's so great. Yeah, and visually it's so cool. Like, what I think would be great is, you know, one day... Oh, crap, I put my starting tile in there. One day we'll have conventions again, you know, because what I would have wanted to happen to what I would have, would have wanted to have seen was if this was at conventions this year... I would love to see a giant version of this that they would like pack up Ooh, and take. Ooh, that would be fun. You know what I mean? Like tiles like this big, you know, so like four, you know, four times as big or whatever. And like just big old honking buildings and, and like PVC pipe tubes that people build <laughs> across. Like that would be awesome. And I think that that would be like such an eye catcher. It's a very eye catching game, but in terms of the replayability, that's my one worry. All right, so did folks want to see Gingerbread House next? Because I, I know a, a few people said that that's one that they haven't played yet. So I don't know if that was one that you've looked into, or is that... Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we can just plan for that. I think we should just do it. Paul cool. said that he thinks that this is one that you could probably cycle in and out, uh, but not just replay, like repeat over and over again. And I think that's true. Like, it, I feel like we played it a lot to review it, and I was kind of done with it. And now playing it again, I was like, oh, that was fun. Yeah. So, it does have that. It does have that going for it. But, like, you know, if, if Paul wants to borrow it, and he accidentally borrows it for, like, a year, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be going, like, oh, where's Cloud City? Where's Cloud City? But then once Paul says, like, oh, hey, sorry, I forgot this. Here, you give know. me those pieces over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if he's like, oh, hey, I forgot to give this back to you, you know, I'd be like, oh, cool, Cloud City, you know. As you can see, you have to organize stuff in the box just right for it all to fit. It's a little more neatly than we did. It's one of those games that I feel like has a bigger box than I think it should have until I put everything in it, and then I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's got more shelf space for the weight that it feels as you play, because it feels like a very light game. 
a okay. light filler game. It feels like something should fit in a quiver, but it obviously has a lot of mass to it. Oh, you know what? Uh, I didn't catch this question earlier. Uh, Tim asked a very good question. So are we going to kind of do a ranking of these? Oh. I think we should. I think we can do that by the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, if anyone's going to stick around for all four plus hours of this, then yes, we'll do a ranking at the end. It's not a top ten list. It'll be a top nine list. <laughs> <laughs> So Gingerbread House, this is one that we haven't played for a little while. We haven't. In fact, I need a little bit of rural refreshers. I think I mostly have it. Yeah. These are upside down? Correct. In fact, you just we need... We only get so many, right? Yeah, we're just dealt out, um, I believe it is 12. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if everyone was here when I said this, but our copy of Gingerbread House did not come with the cards in it. And I kept forgetting. I kept hold, like pushing back, like, oh, I should write to... Uh, I, I should write out to them and let them know, like, hey, uh, you know, can you send out replacement cards? I never did until I realized Asmodee changed the replacement piece policy and said that you have to go back to the store and you have to, they'll send it back and ship it back and give you a new copy or whatever. And it was a mess. And I think that we had bought this on Amazon, like, over a year before mm -hmm. that. And so it's not like we could just hop over to, to Tim's store and be like, Game miss, missing part, please exchange Asmodee. So we definitely screwed up. And so you get to watch us play with these, my hand-drawn replacement cards. We hope that you'll be able to see them yeah. um, well enough on the table. Yeah. So unfortunately, we're sorry about that. But also we're sorry that we have to own this particular copy of Gingerbread House. There is no <laughs> resale value to this game. <laughs> to no. this copy. Look at that fantastic art. Thank you, Kyle. Yes, the the pentagons and the squares and the... Oh, Tim uh, said that if uh, if they can help, he'll try. Sure, I mean, that'd that's, be... That's sweet, Tim. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, these are yours. You counted out 12 for me? I counted out 12 for you. I'll also double check the rule book to make sure that's actually 12. I was but... like, it's Halloween. Should we play with 13? <laughs> Smart. Smart this one over here. All right, I'm starting with this. Okay, so basically the point of this game, I'm just going to take some tiles that we're not oh. using so I can use for examples. Basically the point of this is that we are laying gingerbreads on top of other gingerbreads and we don't have to match what's on top. What you have to do is you have to uh, just get whatever's underneath. So if I cover up a green and a yellow, I take a yellow and a green and I can put these matching or not matching. It doesn't matter. What matters is whatever's underneath. Um, there's a couple symbols for you all to know. The stair steppers give you one of these nice little stair step tokens. So let's say I have um, a couple going on here and I want this heart, but it's underneath this one right here. It's kind of hard to see. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, can see yeah, a little sorry. bit more. Apologies. Sweet. Uh, yoink, right there. Okay, so as you can see, this is higher than this uh, heart right here. So I can't lay one across because it would be sideways. So instead, I can collect these stair step pieces, and when I so desire, I can still get that heart by placing the stair step, and now I have a nice little platform like that. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, ooh, yep. Now, it's especially important because one small rule is, if with your tile you ever place over two matching symbols, you get a bonus of three of those symbols instead. So laying this domino across here, a green and a green on an uneven layer, you can use the stairs to help facilitate those bonuses. Boom, Wendy would grab three greens, three green gingerbreads instead of just the two. Mm -hmm. That's the gist of the game. Um, so this lets you swap out how many? Is it unlimited? Is uh, it a unlimited, amount? I believe, yeah. Unlimited, you can swap whatever colors of gingerbread you want for gingerbreads of different colors. This one right here lets you take a card. So these are things we're trying to trap in our gingerbread house. Correct. Yes. And you can take one and put it in front of you, which means only you can purchase it later. It's kind of locking it in. And then the stair step gives you a stair step. Yep. So. so you can lock in two of the fairy tale critters that you want to eat because I mean, this is the perfect Halloween game, actually. We, oh, it is. We are the witches. We are the witches, the wicked witches of the West, uh, the West gingerbread kingdom. 
Oh, so I think there is a hand size of how many gingerbreads you can have. I feel like it's seven or ten. Um, you want to hand me the rule book real quick and check? Sure. Yeah, go for that. Okay. I believe it's ten. This is a horrifying game trying to lure creatures to your house <laughs> and eat them. Exactly. That is. I mean, um, I love it. I love that you're not the good guys. You're not the, you know, uh, well, so actually, to tell you the truth, when I first saw the title Gingerbread House, I thought like, oh, this is gonna be like a cute Christmas game. And no, you're like, witches, horrifying, horrifying witches. <laughs> um, I looked it up, it was 15 uh, tiles that we start with. So oh, 15. 15 rounds to the game. You always keep three face up. I think that's what it is, right? Yep. So, so 12 face down and then three face up. There you go. 12 was involved somewhere. And then there's a lineup of, I believe, four of these cards face up. Oh, wow. Yeah. My, my custom art here just really doesn't show up on this screen. I can't fathom why. <laughs> uh, and here's the other fun thing is when you completely fill in an entire floor with these tiles, boop, 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 right? Uh, uh, let's uh, boop. Also, once you fill in an entire floor, all nine spaces, you then get to grab one of the special ability cards that's in the middle. And so it's, they're like special scoring conditions or, uh, yeah, actually I think they're all just scoring conditions. I wonder if I can, Fudge with the lighting a little bit. Hmm. To... That's true. They are tough to see. Yeah. Oh, you know, I wonder if I just angle them a bit. They'd be angled quite a bit. Quite a bit. But you know what? We can make that work. Might happen. Yeah. Okay, so every time we trap a fairy tale creature to eat them, we get a wild card. A little wild tile. That's right, yeah. Every every time you complete yes. um, um... one scoring objective. Let me get... The problem with finding some very specific rules is that it's kind of difficult to see. Okay. You may never have more than 10 gingerbread tokens, four stairway tiles, three bonus cards, and two attracted character cards at the same time. Oh, you know, I just remembered that it totally shows that on your player board. Oh, that's funny. Uh, whoops, wrong thing. Yoink. Look at that. So you have three face-up dominoes. You can trap two creatures. You may have ten gingerbreads. You can have four... Stairways. Stairways. Uh, I think that's it, right? That, yeah, those, are the, those are the limited. Those are the limits. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, I found it. Just in time. Ooh. Ooh, those are visible. I'm, I'm very impressed by you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. And we are also playing with uh, these six special scoring conditions, or like special scoring things. So. Okay. These are going to be my face up tiles. Ooh, lots of yellow. So every time that you complete an entire floor, once, the, once all nine spaces of it are filled in, one of the things that you get to do is you get to grab one of these special, uh, one of these special end game scoring conditions. So. For example, the treasure chest reads uh, three victory points if you've completed at least three levels, three whole stories of your uh, of your gingerbread house, right? Because you don't have to complete a whole story if you don't have. You could go the whole game never filling a single space and just building around it. Mm -hmm. So uh, three victory points if three stories completed. Magic wand, two victory points per card with a cost of six or more gingerbreads. And that's combined or just a single, like would this count right here, the three and three? Correct, yeah, because this has a cost of six okay. or more. So yeah, all three of, all four of these actually face up here in the lineup would work because they all cost at least six. This one is two victory points per card that uses the little red or yellow, is that what that is? Yeah. The yellow squiggly circle? Mm-hmm. This rolling pin is the same thing, but with the, uh, if the card costs at least one blue square. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, good point. And then a green one as well. Mm -hmm. So what's the treasure chest? Five victory points for at least four completed levels. Uh -huh. So we have two treasure chests, a magic wand, and lots of rolling pins. Cool. 
All right, so that looks good. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this that's the thing is, this is just a neat... So what's the story with the handmade cards? Okay, if you didn't catch it, uh, when we ordered this game three years ago or whatever it was ago, on, yeah. on Amazon, uh, it didn't come with cards. And I kept thinking, like, oh, I should write to the company and get replacement parts. But I think we ordered it right before Christmas, and it was... Uh, and, and like... I, I checked on their website and they said, oh, sorry, we're shut down for the holidays. I was like, how do we, I want to play this exciting new game. And we can't even get replacement cards like within the, the end of the year. And so I just made these cards. And then we just kept kind of playing with them. And I kept thinking, I'll, I'll eventually write to the company and we'll get our replacement cards. And then I forgot for like a year and a half. And then Asthma Day North America, which does the distribution for Lookout Spiel, Lookout Games, they change their replacement parts policy so that you have to like go through the store that you bought it at in order to get the replacement parts. And so we just, we we're like, okay, well, we're stuck with these. Then. Yep. <laughs> so we apologize for anyone viewing. I hope that is, is, is painfully clear that this is not what the game is supposed to look like. The game is supposed to have adorable little pieces of art like, you know, like these little fellas here. <laughs> they even put Phil Walker Harding, if you don't know what, what he looks like. He looks like this little handsome gentleman there. Oh, how cute. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so um, you started last game, but I won. So how about how about we just do the winner of the last game starts the next one? Does that work? Okay, sounds good. Cool. So you grabbed your three tiles. I did. Bum, 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 bum. Set up and ready to go. Here's my three. And we all start with one staircase as well, I believe. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Awkward. Okay. Have any of you ever eaten... Uh, how many games in so far? Jordan, We this is game number two. Uh, we played Cloud City. I won by six points or something like that. So, yeah. So uh, I, as Quite a significant amount for that game. That's Usually true. Usually it's within a point or two. That's true, yeah. So Chris walloped me. So you say. <laughs> Have any of you ever eaten Cracklin Oat Bran, the little cereal that sounds like it's sounds like it's for people like three times our age, you know? But it's delicious. It's, it's like oat squares. It's like little cookies. Anyway, these stairs here always remind me of Cracklin Oat Bran. So okay. have you tried eating them with milk? You know what we need to do? We I mean, need to yeah, do I eat pretty much no. every cereal with milk. Oh, these <laughs> I mean, have I ever eaten the staircase with them? We need to make a list of uh, top 10 games or just 10 games in general that have pieces that look like food. And, like, not that you could confuse with food. Like, you could confuse. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about like Wingspan and the little Cadbury eggs. Paul's my man. He knows Cracklin' Oat Bran. Hey. Yeah, the Wingspan eggs for sure look like little uh, Cadbury, or not, not Cadbury. Is that what they are, or? Cadbury eggs? Yeah, is that, yeah the, the Cadbury small yeah. eggs, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. I love Easter season because those come out. They do have a little bit too much of a crunchy shell. I wish it was thinner like an M&M. <laughs> but the chocolate of, like the quality of chocolate is delicious. What All you right. looking up? Uh, I just want to make sure we don't start with any resources or anything like that. So, cool. Perfect. We are, we are all good. Oh, yeah, the Azul um, stained glass cough drops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are halls. Those, yep, those look those definitely absolutely look like halls. halls. Um, there was another one recently that we mentioned, and I don't even remember what it was. I don't know. The, the original Azul looked like Starbursts, sure. like those tiles. So, <laughs> um, and what else? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the Azul cough drops and Starbursts. Okay, I got you, Paul. Yeah, you you beat me to it. Yep. Um. Wow, what do I want my first turn to be? That's good, but unnecessary. Because I don't need to have a double um, swapping. Swapping is one of my least favorite abilities in this game. I think it's good, but it's not, like, amazing. So, okay. Wow, all these victory point cards are worth quite a bit, actually. They're all, like, on the upper echelon. Usually there's, like, a few cheaper ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the, <laughs> there's also a few extra symbols. Uh, let me zoom out on that just a wee bit. There's a few extra symbols on these too. So you'll see that there are ones that are 
humans, which has this little fantastic little stick figure. So like the evil queen is a human, whereas the ogre here is uh, a monster. And then there's also, uh, these are all angry cards. All of them have the grumpy frowny face, whereas some of them will have a uh, happy, uh, what's the opposite of a frown? Smiley faces. Can I see the stack of victory point cards? Uh, yeah, the, the other possibilities. Yeah. So there's some, like this one says that you get a victory point per human card versus monster cards. Yeah, so there's actually we, some that, yeah, I guess none of those really are going to yeah. affect today's game. Like this is for happy ones that you've eaten because I only like to eat happy food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're very happy as they're being consumed. Probably Just saying. not. We have not played this in over a year. It's been what the youth of today call a hot minute. So I'm going to cover this one up. I'm going to grab a blue gingerbread. Uh, and I also get to uh, incarcerate somebody. Hmm. So since I have a blue, and I know I'm going to get these like sun-shaped ones, the yellow orangish things, I'm going to grab this person here to uh, preserve, or yeah, to preserve. <laughs> Speaking like a true witch. Let's flip over a new card. Reserve them. Yeah. There you go, a seven cost blue. Woo. The seven dwarves are with seven points. That they are. Tic Tac power cells in Galaxy Trucker. Yes, Jordan. Yes. <laughs> oh, you each choose one creature at the start. Oh, do we? Oh, cool. Thanks, Kyle. I have read the starting instructions and obviously missed that both times. So, um, okay. So how about that? How about I grabbed this person to start because that was my opening move, and then you can grab one as well, and then we'll, we'll reveal the replacements. Okay. Thank you, Kyle, for... We'll do this one. Okay. So now... Seven dwarves come out, and they're little smiley guys, little smiley faces. And the six heart fairy. All right, so I, uh, I did both the I incarcerated. Oh, mm -hmm. I get to grab another one now. So you get a second one. Yes, because I'm, so now I'm starting the game. Boom, I get a blue token, and I get to grab somebody. And that somebody that I grab is going to be the six heart cost Fairy. You want somebody to love. Ooh, the big bad wolf is out. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Now just pretend that this has amazing art. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a heart and a green right here. Okay. Now the other little rule to this... Oh, I forgot to flip over, flip over a tile. Okay. Now the other little rule to this game, which is important is that you are not allowed to place a tile over another complete tile like that. So, sure. like, I'm not allowed to just keep stacking this right here. I would have to have something else and then stack evenly across mm -hmm. two or, like, you know, two different tiles or whatever. So that's also one small little piece to it. Um, I... I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> Did you? I don't know why that came to mind. Um, I want to do this. Yeah. So I'm going to stack these across. Yeah. So I'm going to get three of the yellow gingerbreads. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, all of them are, are the high cost ones, which it's nice to have a few of the cheaper ones out because that's then how you, you get, get the stuff going. That, yeah, that's the how wild. you get some of the wild tiles. Yep. We haven't shown those yet. Fair. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna take a staircase and a blue. We are a diversity of color here. Well, that's good. That's good. So I'm trying to get a lot of hearts. So it's a good thing I've got some heart age going on, and I'm trying to also get a lot of. Uh, well, I've got the I've got all the yellows I need. I need more blues, which unfortunately I don't have blues. I have a question so, for you. So yes. Chris has this heart is a second level, so uh -huh. there's two stories above this one. Can you place two staircases to make one across? That you can indeed. Okay. You just have to own two staircases. You do have to own two staircases. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> this is such a great puzzle. Wow, okay. So I'll do this here. Yes, yes, I'll do this. So I'm gonna grab a green and a nether heart. Boop, boop, thank you. Uh, and that's that. Now, so yeah, the, so every turn basically you place out a tile. You grab the associated stuff that you cover up. Mm -hmm. You may optionally choose to complete either, you, you choose to eat basically one of the critters in your reserve here or from the lineup. And then the last thing that will happen, uh, I believe, is that if you fill up a floor, you get to grab one of these objectives. If you grab a, it, when you complete, when you eat a critter, you get to place one of these wild tokens. So that's like a whole turn structure there. Okay. Okay, I'm done. You done? Okay. Yep. I would place my staircase here to get three greens. Woot woot. One, two, three. I like greens. They apparently taste good. Um, ah, I can't, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. So now I'm going to place, uh, across these two tiles here. So I'm going to grab a blue and a swap and you can do either thing in, in either order. So I grab this blue, uh, but I get a swap and the swap is good because I don't have any need for green. So I'm gonna swap a green for a blue, actually. And now on my turn, at the end of my, or at the next step of my turn, I can turn in three of these circle swirlos and three of these blue boys. Chow chow. And I've, uh, I've captured the eight victory point Rebuzal is her name, I guess. So I did that. I captured a fairy tale creature, which means that I get to place out one of these wild tiles. And the wild is great because it's a it's a one by one square. And then I can just place this wherever I want, which makes connections and stuff super easy. Um, so I could get the stairs. I could grab that, I could cover up anything. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab the stairs, yoink. And now when you place on top of the wild space, you treat it as if it were anything, really. So like, um, I could grab stairs from it, I could use it as a swap, or I could grab a color of gingerbread. I think, I think you can use it for anything. I'm gonna have to double check that now. So anyway, uh, so that's the end of my turn. I've done all of that. One thing with the wilds is that if you claim this is yellow and you put it across, like you you don't get the three of yellow. You still only get one yellow and one yellow. Correct. Yep. So that is a special thing there. Okay, I'm going to take a blue and then I get to swap. So I will take a blue and then I will swap a blue for, or sorry, a, a which we call that, a pink for a blue. And then I'll trade three green and blue for for this one. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I got the three green, three blue. I get eight victory points. Oh, you got Shrek there. You got. And I get order. my wild of power, which is wonderful. Pretty neat. And, and you place you... the wild out. Oh, you place it out right now. Yep. Ooh, do you flip over a new card first before I place the wild? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, look at that. Look, a cheap boy came out. Okay, well, I'll place this out and I will capture this cheap boy. Oh, no. I wanted that. Can anyone come out? <laughs> Four circles. Cinderella, dadgummit. I wanted you to be grandma? I bet no one's ever <laughs> said that to Cinderella before. Why can't you be a grandma? <laughs> because... Oakley, Oakley. Ooh, I forgot to reveal a new tile. Ooh, a jail. Cool. Yeah, you can also select a jailing. Uh, mm, happy hug time. Happy hug time, indeed. Yes, nine ten p.m. Uh, I have a I have a daily alarm that goes off in my phone. That is the alert that it is hug time. It's time to hug the people that are around you. <laughs> so we we do that. It's been a it's been a daily tradition of mine for. 
12 years now? It's been a long time. <laughs> I did. I forgot that you could draw the three from the top of the card deck. So thank you, Kyle. Oh, J oh that's right. Jailing, you yeah. can... Okay, perfect. So yeah, the deck of so cards... So I could have looked at more. You could have looked at more. But that's also kind of sweet because it's the only cheapo that's come out. Mm -hmm. So I might be using... You know what? That's right. So can I actually look at two more just because? Because it would be this one plus two more? Doesn't... Doesn't... Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. I mean, up to you. Do you want yeah, to Yeah, I want to see them, just in case. Okay. Just in case they're something amazing. Um, Something amazing. I want to switch this out. Boom. Okay, and then they just get tucked on the bottom, bottom I Bottom, I think. So that one go. This stays here for you. But that doesn't make sense, though, if you... You know what I mean? Like, either you looked at that or you didn't. Oh, but I didn't know. Okay, fine. I just didn't know that that was a rule. Well, I mean... It's Okay. Well, so that's what I'm saying is if you looked at this one as part of your three and you want to keep one of these, then it just gets tucked under here. Oh, this one was already out. That one was out. And then I looked at my three. Oh, OK. Does that make sense? Nope. But what what are you keeping? <laughs> this one. Then why did you only look at two? Um, Because. Because that's where my confusion is. Oh, OK. So did you look at three or no? You just handed me two, right, that I looked at? I thought you just asked for two. <laughs> I did, because there was already one out. The third one was out. It was the this one. But that doesn't make sense, because either that's out, or it was one of the top three. And so it can't... What I'm saying is that it either this one it gets tucked on the bottom, because it was one of your three that you looked at. <laughs> it wasn't. So this got revealed, uh -huh. and then I drew was supposed to draw my three. But it got revealed, and instead of drawing the three, I took it. So you, then, you either jail one of the cards that are out, or you took look at the top three to jail one of them. Yes. I didn't know that, so I didn't look at the top three. So I didn't... Does that make sense? Are we lost? Is everybody else lost? You're only supposed to take from the available or draw three. Yeah. So, okay. so I wanted to draw three. Okay. But this doesn't count as one of the three, right? No, because no, no. It was... There was one other one underneath there that I handed back. This one. Okay, so you did look at three? Is that what I you're did saying? look at three. It just so happened to be that this was in my jail because I didn't know I could look at three. This was the top card. These were the next two. So I was supposed to look at these three. This one was already out. That one's already out. Okay, so you looked at three. You're keeping one of this them. One. Yes. Okay, and then those two get on the bottom. Yes. Okay. We all clear? All I know is I handed you two cards and I was extremely confused as to why. <laughs> Yeah, it was just because the the third card was already out here because this one had moved down and you'd revealed. Okay, That's so all. you were taking this one. Okay, That's what taking that one. Yes. Cool. Let's separate these a little bit. Okay, so you got your thing organized. Casey says, because I cheated. Okay, but Kyle checks everything out. Okay, cool. Everything checks out now. Sweet. Okay. I... Um, I think I'm going to build over here because, okay, so you were leaving grandma out here, right? Yeah. Do I not get to see what you've already collected? Uh, I just tucked hidden? it under here. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I can. Can I see what it was so I know what you're going for? Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know how well it will show up on the camera. So, where? there you go. The, the, those will be my, my done boys. Okay, so I'm going here because I'm going to grab a green and I get to do a swap. Guess what? I don't really feel like doing a swap. And that is because you let grandma out here. So for a pink and for a green, I get grandma. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom. So that's two more points and I get a wild. And I'm going to go ahead and place... Mm, here's the thing is that I could either cover this up here so I have a whole floor done, all nine spaces covered, or I could put this over here so that with my stairs next turn, I could get double wild, which, which indeed then you get three of your choice. is three of choice. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nifty. Ah, both are good choices, but I also don't know yet what I'm kind of going for here. That's oh, true. You have one of everything, so you can go for anything. Yeah, exactly. This one is blue, this one is yellow, this one is pink, this one is green. So, um, or I might be going for one of these like completed level things. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Um, do you get to flip over another card before you make your decision? Could help. It could help. We'll just do that, and that'll be kind of the... Ooh, the Cheshire Cat comes out. 
Yikes. All right. I think... I think I'm going to take the completed level. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the completed level. Uh, and so when you complete a whole level, you then get to grab one of the uh, one of the bonus victory point cards. And the one that I want to grab is going to be... Yeah, the treasure chest. So if I get at least four levels completed, I'll get five points at the end of the game. Pretty sweet. Pretty great, yes. Okay. All right, my turn? Yeah, everything checks out. All righty. I am going to go ahead and use my stair step to get three yellows of power. Ooh. I don't need three yellows. It just, I wanted to finish my level. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a swap tile either, so we'll see what happens with those three. I guess I can spend them there. Um, and then I completed, so I'm going to take this blue bird right here. Push that off. So we just put that out there to show that that was blue. So Wendy will earn two victory points for each card that she gets, which has a blue cost to it. Hey, hey, there's that one and this one. So, so far you have one. You got another one jailed over there. Yeah, I agree with you, Kyle, that some of these can be a huge swing of points. Like this one will only ever be worth three, right? Oh, you know what I realized? Only ever worth three. I realized that I will never get stair steps, right? Can I not complete anything now? Or? Because I can't put one on top of here. I have no way to get more stair steps if I do that. Right? Oh, you'll have to... Uh... Huh. Did I just mess myself up royally? What a what a predicament you are in. You yeah, in my mind, it was going to be flat, and I was going to be able to do that next. And then I, like, did stuff, and then I came back and realized that that didn't make sense. You, I mean, oh, that's right, because the yellow is down here. Yeah, so because these five spaces are on a, on a lower level, but you can't build straight across this, mm -hmm. its own domino, so you're going to have to do some... So if I had done this instead, it would just be one yellow and one blue. Cage, or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Is that okay? We okay if I move it? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You haven't really done anything, right? You have. It's not like you spent those yellows. <laughs> well, that's true. Oh, that's a good point, Kyle. So you can always cover your wild because the wild can be stairs. The wild can be a capture. Or stuff like true. that. That's true. That is true. Which one did I? I don't even know what I revealed. Who knows? We are a bit rusty at this game. We are rusty. I guess I have to put this back then. If I don't complete everything. Okay, so I guess I'll just take two hearts. We'll take two hearts. You use that for hearts, the wild? Yep. Ooh. Do I want it for hearts? No, I'll use it for blue. Okay, that'll Ooh. be your turn. Oh, and then I can actually, like, do this, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey! Completed something! So you grabbed another one of those cheap boys, and then, which will wild. give you a wild. Which will let me complete this, which mm -hmm. will now let me get this puppy. Okay. Ta-da! Only sort of cheated. <laughs> we figured it out in the end. And that's we, what matters. We are very, uh, we're very loose with our games and take backsies and stuff. All right. Uh, okay, so these are the ones that are left. I have no cookies. I have no cookies. I'm uh, not unlike an inefficient website. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I spent my heart here. I need to get six hearts if I want this fairy, but yeesh. Mm -hmm. Jailing is okay, but I think I want to get some cookies out. These hearts are going to be, I mean, this is going to be three hearts. Uh, oh, Casey says take your gingerbread. Oh, because you covered up that space with oh, a Oh, I wild. covered up a yellow. Hey. Thanks for getting us. Thanks for having Thank our back. Thank you. So I think, logically, I'm going to put a blue up here so that I can get lots of blue, lots of pink. Uh, I don't know what else is going to happen on the bottom is the only problem. Do wish that I had more pink exposed. So I'm going to take a wild and a yellow. And the wild I'm going to take as a pink. 
And then the yellow I will take as a yellow. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's that's no choice. That's the joke. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't have enough to complete anything. No bonus. So, yikes, more jailing. Everything I have is set up for a gazillion yellows, and there are no yellows out. <laughs> uh, you could, you know, you could cage is. and look at the top. That I could. I'm going to go ahead and take three blues, maybe? I don't know. I think we'll need blues at some point. Three blues of power. This, uh, interestingly, uh, Dice Tower did a did their top five or top ten uh, uh, lookout lookout games mm -hmm. games, and this was Z Garcia's number one. Oh yeah, yeah. I really liked this game when it came out. I wanted to play it all the time. It's true, we did play it quite frequently, which is probably why we stopped playing it for a while. And you did whoop me pretty pretty good. <laughs> Um, blue. I'm set up to get quite a bit of blue, and your well, you've already got your your big blue pull off. So, uh, I'd like to get those hearts. Okay, I'm going to do that to get three blue. Yoink! Alrighty, I'm gonna take three yellow. One, two, three, because this will give me three staircases, right? Oh, yeah, and staircases are very, very useful. I don't know if you've all noticed. They are useful. Indeed. That's funny. This is another three-dimensional game. That's a little bit hard to kind of... <laughs> <laughs> hard to video. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. So I guess I'll do that... I'm going to cover this across so that I get, uh, ooh, that's, ooh, mm, that would make that really hard to actually cover up. So I think I will not do that. Oh, did I not draw a replacement domino? Yoink. Oh, more pink. Ooh, more good. Can you only have a max of two scoring cards out of the six? Or can you get all three? You can get, you can get, you can get, three. you can get all three. Okay. Yeah. So, if I do that, oh, maybe I do it this way. Here we go. So I get a wild and I get a staircase. Nice. Wild and staircase. And then so for the wild, I think I will take a blue. Mm -hmm. Yoink. Hey, things are coming up, Chris. Oh my gosh. And there's only, I only have four more tiles in my reserve and these three. So the seven turns left, I think we're halfway through. And I feel like I've done nothing. <laughs> and I need to get four completed levels. Four completed levels. Ooh, I got to swap one. That's what I needed. Mm. Interesting. Is it my turn? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Well, sweet. I got to swap one. So I'm in a cage and I'm going to have a wild. All right. So I'm going to take a blue. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to cage this one. The Cheshire Cat. And I'm also going to take this because I completed a level. Nice. So anything that costs so green greens in it. Green or blue. So right now I've got eight points going on. Yikes. Pretty sweet. Um, and that's my turn. Oh, man. This game is so delightful. Yeah, it's been a long time since we played it. And I'm feeling the rust just starting to wear off a little bit. Yep. Just barely. Just barely. Because I'm going to make this move right here. Um, yeah. It, yeah, and so one of the things is it doesn't really make sense to have three, like a triple jailing ability. Usually not. So you aren't going to get three blues out of that. And, 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 uh, that should be seven blues in my possession. Yes. So I'll go ahead and trade in these to get the seven dwarves, seven blues, that seven dwarves, Dunzo. Now, uh, the other thing I'll get to do is I did complete my second story, so I'm, ha I'm halfway there, and I'm going to grab this magic wand, 
which reads, I get two victory points for each card that I captured. Um, that that costs is more than six. That costs six or more. Yes, so that one is cool. good Flip there. Flip over the next card. The Hello, next. Thinker Themer, Amy and Maggie, welcome. Ooh, Hansel and Gretel cost any eight gingerbreads whatsoever. Ooh, mm-hmm. I like have that. It's kind of expensive for just eight points though. It is because most of the other things are like seven gingerbreads for 10 points or six for eight. Mm-hmm. So that's, that. yeah, that's a, a, a smaller return. Amy, Maggie, welcome. But it does count as blue and green for me, which is super nifty. So yikes! It's really worth twelve points if I think about it that way. Yep. Yeah. And uh, guess who has eight of something? <laughs> mm, you do have a lot of eight somethings. I do there. have a lot of eight somethings. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to take three staircases of awesomeness. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all but one blue. <laughs> and we'll just take that one that you so kindly revealed to me. Fine. I'm a gentleman, can that, I say. That you are. Hansel und Gretel. And I get a wild I get to place now. Oh, I can't. Oh, I forgot to grab a wild tile. Oh, grab no. a wild tile. Yeah, did not do that. I'm going to place in this corner right here on this heart because that needs to have something there. So mine as well. I know that's Tim's favorite is when you, you know, on someone else's turn, realize, oh, I forgot to do that step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have explained the story of the cards, uh, Amy and Maggie, but the the game didn't come with it when we bought it, and then I just, I kept... Forgetting putting, to request new ones. I kept forgetting to replace the request, or request, request the replacement parts until Asmodee North America changed their policy. <laughs> Uh, on getting replacement parts and stuff, and so and then I just figured it's probably like a probably a done deal. It's a good thing we like the game. <laughs> that it is. So, uh, that that's where I'll have put this. Sorry that I didn't do that earlier. I just grabbed. The, yeah, that. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's it's done. Right. But is it? But, is it really? But is it? Yeah, that's that's my the turn? real question. Uh, sorry, that was this. That was my. That was you completing your last turn that you didn't complete. Yeah, because I did grab one of the fairy tale critters and I okay. put him in my belly. Hey, what are you all doing for Halloween? Yeah, what is everyone's Halloween plans? What's your plan? This is our big. This is our big shindig. <laughs> the card that Chris took is one that I think is a max of twelve victory points. Oh yeah, this one. Mm. The uh, uh, two victory points per card that has at least six costs yeah that's right i think that some of them might have like a max on them so yeah. good catch good catch kyle what is the signature meeple overboard version <laughs> what was that of i missed it Th- that's these cards here oh this okay. is like the, the, our custom edition yeah yes i mean anybody is welcome to pay us you know a hundred dollars for for hand drawn cards yes of I these will. caliber I w- you'll get a signature on every card if you so desire. <laughs> All right. I, oh, I forgot to, I'm just, I'm just behind on some of these. All right. So I want to put, ooh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. I have so few s- stairs left. I have so many stairs left. Yoink. Okay, I'm almost at three. I'm almost at three completed floors, so I get uh, that. I, that covered up two different. Uh, oh my gosh, heart spaces. So the pink little cookies. So that means I get three of these. Mm. Casey, cookie. Casey, what do you say? You're going to sisters for <clears throat> dinner, and the kids might have a Halloween candy hunt around their property. Nice. Paul, inventory at work is my big plan tomorrow. Woo! After I get home, we'll probably watch Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Okay. You know, I we've never been big like Charlie Brown traditionalists or anything. Yeah, we have not been. Which you know is what weird. we watched for the first time this year um, for a Halloween TV show was Over the Garden Wall. We were very happily impressed by that show. Oh yeah, that one was really good. It was really good. All right, did you finish your turn? I finished my turn. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, and then, right? Tim always says, and then, with Teotihuacan, right? Like, <laughs> did you do this? And then, what do you do next? I grab those, no bonuses, I can't turn in anything. Kay. Okay. 
I'm just going to take three yellows. One, two, three. All about them yellows, people. All about them yellows. Yeah? All about one? them yellows. Are you sure we can get three of these? For some reason in my mind, we'd only get two. Can we double check that? You can get three. Yeah? Yes, I am. Okay. That part, I am sure. Over the garden wall is great. It Paul. is great. Hey, I'm going to reach back. Oh, it's right behind me. Hey. This is what we're doing with cousins. Uh, our five-year-old and me made this pinata. So we're going to fill this full of candy for Halloween. We even painted it together. And that is Batman tape right there. That is Batman duct tape. Oh, yeah. We are high quality here. So that's what we're going to do with some cousins. Um, socially distanced barbecue with a... With a pinata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they think that something is awesome. Thanks. You know, I've been trying to get this fairy, but... I, I am set up to be able to get triple green cookies, and there is this unicorn over here that looks... Really tasty. Really tasty. And what's great is that when you're done with a unicorn, you can use its horn to pick, you know, the leftover unicorn out of your teeth. You're onto something. Yeah. I'm sure that's worth at least a fictional point or something like that. <laughs> oh, I, I'm kind of like you, where I've got all this great setup for yellow, and nothing in the lineup costs yellow. So next time I get to cage something, I might... Peek at the top of the deck. Ooh, ooh, yeah, we can't have contention in the chat group. I don't know. Peanuts is one of those interesting things. It's not, <laughs> like, in a lot of ways, it's not actually high quality, but it's also very successful at what it is. And I think that's the thing. It's like, Charles Schultz was never, uh, Peanuts is never meant to be a high quality product. And it doesn't take three green. Like, the, the, whole, the whole thing about the history of Peanuts is that Charles Schultz was given the short end of the stick in terms of the comic, uh, like the newspaper space that he had. Uh, most people were getting like half page. I'm getting the unicorn, by the way. Most people, were, uh, uh, cartoonists of the time were getting, you know, he's the front page of the newspaper. You get like half of the page or a third of the page. And then they gave Charles Schultz like the, what is now considered the modern size comic strip strip okay and he said what are you supposed to do with this much space right because you don't have room for the art and the big pictures if you ever look at old uh uh what is the name of the dog man mandake da mandake mandrake is that the name of the dog no anyway idea. so like older comic strips were big and they were elaborate and there was mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on and charles schultz has had to be small and punchy with all of his jokes, with all of his quips. And so he wrote about this very odd-looking, bald-headed, depressed kid. Because <laughs> that's the thing, is like, Peanuts is literally not high quality, but it's also great, which is uh, peculiar, I suppose. Sure. So, okay, I did that. Uh, do I want you to... So now, because I, I captured a, um, I captured this this unicorn here. Do I, uh, I I get to put this wild out? Do I complete my third floor, and grab one of these cards? And if I do, uh, do I grab? I'm gonna grab okay, this so one. Kyle, I don't want you to have it. Kyle looked it up, and he said that all scoring cards have a limit of twelve points, if not a specified number of points. Ah. Wonderful. Okay, that is right. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty. Okay, so I have this great debate. So I'm going to get that treasure chest no matter what. So I might as well add a little bit more fun in. <laughs> fun. I don't even know what that means, but... <laughs> Fun's I overrated. It, I get three hearts. One, two, three. The new Peanuts movie was good. Which one was... Is that the... Which new Peanuts movie is that? Was that like the movie the theater, like the CG looking one? Because that, it looked odd and I had a hard time getting over the mental block of like the look of it, but I'm sure that it was cute. Right. Uh, did you finish? I did. Okay. Oh, keep forgetting to draw these replacements. I was like, I can get this one, but it's not worth any extra points. So I think I might hold off. We'll see what happens. Now the stair steps are coming out. I have four tiles in which I need to complete a fourth story if I want those five points. Oh, yeah. Need my last tile out. I only have three of these things that cost six or more, 
therefore, that's six points at the end of the game. Okay, the 2015 Peanuts movie. Yep, okay. And then... Things that... Ugh. Do I get extra points for all my leftover staircases that I apparently don't need that I thought I needed? <laughs> I don't I don't remember. I've been oddly efficient. Scoring. I was struggling at the beginning, and now I have been oddly efficient. Boop, 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 doop, doop, boop, doop, doop, doop. I need to get hmm. Awkward. I mean that's fair, Paul. Paul works at a comic store. So it makes sense that he'd be a comic person. Okay. Yeah. I didn't grow up with comics. So I don't know. Chris has introduced me to Calvin and Hobbes and mm-hmm. introduced our daughter to Calvin and Hobbes, which love, is even more important. Love Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Shucks. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm using the wild as a staircase and I'm grabbing a yellow. Yoinky, yoinky. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Season two of The Mandalorian did indeed come out today, and yet you are hanging out with us, which we <laughs> deeply appreciate. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a green and a yellow. Because that's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that what I want? Wait just a second. Second, wait for it. I don't want a green and a yellow. Put that yellow back. I'm going to use a staircase because I have them. You have a staircase. Might as well so use I might them. Might as well use them. I'm gonna take a green and a swap because I want to switch these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this five and I'm gonna take these two. So I have two pinks. I have one green, one blue. So I need four blues and. One green from all of this other stuff is what I'm going to switch out. Is that really right that you can do all of that switching? It just feels a little bit too powerful. Oh, yeah. Is it infinite switch swaps? I mean, that's the thing, though, is that like you spend all this time getting other things. So exchange, yeah. magically turn one gingerbread into another. Exchange one gingerbread token in your personal supply. Oh, man. Really? That's it? Okay. Ah, we played that wrong. We've been playing cheating the whole game. We're nah. just going to keep cheating. We're just going to finish it out, yeah. Okay, we're going to keep cheating. Because I think so. I swapped two <laughs> or more earlier. I've done a lot of swapping, so. And I set up for a lot of swapping. So I get two cards, which means I get two, uh, whatchamacallit? Wow, two you wilds? get two wilds? Yeah. That's wild. I will take a yellow and take this treasure chest. Neat. And then I will apparently take a, ooh, take a blue. Darn it. Ah, everything's falling apart. Everything's coming up in the house. Okay. I agree with you, Paul. Calvin Hobbes is essential. Essential for children. Essential for adults. Like, it's just. But it's is the essential a, edition essential, or can you just read any edition? And you know what's funny is I actually prefer the books that are uh, that are landscape, whereas the essential and the authoritative, and the uh, there, there's there's three book collections that Bill Watterson named intentionally, highfalutinly that he's like there's nothing authoritative about Calvin Hobbes, there's nothing essential about Calvin <laughs> and Hobbes, um, but yeah, but what he what he he called them those books because of the humor, obviously the the irony of it, but. Um, Oh my. That's a tile. I want some room. How am I going to do this? I think. So I'm going to jail something and I get a yellow. So I'll take the yellow. And then the thing that I'm going to jail is I'm going to, I'm going to peek at three off the top. Hmm. None of these cost six or more, which is my thing here. But this one does cost... Okay, you know what? Hey, I'm going to jail Peter Pan. Peter hmm. Pan is mine. That was my nickname in high school. Also my email address. Okay, so boom. And I have three of these gingerbread cookies to capture them. Woot woot. So yoink, that's done. Uh, 
uh, I, I capture Peter Pan. Yeah, where's the easy button for that? Oops. And I get to put out a wild. Ooh, which means you will succeed on your four completed levels. I will get four completed levels. That's good. That's really good. Do I just cover this and get a blue? Do I do that? I only have one staircase. Mm. Oh, but if I get multiple wilds. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That's enough. That's enough. I'm going to do this to get a blue. Yeah, I forget the, the I remember the swap ability feeling just a little bit underpowered in this game. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can only apparently swap one gingerbread token. Yeah, that makes more sense. It's a lot harder to get up to seven. Yeah. Is what it is. My turn? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Let's do this thing. Um, I'm going to take three greens. Because I had three wilds. It also makes the wilds more powerful. It does. Uh, Casey asks, do you care to explain the Peter Pan nickname? Oh, my name's Wendy. So, <laughs> um, in high school, I would just say, hey, I'm Wendy, like Peter Pan. And then Peter Pan happened. So, yep. Okay, my turn. I'm going to go ahead and place this out. So, a wild in a jail. So I get to jail something. Jailhouse rock. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the jailing before I get the wild. I think. I don't even. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and jail the griffin, just because I don't want you to accidentally be like, ah, nuts! I could have had the prince of charming. Oh well, I wouldn't have had the cookies for it. <laughs> okay. That sounds like you didn't actually mean what you said. Could have had the prince charming, but I didn't have the cookies for it. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, my turn again? Yep. Yep. All right. Penultimate turn, baby. All right, I'm going to take three greens. Oh. Hey, look. Y'all see what I'm working towards? How it's could you do this to possible if me? you just believe. How could I trade in seven greens for ten points? Wait, did I... I jailed something. Did you take a wild? I forgot to take my wild. Okay. Take your wild. Which was this yellow... Uh, yeah, the yellow cookie. Because... My last turn is to go here and to grab three yellow cookies by covering up two of the symbols. Mm -hmm. So my bonus, I get these three, and then I'm going to trade in these five, cha cha cha, to go ahead and finish the griffin, which also gives me a wild tile, which uh, doesn't really. Oh, um, yoink! I'm gonna jail the dragon. You would. Okay, flip some melts over. Good for me. Hey, great. I will take it. I think that might give me more points in the end. Ouch. Yeah, that might actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So I have a wild and a swap. So now I need a green because I need a second green and yellow, right? So I'll trade my green and yellow in for this one. The Frog King. The Frog King. And then I have six green left. Or, oh, I get a wild. So, you know, let's just take a yellow for fun's sake. And then I'll trade in these ones. I'm going to grab a pen for scoring. Boop, 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 boop. And I'll take this one. The Prince Charming. I did have the cookies for it, honey. And I have a staircase left over. How fun. Wendy stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Ooh, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Hey, um, I wasn't supposed to keep track of how many gingerbread I still had left, right? Oh, yes. Did you have extra gingerbread I at the end like of the game? I had, like, two. Okay, yeah, take two. I think it was a blue and a pink. I don't remember. Sorry. Um, Kyle says, did you mean to grab the big bad wolf for six green? Did you grab something else instead? Oh, I did. I grabbed the Prince Charming. Oh. I did not have the cookies for Prince Charming. I had big bad wolf. None of us could follow through. He's just too intimidating. Do I have the grandma? You have the grandma, I think. I got the grandma. You lured the big bad wolf over with the grandma, and then I ate him. Thanks for helping. No worries. Ooh, we can start a new sheet on the score sheet, baby. All right. Wendy and Chris and some of the worst handwriting I've ever done on camera. Fantastic. So, Wendelin, how many points do you have in Fairy Tale Critters? Uh, 10, 20, 38. 38 to my 
Moment of truth. Did Chris win again? 31, uh, 10. Oh my gosh. Okay. 10, 10, 20. This is 11. So 31 plus 6 is 37. Close. Now we also do our three scoring cards. Okay. I have three because I have three completed levels at okay. least. Three. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve from greens. Woo! And Maxed out. Six from blues. I don't think I'm catching up to that because I got five for the uh, for having completed levels. Lovely. How many cards cost six or more? One, two, three. Yuck! So that's only six. Mm-hmm. And then how many cards had the yellow or, or orange squiggle in them? One, two, two. three. Three. Yep, so only six. Ooh. And then it is, uh, each gingerbread is half a point, essentially. Okay. So you and I both scored one. So uh, Wendy's total score, I can do these mental mathematics here. 38 plus 12 is 50. Uh, that's 60. Plus six plus three plus one. So Wendy has 60 points. because I'm getting even. Whereas I have 37 plus 6 plus 6 is 12, so that is 49.55. Woohoo! So you beat me by like 5, 6 points last time. I beat you by 5 points this time. You got me. Okay. You got me. All right. Well done. Yeah. I figure if one of us went the entire evening without winning a game, it would be pretty terrible. So I'm glad that at least we got that off, you know. We're off to a good off start. Off our chests. Yeah. All right. You want to hand that box over? And yeah, I will let's start. Let's do it. Tossing some cookies. <laughs> You're like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I love these cookies. I can't wait to toss them. <laughs> so while we're cleaning up, actually, uh, one of the things yeah. that we wanted to to bring up is that a good friend of ours uh, that we, we play games with frequently, mm -hmm. uh, his name is Giuseppe, and he was recently diagnosed with leukemia, and they have a GoFundMe page that's uh, live right now. So we just, I don't know, we... Figure we could bring this up as we clean up the game. Um, they're fantastic. They're friends of our show, of the podcast, and everything like that. They're super cool. The first time we ever met them, actually, was at Meepleville, the local board game cafe here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they were playing Raiders of the North Sea when that was brand new. Or wait, no, we that's what we were playing Raiders of the North Sea for the first time or second time or something like that. It was brand new at the time. And uh, they walked over and said, hey, this, the game looks cool. And we said, hey, do you want us to teach it to you? And they said, oh, that'd be fantastic. And so, uh, you know, we they sat down and we were teaching it to them. And we said, oh, hey, my name's Chris. You know, this is Wendy. And they, and they looked at us and they said, um, yeah, we know. We listened to your show. That came out weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we know who you are. It was actually really flattering because, you know, we we're just never sure how big our show is, you know? It's just nice to have people be like, hey, I know you, even though you don't know us. It was sweet. And I think that was the first time that that had ever happened. Yeah, it was made absolutely. made it extra memorable. Yeah. So, I mean, we've been friends with them for a long time, and so mm -hmm. if anyone is able to, or if you've been able just to share, because obviously finances and so this is such a, just a bizarre year. Um, but if you're able to, to help them out, my understanding is that leukemia treatment is not cheap. Mm -hmm. So yes, so this is our PBS moment. You know, oh, here's a heart. Here's a heart. Oh, heart. Heart. Yeah. So this is our PBS moment. If you have any availability to help, then this is a fantastic cause. Someone who's just absolutely great, and we love them. So we're hoping yeah. that they are doing well. You know how people like do those gaming marathons for charity. This is not that, but it's kind of like that. It is kind of like that. Yeah, we'll mention it every once in a while. So how is everyone else's evening uh, going tonight? It's or if you're in a different time zone, you know, a what? How is your afternoon or your day or whatever you, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are. Paul said he loves Giuseppe, Giuseppe and, and Summer. Summer. Yeah, they're two super rad people. They are. So. Cleaning this one up a little bit nicer than the last I see. Uh, those cards sitting over there, are those... Um, those probably. Are your, oh, these are the leftover scoring objectives. They're probably something important. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these get are, back in the game box. So yeah, these are... I, I just love... I mean, one of the things Phil Walker-Harding seems to do really well in his games is have, like, a lot of 
alter like end game scoring things that you can kind of unlock or get or whatever. So, which add I think a lot to his game. They they really do. Um, what are we gonna play next? Also, does anybody want to pseudo play with us? Are, are there any games of his that we can like have someone set up at home that can just score their own separate thing? I, I mean, I guess. I don't, mm. Most of them are pretty interactive. Like, Baron Park, you know, is, is interactive. and Yeah, that's and true. Matters. I guess they all do have pretty pretty much interaction. But if someone wanted to, we would not be... We wouldn't have a problem with the sharing scores. I'm <laughs> saying. You'd probably win because you'd get whatever you wanted. But. You're also just allowed to say, like, oh, I have one more point than Chris. Weird. <laughs> you know. Every game, Casey. Seriously? <laughs> Yoink, yoink, yoink. So one of the things I noticed, there are, all, there are almost zero duplicates in terms of publishers of Phil's games. So, oh, yeah? He just hops around? Yeah, so Lookout has both uh, uh, Gingerbread House and Baron Park. But, like, Come On has one, Cosmos has some... Blue Orange, uh, uh, here you go, Pandasaurus. Uh, Silver and Gold is by Pandasaurus Games. It markers in it, right? This one does have markers, okay. yes. Got stretch, you know. Some like of the it. best markers I've ever seen included in a Roll and Write game. Absolutely ridiculous. But no erasers. <laughs> but no erasers, so yeah, paper towels. Do not, do not, as, as a little bit of advice, do not ever uh, with any game that you have that uses like the roll and write uh, uh, surface, like the dry erase surface and stuff, don't use your fingers to smudge out markings and stuff because grease from our, our wonderful greasy skin gets onto those and that makes them so much harder to erase. Which is funny because we shuffle the cards and touch the cards with our fingers, so. Yeah, I mean, I it also happens, try not a little to. bit less. Yeah. All right, I need a mild refresher on this because I get it confused with Copenhagen and I start, like, combining rules because they both are polyomino games. You go ahead and shuffle those up. Okay. So these that I'm shuffling up are the polyomino... Oops, polyomino cards. We reveal all but one each round. Is that Correct. what it is? Correct, yep. So you're never quite sure... You're not sure what order they're going to come in. You're not even sure if you're going to get all of them. Um, this nice little card down here lets you know all of the possibilities what there is, so there's two long ones, two angled ones, and one of each of the other ones as well. Four rounds of the game. These trophies are for when you mark off coins. When you get to four coins, you get to mark off a trophy. That trophy is whatever the highest trophy on here is. And it's just like first come, first serve. So the trophies are a little bit of a race. The palm trees, remind me of the palm trees, are. they're a multiplier. No, so or you just you count how many palm trees are in the lineup on cards. Correct. Yep. And then you write that number down when you cross off a palm tree on your own cards. Mm-hmm. And then each card also has a victory point value, and some have like a victory point per one in your deck. So yeah, you get two like, points for every green, and it happens to be a twelve point purple card or something like that. Yep. So we're going to, uh, we shuffle four out to each of us, and then we pick two to keep at the start of the game. Mm. And I'm just going to pick those two. These ones go on the bottom. Yeah, I agree. People say this is probably the closest. Oh, yeah, plus, that's right. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah, so palm tree, one point for the palm tree itself, and then one additional for each palm tree Visible in the lineup. So is any gonna, anybody going to attempt to play sort of along with us? Oh, yes. It's also... Oh, you add one to the palm tree. Yeah. Yeah, one for the palm tree itself, mm -hmm. and then one for every one in the lineup, which is only one right now. There's also X's on these, which if you cover up an X, that just means you get to cover up a, one extra space. Yep. I'm going heavy green. You are going heavy green. Okay. So, yeah, so what will happen is... Uh, is is there like a first player card? Oh, you know what? I know what we'll do. Oh, I grabbed the one. I'm sorry. I wanted the one with the bonus. That's what I get for grabbing the wrong one. Is that Super Mario coin still over there? Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, I think it's under all this. It is. Does anyone have like a special first player marker that they enjoy using? This is ours right here. It's a big old fatty, uh, 
fatty metal coin that came out with Super Mario Galaxy back when I worked at GameStop in 2006 or whatever this was. So that'll be our first player marker. Uh, when do you won the last game? Mm-hmm. So you'll in be fact, I don't even know player. if we have this game. We just had like a fancy DVD sized box that had only the coin in it. I was like, oh, I want to try that Mario game. <laughs> and then it was only a coin. Which is funny because now we have Mario Odyssey, which I think is better than Galaxy. Okay, so remind me. I flip over one. You flip over one. And we both fill in that one, correct? Uh huh. Hmm. And then. Anything's possible if you believe. Yeah, and then these are all the shapes that are available. So we'll know each round seven cards get flipped over. One of these shapes will not get used. So we are using one of the. Uh, one of the three boys right mm-hmm. there. So I filled in one, two, th- oh, I filled in one, two, three. Um, and then this X over here made me get the coin at the bottom. Oh, very nice. So you got a coin. I'm going to try something really quick because on most, yeah, I'm going to change one of the stage lights. How does that look? Ooh, much clearer. Okay. Yeah, because I think for one of the games we really want, uh, or for some of the games we want a little bit more lighting. Yeah, but this one you want to be able to see the cards. Yeah, otherwise it'd be terrible. Does that look better for everyone else? It looks better on our screen. So I got a coin as well. And then coins are straight up just points each coin as well. Oh, each coin as well as the... As well as the trophy bonus, yep. Coins are sweet. Okay, so yeah, we did that. Uh, and then first player passes and flip over a card. Can you just flip? The card? Yeah, I'll just be the flipper. Angle. Baby L. I will get another coin. Okay, so the baby L is done, but there is another baby L that might come out. And so I'm going to fill in this one right there. Okay, hand me that coin and I'll flip over. A two. Bless you. Ha ha ha. So silly. And now the other thing you can always do is if you uh, choose not to or if you cannot use the shape as is flipped over, you can always fill in one box instead. Yoink. It's true. Paul says, get Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Switch. Uh, it has Mario Galaxy, Mario 3D... Uh, Super Mario 3D, and Super Mario Sunshine. Sunshine's one of the games that I never played, actually. I've never played any of those. That's true. Uh, before I, we got married... I had only played the NES. Well, you you like, told me that you were allergic to joysticks. Yeah, is basically it's true, what you said. it's true. So I grew up playing computer games with arrow mm-hmm. keys and the control and alt and spacebar. I didn't even play, like, the mouse um, and the WASD keys. I didn't even play that kind of computer game. Like, I played Tomb Raider and... I mean, I played, like, Warcraft, Starcraft. I guess those were mouse games, but... Yeah. Ooh, yikes. I did not... My brother would play, like, flight simulator games with joysticks, and they confused the heck out of me. So, uh, between that and only having played the NES as a kid, I just... I didn't like anything with the joystick. I didn't understand the concept of, like, moving to and aiming and moving, that was just beyond me. All right, so so I flip this over. Until Zelda Breath of the Wild. And with my X, I'll flip over that one and I'm done. Finished off this card. Where do we put our completed ones? Just on the side? Yep, yeah, just on the side. Should we wipe them off right away so they don't get stuck or? Yeah, sure, yeah. And that's that's also something that helps make uh, dry erase easier. Yeah, it's just, if you erase. It's a little hard to come off. It's better. Cool. Um, okay, so I get my choice of getting something. I'm going to get this other 14, I think. Okay. Interesting. Casey says, I think Rado had complained that there is sort of a memory mechanism because you're not supposed to look at the cards that were that have been flipped each round. Oh, half the time, half the time we don't do anything about it. The other half of the time we mark them off here because, let's see. All reveal expedition cards are stacked on top of each other during the round. You're not allowed to look at the deck to see which expedition cards have already been revealed. Oh, dang. Yeah, all right. Well, 
Ignore. We'll try to play by them rules then, which is funny because this is a dry erase card. So Yeah, so we assumed that you marked it off and then erased it. Hmm. That is a little bit odd, but yeah. So Teresa plays three three video games. Did you just hand me the coin to flip over a card? Uh, nope, I didn't flip over a card. Okay, okay, there you go. And the only reason that you pass the coin back and forth is if both of us finish one of these cards and draw a replacement, who gets to do it first is based on that order. Sure. One, two. Ah, shucky darns. All right. Um, Teresa plays three video games, Super Mario World, Tetris, and Animal Crossing. <laughs> nice. Never played Animal Crossing. We still never have. That's no, right. still never have. Okay, ready? Oi. All right, let's see it. The big L of power, man. Oh. I love to use an L. I'll just do it here. Yoink, I got a coin. Yikes, that didn't turn out well for me. Ah, I could have done them over here and used the L over here. Anyway, so I'm done with this card. That will be 10 points for me at the end of the game, and like I said, we're just wiping them off now. Mm-hmm. Yoink, that Good, scores. reveal something to the palm tree, please. This is one thing about this game playing two-player, is that if there's no palm trees out, there's no palm trees out for, like, ever. <laughs> just fewer cards are rotated through. Mm-hmm. Because they can be so powerful in higher-player counts. Oh, yuck. This card I have can earn me two-point bonus per orange card that I complete, and this orange card is not that appealing because some of the, like, a, uh, I guess I guess just that one, like, kind of T-bar shape. You could hope that the green one comes out and keep investing in green. Oh, that's true. I, I, I will have a lot of green yeah. done. Oh, but this one doesn't have any coins on it. That's the only one with coins. Ah! What do you want? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go that? to the, yep. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, that's seven cards, right? Oh, you're right. That's it. Okay. That so the first round. First round is done. So that's true. I think it is a little bit silly. Anything in general where like a person with a stronger memory, like I don't know. Yeah, just me memory stuff in games is just kind of odd to me. Where. Like a, like a lot of the games where people have hidden stuff behind a player shield. But if you, like, really kind of remember, you're like, well, you have two blues and a yellow, you know. It, I don't know. If some games are so transactional, yes, you're going to lose track of it. But if someone, like, the whole game is like, I grabbed my second blue thing, and you're like, you know, he's got two, two blues back there. And whereas I have completely spaced it and forgot. Especially if I'm like, oh, I'm busy teaching the rules to somebody or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or whatever it may be. So... Conveniently, your card is well set up for an L. It's very well set up um, for an L, I completed yes. this one. If I can have the paper towel, and I'm going to take this puppy right here, because that seems nice. Ah! Coins. Keyflower. Keyflower has that with the meeples, right? Like, you, because you have different colored workers that you can put out, but it's all behind the shield. I've only ever played Keyflower on Board Game Arena. I've only played it digitally, so yeah, that that forced us to to not be able to see what each other's cards were or uh, meeples were. All right, straight up three. Ooh, a straight three. So, question with palm trees, it doesn't count all my palm trees showing. Right? It's just the single card and the one out there. Yes, yeah, the one okay. palm tree itself plus any in the lineup. We'll go ahead and do it. So I'm covering up those three. Got a coin. Got a coin, and I get two for the palm tree. Oh, I wish I had coins, both in game and in the real world. <laughs> okay, I filled in okay. my three here on my green card. Flip it over a corner. All right, I get the first coin. Uh, what do you call it? The six of coin prizeness. Yikes! Okay, you get the the trophy. Yep, that's that's the word. Uh, I'm going to fill this one in with my bonus X. So now this green card is done. Mm -hmm. We should just put this in the middle between us. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yoink, 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 yoink. All right, so I've got a second one of these done. And I do earn bonus points for all the uh, orange that I do. Yikes. <laughs> I like that idea of stacking them up. 
Oh, okay. Smart. I'm gonna grab this purple 14 because just lots of bonuses maybe can be good. Maybe. Maybe, and this one has a lot of X's, so it'll help fill itself in, I guess. Okay, so did you complete anything? Nope. Flip them. Three. That's not fitting over there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna one, go. One, two, three, and I'm just gonna use the extra X there. Oh, threes are terrible on this card. One, two, three. Or I could just. Uh, agony. So I can either use that to fill this one in, or I could start filling in those. No. Yoink. That's how it goes. Okay. All right, ready? Yoink. Yes. A two. Ooh, this Bless part you. is done. And I get another two palm tree. I'm going to use that joke all night. <laughs> Did you complete one? Not yet. Oh, I have to take one of those lame ones up there. <laughs> lame. I will take this one. Because it has a coin on it. Because it has stuff. Ugh. Dang it, more palm trees. Now my palm trees are done, right? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so... That's what I get. Okay. Square. Lovely four. One, two, three, four, and I'll use it to get a coin. I'll use it to fill this area in, my little bonus. Whoop, whoop. Another coin. Okay. There's so many coins. Last one of the round. Give it to me. That fun shape. Hey, I complete another card. One, two, three. That X gives me another X, and that is completed. Yoinks. Yoinks? Zoink? Zoinks? That's what Scooby-Doo says. Oh, I could either complete a card, or I could get this one closer to completion, but either way, yuck. Either way, yuck. Uh, I have the coin, so... Thing is, I could either choose to grab a card now, mm -hmm. or let you go or first. I like the 14s, man. I think you are also allowed to draw off the top, but. Oh. Ooh. That's terrible. Yes. Yes, that's what I need. And there's no way you can complete a card before I nope. will. Nope. And oh, it's going to be worth 16 points for you because of your extra orange bonuses. Ooh. 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 That's exciting. That's the turn of events that your old pal Chris needed. Should have revealed one off the top, man. How'd I know? <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the end of the second round, and very few trophies have, have gotten got, and very little has happened. Alright, you wanna hand me that first player token? Oh my gosh, look at Wendy's disparity in points. Wendy has two 14s, a 10, and an 8, and I have. You're gonna get this. a 14 and a 12, so. I am on the cusp, I'm on yeah, the precipice. You were that right is about true. there. The little K shape. Uh oh. I'll finish this one. One, two, three, four, and I'll take the corner. So that one's done. Yeehaw. Reel me another palm tree. Hey. Dang it. Palm tree lady. <laughs> Alrighty. So I get the coin of first player. Coin news. of power. And I'll just take three across. Do, do, do. Yeah, you know what? Yoink, yoink, yoink. So I get two coins, which finishes the five-point trophy. Very nice, very nice. Five. Okie doke. Okay. Back to you. A two. Bless Can you. Can you make that joke again? Hmm. I'll just fill two over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, back to me. Back to you. A nice little L shaped of love. Woo woo! Give it to me. So that's one more coin, Dunzo. Okay, so Tim asked earlier if we were if we were to do a ranking. So so far we've played um so far we've played C City Hall. Uh <laughs> Cloud City. Cloud City. Gingerbread House. And Gingerbread House. And Silver and Gold. And Silver and Gold so far. Uh, and I think out of these three, Silver and Gold's really good. It's almost better than it deserves, like it seems like it should be. I think I like Gingerbread House a little bit more, but will yeah. let me stew throughout the evening. That okay. Could, that could change. It is nice playing them all like back to back. 
Okay. It is, yeah. Can I get the coin? Yep. Woo. Back to you. Uh, big four, box. Oh, big one, ballin'. Two, three, four. That box, that four, gives me this. Done. And the bonus X, which gets this one. I'm going to take the palm trees, so I get three palm trees. Okay, what are you going to take? I have no idea, because I don't particularly like these cards. <laughs> <laughs> but I got them, I, I'm, I've got them done, which is... Which is awesome. Woot woot, baby. The shapes came out perfect for me that time. Uh, well, look how many I've done before, since you haven't gotten anything else mm. done. Yeah. I think I'm going to take the one off the top. That is rule, right? 14 point cards and coins are my normal play. If you can get one or two of the bonuses for the 14s, that is just gravy. Yeah, I like to go purple. I like these 14 cards. Chris is just all the bonus king over there. I, I do have the bonuses, that is true. Um. I do have the, the palm tree power over there, though. I have seven points in palm trees. And I have one more point than Chris in coins, so. So my first replacement, I, I am going to take off the top. Ugh. At least it's a bonus. Uh, Ooh, another purple bonus? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to take another one off the top. You don't have more palm trees sitting there, no. so. Yoink. Ah, Could have been better. It's coins, though. Oh, that's true. It's coins. I like coins. You like coins. See? We'll see what happens. Okay. Back to me. Back to me. Back An to L reality. shape. So I'm just going to complete this puppy right here. And I will take one off the top. Oh, let me clear that off. Time to rush to get those coins. And I have the paper towel. Keep it in the middle, Chris. Doing the little, uh, I'm sorry, you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'm going to take one off the top as well. More, more purples. Great. I'm glad I'm at least keeping these purple bonuses away from you. Yeah. That would wreck me. That would wreck you. All right, last one of the round. Ready? Mm -hmm. um, yep. It's mine. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. And it's an L. It's a big L. An L for lore. Ah, oh, zoinks. All right. I'm just going to do this and put one over here. Oops. That, one, that one's Kay. almost done. Yep, fill in most of this little circle one over here. All right, so back to me. At the end of the third round, you want to mm -hmm. shuffle up the... Not Show a coin-heavy game this time. This one's going really fast. I feel like Gingerbread House was longer than this for sure. I think it's just unfamiliarity. It has been so long since we played Gingerbread House. That's part of it. This one has been a little bit too. Did you move I, the coin? I just grabbed it, yep. Okay. That Ooh. funny shape, whatever you call that funny shape. It's fine by me. Yoink gives me two coins. I complete this one, and I'm going to take one off the top again. Classic. Because I would. Orange. Oh, deck of it! You got the coin and an orange. I don't know how many we're gonna really fill in by the time this is done. So, yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens. Okay. These are equivalent for me in pointage because of that. So mm. I'm gonna for sure probably get this one. Okay. Done. Okay, but I might work on a palm tree of another. So I'll do one, two, three, and X that bottom space right there. Okay, so I'll do that shape, and I'm going to put one bonus X there. All right. Okay. Take it back. Two for this one is completed. Take it back now, y'all. I complete this one. Okay, so you get to pick first. I do. Will you hand me the top card, please? I just want a coin. Give me a coin. Give me a coin. Yeah. You get a single coin. Mm -mm, coin. Mm -mm -mm -mm, coin. All right. I'll also take top card. Ooh. I might go for that. Oh, crud. I might, might, might. Because how many? Would be 10 points. How many are left in the round? Four more. I don't know if I can do it. Four more card flips. I don't know if I can do it. Because the weird T sticky out, he already came out. One, two. Three. We'll take it, man. We'll try. This is mine, by the way. This uh, correct. Yeah. Um, you're not close to getting the coin bonus. Nope. Ooh, there's so many choices I have. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I'll get this card done, but... Uh, I'll do the palm tree. So that's one point plus these two. So three points in palm trees for me. Hey! Back to me. All right. Corner. Ah, perfect. Well, I mean, I guess... One, two, yeah, three. I want to complete cards, so that's ten points. Well, I will for sure get this done. Hey, you can just keep the paper towel in the middle, Wendy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Woo -hoo. All right, ready? Give me that coin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. A big L of love. Ooh, I like this. That gives me the palm tree for three, and it gives me a single X. So, so I get a single X... Oh, sorry, I was supposed to replace a card. Um, you take one off the top again? I'm not going to complete anything, but maybe coins. Maybe coins. Yeah, no coins. Uh, palm, palm trees. trees. Palm trees super useful. So, yeah, okay, because I have that, this is what I'm going to do, right? I, uh, I fill this in, I get the bonus X. So the extra X that I'm going to use, I'm going to use to... Be a palm tree? This is where... Yeah, Paul caught that. I needed another card. This is where the memory aspect does come in. I don't remember if the little L, the small L, is out or not, or if uh, or if both of them are out, or if I'm more likely to get the, the little two. I, don't, I think the two's already been used, so I'm going to use the bonus X over here for the palm tree, which is another three points in palm trees. Mm -hmm. Not bad. And I'm hoping that I can fill this in. So. Whereas I for sure can, because... I have one more action. Oh no! So I'm guaranteed. Boop. Worth more points. Nothing. Then a coin. Bam, 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 bam. I think I won. Oh hey, I forgot to fill in this coin. Yeah, so I got that coin done, which gives me the four point trophy. Oh, did you get your? You did get your single. I thought you just needed one more. This was the one more. I, I sorry, oh, okay. I I was talking about, I because I filled in these ones with a big L, and I was talking about the bonus fill-in for the palm trees. I forgot to do the coin. So, okay. unfortunately, did not fill these ones in, so our incomplete cards are not worth anything. One oh. day I'm predicting that you were the winner of this game. I uh, 14 times 5, plus Yikes. 16 in grays, and 10 in greens. I have no orange bonus, but I have one green bonus and two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten in purple bonuses. I have ten in palm trees. And uh what do you call it? A six award, six trophy, and then one, two, three, four, five coins. So I'm at 128. 128, good grief. I have 78 points in banners. I only have eight points in bonuses because I was never able to fill in. Oh, no, 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 I don't have eight points in bonus. I do have two oranges done. So bonuses, I have four points in purple. Twelve. I have eight points in orange, so I have 12 there. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I had 11 in bonuses, but I have one more card than you. You do have a whole other card than me. Yeah. I have eight coins plus five plus four, so I have uh, eight plus nine is 17. That is a lot of coins. Bonus is there, and then I have six points in the palm trees. I don't think that's enough, because this is uh, 78 plus 12 is 90, plus the 17, plus the six. So I have 113 points. What was your score? 128. Whew. Did anybody play at home? What did you all get? <laughs> I don't know if I, anybody actually did. Can I have the paper towel? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll wipe these. Of love. Paper towel of sharing. The paper towel You know, we could just split love. it up into two, and then we could, you know, no. turn around. Since it is, like, folded <laughs> in half. Like, this very clearly could be two separate pieces. Yeah, Casey, thanks for pointing that out. I think I did cover that coin, right? Which is the one that got me the second trophy. Uh, and even if it was one extra, I don't think it was an extra, but if it were, it's one point. <laughs> Very good. You demolished me by pretty much a 14-point card. Yeah. That's fair. I did get one extra card. Yeah, you getting that purple bonus didn't feel very good for me. Because you got more coins, but I got more palm trees. Mm-hmm. So, all in all. 
That was fun. What are we playing next, guys? What's the... Yeah, if anyone's What's still around. Vote? What do we have? I will name them off to you. We have Cacao, Emotep Duel, Sushi Go Party, Gizmos, and Baron Park. First one in the chat to recommend one. It will be the one of choice. Oh, our chat disappeared. Now I don't know who. Oh, no, whoops. Because I, I mouse clicked and then the pop out chat went away. <laughs> Nice thing about rolling rights, quick cleanup. Indeed. Baron Park. Baron Park it is. Are you saying this simply because there's koalas in there? They're not bears. Incorrect koalas. Here, I'll trade you. Yoink. All right. All righty. The people have spoken. People have spoken. Hey, I'm going to eat a piece of chocolate because it's Halloween season and we have all this chocolate. Oh, shucky darns. Did you know who this year? So... Ooh. Would you like a piece, honey? Yeah, please. We have a specific, you want a Reese's or a dove? Uh, or a both. I'll take a Reese's. Or, or both. A both is a good option, yes. A both is a good option. Bin Park might be the longest game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think, I think, um... Is this a two-light game or a one-light game? Well, let's see. Try, try turning on to the second one. I wonder if it just washes things out a little bit too much in general. Yes, yes. How do y'all use your Baron your Park insert? Your super weird organizer. Yes, yes. This is, this is how to... Whoop. This is how we do it, and sometimes things still slide around weird, but yeah, like these, these get tuckoed up here in the weird corner up top, and then, yeah, I mean, the fact that it still needs this many bags for coming with an insert, it's just a weird choice. It is a weird choice. But it, I don't know, it kind of, it kind of keeps these ones organized for the most part, so I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not ready to just toss the insert. Yeah, Paul just throw it away. I mean, you throw away even like good inserts, though, Paul. Yeah, that's true. I I mean, good is of course a matter of opinion and subjective, but like, we still have um, the, like the Lords of Waterdeep insert in our box. Yeah, we like that one, but we don't have the expansion. The skull duggery, not skulls. What is it called? Skullport. Scoundrels of Skullport, yeah. Yeah, there you go. The insert is supposed to separate tiles by player count. Interesting. This one is? Is that, that's a thing? Oh, wait, we're not playing. Um, so it's 642. That's these what are, it is. These are not as organized as I thought they were. Oh, no. I was like, why are the pandas and the goby bears together? What's going on? I am a goby bear, a goby goby bear. Cut my hair with a floby 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 bear. My mom cuts her hair with a floby. I don't know if she's still on. She was on earlier. She loves it. She actually trimmed my dad's beard with a floby too. Does anyone, for anyone that doesn't know what a floby is. What a floby is. is, it is a, um, it's a set of clippers that is attached to a vacuum cleaner and you basically have these little like plastic attachments and so you pick the length of whatever the hair is as small or as long as you want and it literally like sucks it straight up and just like chops it at that length <laughs> so that's how my mom does her hair i think six inches is like the longest so she doesn't have very long hair but i remember doing that as a kid like she did that for me and then we would we'd floby it and then it would have like a weird round weird bottom and then we would just chop it off it was I actually never got my hair professionally cut until I was an adult and paid for it myself. So, I trimmed our daughter's hair. You did just do that recently. I That's did. Fair. It was fine. It's fine. Oh, Paul, you did keep the Lord's Water Deep insert. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. It's a good insert. It's a good one. It doesn't work with the expansion, of course, but I don't know. I think it's. I think it's good. Uh, and we also just keep it flat. We've always just stored it flat. All right. I need you all to randomize for me. 
I need a number one through ten, and we play three of these, right? Yes. I need three people to tell me a number one through ten. Go. We didn't tell them there would be audience participation. Right. Okay, Casey said seven. Paul said two. And Thinker, Thinker, what is it called? Thinker, thinker Themer. Themer is three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two. Okay, sweet. Thank you. We appreciate your randomization skills. So after playing three Phil Walker Harding games, honey, do you still feel like he belongs in our Hall of Fame? Oh, yeah, he's never left. <laughs> I, I, great. I think Gingerbread House is possibly my favorite of the three that we played so far. But I love gold, this one. Silver and gold so good is the thing. Mm -hmm. So we use the highest and lowest, correct, with the two-player game? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I think we do. I think it is highest, lowest. And is this actually correct? There's a typo on the board. I remember we have I don't to do remember something what, about that. Yeah, I don't remember which one is the typo. Remove the achievement with the lowest value from each pile. Okay. So we just use the first two. So we don't actually ever have to pull them out or anything. That's true. We just leave them together. And then with the, uh, with the bear statues, it is just all of the even-numbered ones, I believe. And if it's all the odd ones, then whatever. It's still the same. You're odd or you get even. Number four. Where are you? Come on. Number four. Here you go. I'm just going to assume that this is eight unless you tell me otherwise. And then we can change it. Yeah, it's interesting that after all these years, we still don't own the Lords of Waterdeep uh, expansion. Yeah, we played it once uh, probably about a year ago, actually. Wow, yeah. And um, it was more... It was more attacky or negatively interactive than I expected it to be. What's this bag? 10, 10, 8, 8. Okay. So, yeah, so 10, 10, 8, 8. Is the count. Oh, okay. It's pointing to the wrong location. Then. Yeah, that's what the misprint was. Okay, well, I accidentally put eight there anyways. <laughs> hey, good on you. Because I had just counted eight out of those. That makes sense because they're both three length things. So I really like the Lords, Lords of Waterdeep expansion more than Wendy did. Uh, I mean, in part because I was, I benefited from it. <laughs> hey, I have a question. Real question. Are you okay if we just write on our board how to fix it? Because I can just point an arrow there, cross off that arrow, and then stick a 10 by it. That's a good question. We'll do another time, maybe. Okay. Because, yeah, it just would be nice to have that fixed. Might as well facilitate setup if that's... Mm -hmm. And if we were to, you know, get rid of the game at some point and have someone else play it, it would be nice that they knew that that was an actual typo as well. So... That is all. See no negatives. Man, it's written in a rule book. Did you know that hands are meant to be held? Are they? Per the quote of my dove chocolate. I wanna hold your hand. What does my dove chocolate say? This is a moment of truth, y'all. Whoa, so I'm I don't kinda... get to eat fortune cookies because I have a gluten intolerance, but I do get to eat Dove chocolate. Oh, <laughs> smile. Someone's thinking of me. I think there are hand people thinking of me because they're watching me on YouTube. <laughs> there might be a few people, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what Paul's saying here. Kept the base game insert for Waterdeep, then stacked the expansion insert... Then the expansion lid, and it fits on the box that way. Hmm. That is bizarre. But if that works, that's kind of cool. So is the expansion lid deeper? Because the Lords of Water Deep lid is very, like, short. Yeah. It doesn't look like it closes all the way. So if you have a big lid, and it doesn't close all the way, it still could work. 
Oh, wait, okay, because there's just a little bit of extra space. It's meant to be that gap. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, do you need any refresher on Baron Park? Mm, I don't think so. All right, cool. At some point, I might be like, ah, I made a terrible decision, but for now. Okay, cool. Let's. I think this will all fit in camera. All right, so I am the winner. Uh, where are the extra tiles, the extra boards? Oh, they are still, uh, where are they? Oh, here they are. I forgot to pull them out of the box because, you know, not important. Key component of the game, not important. So, pullers, koalas, and... Rivers, head-to-head. Head-to-head -head rivers. Okay, so these have to be organized correctly because we're not allowed to change the rotation of these. Mm. Interesting, it's more shallow and so it fits the expansion box. That's weird. Okay, we'll have to, you'll have to show it to us sometime. A yoink. All right, so uh, first player and second player. You're a first player. Mm -hmm. And so you get a toilet. I get a playground. Le toilet. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see your copy of Lords of Waterdeep sometime, Paul. I really liked the expansion more than Wendy, and I and, and part of it was that I gambled with corruption, and I came out so ahead because I got lots of I got abilities, I got lots of like the the what do you call them the action cards the the intrigue cards which let me like trash corruption and divvy them out to everyone else, and so everyone had like minus twelve negative 15 points at the end of the game or something. It was it was fairly mean. You grabbed a river, huh? I don't know what I'm doing. In the riddle of the in the river of the dream. I had a whole plan and then I remember and then you reminded me that I started with the dinky dial. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh wait. My plan is my plan has failed." Polar bars. You get three polar bears, huh? How much is the second place worth here? Seven? If you can do the reverse. Okay. I'm going to cover up the white truck so that I can get the six-point polar bar. That's fair. Maybe I should have thought about that. I forgot those were. Anyways, maybe I'm restier than I thought. Oh. <laughs> mm. I don't know why I picked this tile. Because I, I assume that because you're going for the river. I was, but it doesn't actually fit anywhere river-wise. So... Oh, yeah. I don't know why I picked this tile. Hey, let's uh, magic time machine <laughs> because that it, that really does make no sense. That really makes no sense. Okay, <laughs> let me actually think about my existence in life. Um, dooby dooby doo. Okay. Oh, interesting. Kyle says that in, in Waterdeep, more of the base game um, objectives that you would complete would give you more adventurers, more meeple or cubes or whatever as reward for completing a quest uh -huh. so that you could invest those into another quest. Yeah. Okay, so I, I will actually still take the same turn. Cool. I love I it did. for you because I love you. Oh. Much love. All right, I will take a wheel, two wheelbarrows? Or should I get a wheelbarrow and a... Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a wheelbarrow and a person thingy you're covering up the construction crew to draw one of the new yep. the new tiles i am what i do with that new tile nobody knows but i also now i will take one of these puppies because it makes sense now round around around it goes um we'll do this all righty progress all righty then. Ooh, I'm taking a gamble here. So I'm I'm doing the construction crew and taking a green, so I get to grab one of them basic boys. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 
what if I do this? That might be good. And so the green that I'm going to grab will be a river. Yoink. All right, is back to you, madam. Back to me. Back to you. Back to reality. Mm. Back to life. Back to reality. So many options. Yeah, we haven't played Lords of Waterdeep since that time, like a year ago, huh? I'm going to do that puppy. And then... I'll take this one. Oh, wait, let me think about this. Oh, no, make better choices, Wendy. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. Okay. Oh, you are, are you? All right. Better life choices, yes. All right, so I'm going to go here. Oh, that's right, because the other one to complete is the koalas, right? Yeah. Good old marsupials, which aren't bears. I'll cover up this one, which all it gives me is mm. I realize I ate the second one and I just folded it up without reading it oh yeah how dare you I'm gonna grab the polar bear I, I, just, want, I just want that polar express man alright so that was my turn when life isn't going right go left is that what yours said is that you, what mine said? No, I remember mine was the something about holding hands or some schmoozy. Oh, maybe you had, maybe I had that one earlier. Maybe you had that one earlier. Okay, we so may I, or may not consume many of those. Sorry, continue. Uh, I took my turn. You took your turn. Is you all right? So I get a wheelbarrow and a cement truck. Trucker, trucker, trucker. I'm gonna take this one, this four. Oops. You would. And I'll take a river of love. Because I love this river. I prefer the River of Dreams by Billy Joel. But that is just me. Maybe I should have grabbed that. Ugh. Because that would have fit here. Mm, regrets. Instant regrets. But I'm going to go ahead and put polar bears in there so I can grab both a river tile and... A um, another playground. All right, I'm gonna come here, and I will take a playground and a water. Oh, curses! That still leaves this space empty. Oh, Baron Park, why am I so rusty at you? I've not been away from you for that long. We played you at Dice Tower West, and we played with the sweet expansion with the monorails. That was monorail. <laughs> that's pretty great. Which was kind of the precursor to Cloud City. I feel like that, yeah. I wonder yeah. if one of those things popped out of the design process of the other. Like, yeah. But what if more layers? Oi. <laughs> Oi, they. So as we were painting these pumpkins, which you all have not gotten to see all of them, we have swirly twirlies, we have mint chocolate chip, and we have um, candy, candy corns. Corn. As we were painting them, our daughter kept telling Chris that his didn't look scary because he was painting it the color of, of what, wintergreen? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, well, I said this is the most horrifying thing imaginable to me, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. And she said, that's not spooky. It is. Our daughter and I but it is. both like mint and chocolate together. That's five. Okay, five points if you get second place for this objective. But given that that's a... Uh, two, and then these ones are still sixes. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. I may very well be abandoning... All artichokes? Yeah. <laughs> may well be abandoning this objective. Okay, back to you. Alrighty. I am going to go ahead and finish off this objective. Because convenient. Good job, you did it. You completed the River of Dreams. And I get a large, giant piece. Um... Oh, that's right. Fancy, fancy. What? I don't even know what sideboard I'm going to want. Let me ponder this for a moment. I'm okay if you continue as I ponder. I do love Thrifty's ice cream in general, but I'm just not a fan of mint chocolate chip. And hey, if when people are, more power to them, because... 
Ugh, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not doing this. Right. I'm going to take this one. Now I know what you're interested in. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this river out here so I can grab another green tile, which will be yet another river. Uh, and I get to grab a new land. I'm going to expand my bear park. Mm. So, shibuya. Alrighty, I'm going to expand my bear park as well so it is not so barren in my barren park. This one's going to go here. It's been so long since I've had thrifty ice cream. Rainbow sherbet. Oh. Is it sherbet or is it sherbert? I grew up saying calling it sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet? I don't know. I've heard people say sherbet, and I don't know if that's a different thing. Sorbet, I think, has more fruit in it. Crap. But in my mind, it's all the same. It's like a fruity flavored ice cream that's not really ice cream. Oh, dang it. I messed this up. <laughs> Oh well, um, yikes, I really messed this up. Good. I thought that I, when I laid this river, I was gonna be able to cover the orange uh, big digger, but but the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, they said no. So I think what I'm going to do then is you know, I'm, I'm still gonna lay it because that will let me complete this objective and i know i'm going to do that anyway no you know i don't need to do that yet though i can i can kind of race for the other stuff that i'll need uh okay so I'm going to put the Gobi Bears here to grab this eight point. There you go. I'm going to grab the eight point uh, big, big uh, plus sign. Okay, cool. Very cool. Trey Cool, bien. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this one. I get two wheelbarrows and another big one. Does this fit here? Oh, it fits there quite nicely. Oh, very nice. I'll take that one. Um, so two wheelbarrows. I need a single and a double, I think. Okay. What was the flavor of Thrifty's ice cream that had the crunch in it? I feel like there was one that had like a, like a malted crunch or something that oh, I really I loved. Mm, that one was, that one was, uh, as the French say, très good. I remember one time after a choir concert or something like that in high school, my mom took us to Rite Aid when they had like a buy one, get one free Thrifty's ice cream like container. And she was originally going to go in there and buy us like a cone of Thrifty's ice cream. But she realized that because they were on sale, getting each one of us our own half gallon was the same price as getting a like cone of ice cream. <laughs> So that's what we did. We all picked out a half gallon of ice cream and like ate it in the car on the way home. It was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the chocolate malted crunch. Yes. That is like hands down. Like I've never been a malt a great fan. great memory of mine. And now I can't eat malt because it has gluten in it. So. Malt has gluten. It, I'm allergic to it. It <laughs> would be very unhealthy for my body if I ingested it. Yes, yes. You make me sound like a weirdo. <laughs> okay, so I'm covering. I get. I grab a new tile and I grab a, a white thing. So, mm, do I grab this because it's more points? Or do I grab this because it fits so perfectly over here? It's perfect. Ah. I have no idea. Yikes! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I got this. I have completed two objectives. Of power. That you have. Uh, that I have. Agony. Do, 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 agony. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I am going to grab this one. Perfect. Joinky, yoink. All right. Oh, and I have to grab the new tile is, is part of the thing, too. So I need to figure out which one of these I want. Do I want... Where did the... Yeah, where does the bad thing line up? There or there? 
Look at this. There's no reason that that shouldn't work. Okay, good enough, good enough. Are you sure? Yes. Well, these can rotate, right? You can turn them anywhere? No. No, they have to be face up. Yeah, these okay. ones, yeah, you have to keep. Just trying to remember the actual rules. You know, not trying to cheat on purpose. Just on sort of purpose. All right, I'm going to toss this here. Because it's too good to be true. Am I just going to do a long park? Does this make more sense here? Hmm. This probably makes more sense here. Ah, 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 everything is exploding. Okay, I fixed it. Cool, so we're done with these because none of us can grab more than a fourth space. So you can kind of just center that if, because yours is kind of poking off camera. Oh, it is off camera. Thank you for pointing that out. Which means everyone didn't see my big destruction of it, but now they see my destruction of it. Oh wow, this is this is worse than I thought. <laughs> all right, all right, I remember where everything goes. Okay. I'm amazed we're this far, none of us have filled in a single tile all the way to grab a a bar statue. It's true. This is certainly not a uh, how to play most efficiently video. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, this boy out here, the big old goby bear. Sweet, which still lets me grab this, which is the most points, that's great. And it lets me grab another green wheelbarrow thing, so I'm gonna grab one of these boys. A chunk, a chunk. Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -da -bum. Okay, I am going to go ahead and take that 16-pointer of a bear statue power right here. Boo, boo. It's haunted, get it? Because it's Halloween tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> Precisely. One hour to Halloween, y'all. One hour to Halloween. And we've, what, played, this is our fourth game? This is our fourth game, yeah. I was expecting this to go a little bit quicker, but... I was. Well, we're chatting with lovely people. It's fine. This is my turn? Mm-hmm. Yoink. So I do complete this objective now. Yay. All righty. Uh, it's back to you. Back to me. Oh. Let's see. I'm just pondering on what I need to complete stuff. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna take this one. Because it's worth four points. Yeah, exactly. Can't go wrong with that. One of my favorite two player games, Fjords, is getting a reprint after 15 years. Mm. Ooh, and Phil Walker Harding is designing five variants for the game, and Beth Sobel is doing the art. You sly dog, you're just trying to get me to spend money. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> I've heard really good things about fjords. I've also heard really, you know. You're supposed to have this. You're right. When I placed this out, I did complete the, the polar did. bears. I was like, man, I'd really, <laughs> really <laughs> forked this game if I have like very few points going on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I did not know about Phil Walker Harding designing some of the variants or from the modules or whatever for for fjords, but. Uh, but I have heard that they're built fjord tough, so. <laughs> you are mighty silly. Thank you. I'm gonna fill this one in because it allows me to get the 14 point bar statue. Good a plan. Thank you. Yeah, cause you do have, yeah, you do have one of these. Okay, cool, just making sure. I do, I do. Beth Sobel, like anything that she touches art wise, I'm interested in. You know, <laughs> so um, she's yeah. She just does really, really good. I'm gonna let you have the next statue because I want this one. Because I want that, and I don't want you blocking that for me. Mm, just saying. Just saying. It's just super. Oh, we don't have a single one, anyways, huh? A single what? To fill that in. I don't. Oh, okay. That is... Then I'm not giving you the twelve point statue, anyways. Well, fine then. 
I am afraid that I am not going to win yet another game tonight. But if I do that, I will be grabbing a toilet. Because I want to fill this in. Uh, and I get to grab one of these big bulldozy construction-y things. This one is probably good. Although some of these are pretty sweet and fun too. Yikes. That might be good. Ooh, that one is kind of nifty. That one is. I'm I'm trying to figure eight. out <laughs> I I probably am am too far gone far gone to do this because as as soon as you block one of these pieces from yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna take this eight. This big old eight. Eight is great. Eight is great. All right, I'm gonna stick this here and take the next statue. Sure you will. Alrighty. Your turn. <laughs> I Yeah, I mean this spot's really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete this one here to get the statue so you don't get it before I get to do anything again. So yeah, yoink. What do you mean? I'm gonna throw this here. And I'm gonna take a free straight. That's your third polar bear, right? Yep. So, yoink, that's gonzo. I'm going there, so I get a white. Oh yeah, so I get one of the dump trucks, or uh, cement trucks, and I get a wheelbarrow. So do another toilet, and I'll do this one. Hmm, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> that's okay, I'll take a different one, it's fine. No, I want you to be disappointed. <laughs> One. Whatever. It's all gravy. Oh, snap. That's right. I still get one of my big, yeah. one of these things. So. So what's going to fit? What is going to fit? This is going to fit mighty nicely. Mm-hmm. Or, or not much else. <laughs> I was like, this one fits, but not as great as that six. Yeah, but the problem is it's only six. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit weird. It's eight points, but I think it's going to slow me down a bit. That one also fits really nicely. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. My turn? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to come here. Grab a this one. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one because you just need that Gobi Bear. I just need that Gobi Bear. I don't want you to not let me get that Gobi Bear. I don't think I can fit. How does the end of the game work? Um, you trigger it. I get one more turn. Yes, every other yeah. After I trigger it, every other player gets one turn at the end of the game. Okay, because I'm doing that, and I need this and this, mm -mm -mm, so I will be able to finish. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, really? Yep. Well, that's a that's a disappointment. <laughs> All right, fine, but I will do this one. So I've got this sweet Gobi Bear Alley down the side here. Never done that before. That wasn't exactly on purpose. Yoink. If for a game that you weren't going for Gobi Bears, I'd just get another one, so why not? Why not take a fun little slide? And you get a statue. Oh, and I get a statue. Hey! And there you go. The finishing touches of the park that completes, that triggers the end of the game, is a wonderful toilet. Hey, mine does too. Boo! Boo! So two points I almost didn't get. Ugh. Yeah, you were ahead of me on Everything. the early statues. Yeah. yeah. So me not getting this might bite me in the butt, but also me just not playing that great. <laughs> so this is 23. Yikes. Plus. Mine were only worth 15. Eight. This is easy right here. This is great. All these big old goby bears right in the way. Uh, 12 plus 16 is 28. 
Just moving forward, this is a six plus six is 12 plus eight plus seven plus four. Oop, I forgot the statue right here, plus two, plus another eight. I think I covered everything. I saw my final calculation on my score and I got really excited and then I realized that has to be a typo. And yes, I did. I typed plus 58 at one point instead of plus five plus eight. Oh. So I, I mucked something up. Okay. Okay, I think I'm at 100, but since you messed up, I'll just double check again. Yeesh. Okay, I'm going to say it out loud this time. So I have 15 in objective. I have uh, 6 plus 4 is 10, and then 6 plus 2 is 8. Now coming over here, um, I have 2 plus 6, so that's 8, plus 8, plus 10 from a statue, plus 6, plus 14, plus 2, okay. plus 8, plus 8, plus 4. <gasps> Did you what? beat me by one point? I have 101. Ooh, I don't know. I have to audit this. Because I got 100 twice, so that's for sure my You got 100 score. both times, yep. whereas I got 158 the first time, which, or 151 or something like that, which is definitely not right. <laughs> so, okay. No, 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 no. Like, let's let's double check this because... You definitely got way more of these. I didn't get very many of those. Mm, so... And I and I took, ex I, I took high value ones. Yeah. So, 7 plus 8 is 15. I got that part right. Plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus... 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2 plus 14 plus 6 plus 4. 101. Hey, congratulations. Story checked out. What? That's I, amazing. I mean, I think the fact that I was ahead of you on the last few statues, like, I don't know, that, that happened to work. Look how sweet this dang Gobi Bear Alley is. Like, this whole side of my park is just... Yeah, because I got... Just happy. I got three fours and a six, which is really cool, but I only got four of those tiles. You got all the rest of them. One, mm. two, three, four, five, six, seven of those tiles. Yeah. Interesting. Seven of these ones versus my four. It makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. Not bad. So, yeah, so Casey says we should Google the Fjords board game reprint. Hmm. Because uh, yeah, I mean to be fair, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, I've seen people talking about it. I've seen it. I've seen Twitter a buzz about it or something like that or whatever. So, oh yeah, maybe we should have done this game last and then been like done and just wipe it and never have to clean it up. <laughs> We'd still have to clean it up just tomorrow. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, Chris is the one who puts everything back in the box because I literally don't have enough patience for it. No, that's, I mean, I have a lot of patience. Chris is just more particular. I'd probably just throw them in. That's the truth of it. I feel like I usually have a system, but I feel like when I opened it this time, everything shook around a little bit more than usual, and I was like, well. <laughs> All right, what's the vote for the next game as we clean this up? Oh, yes, we have Cacao, Emotep Duel, which would be Wendy Dye's first play of, Sushi Go Party, and gizmos. Oh, and archaeology, the card game. So hey, we're halfway through. I don't remember how to play archaeology, so that will be one that I have to be reminded on. Very I'm sure easy. once I see it, I'll remember. But all right, I have to stand up. My back hurts a little bit. I literally just want to throw this in the box and not even clean it up. It was, that was really close. I don't, one point off. So yeah, any votes on next game? Archaeology, Sushi Go, Emotemp Duel, Cacao, and Gizmos. I wonder if I can get any of this to fit properly this time. Do, 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 do. What do I usually do with this? I am now all sorts of confused. Yeah, look at that. That, that sort of fits. 
There's bags on the table. I don't even know what these bags are from. <laughs> now let's see. Yeah, so this one was a bit more setup and everything. Uh, yeah, if there was a game, that would be super easy and quick setup. Probably archaeology. Sushi goes all right. I am interested in trying Emotep soon because uh, that's one of those that Paul let us borrow. And we've read over the rules and it seems incredibly easy and a little bit less cutthroat than the original Emotep. Sushi Go, you have at least you have at least three more hours. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that we've got a bit left here and I'm okay with that. I'm having fun. Appreciate you all hanging out with us. So once again, just want to bring this up. I think pretty much everyone's the same people, but in case anyone hasn't seen it yet, uh, if you have any available means to be able to support a very, very nice person. My hair is poking out weird on the side here. Uh, to support one very, very, very nice person in the board game hobby, Giuseppe, a uh, friend of ours who recently was diagnosed with leukemia. And so... Uh, handling treatments well is the news, is the update that we hear from him. So hopefully it's going well. But he does have a GoFundMe page because not cheap. And uh, yeah, so if anyone can support him, that'd be fabulous. If you're watching this in the future, thanks for watching a ridiculously long stream. Ridiculously. We're going to test the limits of, of how long YouTube allows live streamers to go. <laughs> I think people like stream games of Twilight Imperium. So I'm sure that we're okay here. Toilet trees, doo 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 doo. My hair's gonna get weirder as the evening goes along. It's at this like fantastic length that just nothing looks good about it. But the longer it grows at this point, the more it'll just look, the more less weird it will look. The more less weird it'll look. I think you know what I'm trying to say. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's throw these big tiles in here. Yeah, I think this is what I usually do. Do that. I usually have a small bag for the toilets. And then I might need to figure out a better way. But hey, it's always worked. So why change a good thing? Just because there's something that might be better out there. Oh man. Does anyone invest in like custom inserts? Does anyone actually do that? Like buy the uh, the the brokey tokies and all that stuff? So let's see, uh, who's... Thinker Themer says they gotta run. Enjoy the rest of our marathon and pumpkin making. Yes, yes, we will talk with you soon. Not just pumpkin making, but pumpkin bashing soon. So, ooh, it's a little squishy. This is good because we have had way too many like birthday parties and stuff where there's a pinata and, the, and it's just way too strong for like the three and four year olds to whack it with a stick. Like this thing is... It's, it's kind of squishy. So this thing is going up in flames quick, figuratively. I don't think we'll actually set it, set it ablaze. Hey, thanks for sticking around and everything. Um, yeah, sometimes, Kyle, I do label bags. Like, sometimes. And I wonder if it's ever actually worth it or not, but... We recently were cleaning out uh, the... We're cleaning out our linen closet, which also is like our daughter's smaller, like little kid games and stuff. And we came across one of those, one of those legendary bags of bags, you know, and, and we just, it was weird that we forgot about this particular one because it was just, I don't know, it had like a couple hundred bags I forgot that we owned and like really nice bags. Yeah, they were like bags that we bought. Which, you know, that's definitely like a stage of board gamery ness where you're like, I 
I'm hunting in through all the craft stores to find the right types of bags that like actually work for our games. Yeah, that fit our cards. Speed section. That's where you find bags. In case you didn't know. Yeah. All right, Baron Park down. Uh, someone recommended Sushi Go. Let's do a, a lighter, quicker one and get it out of the way. Sushi Go reminds me, inadvertently, of uh, a video we just posted from our Elder Sign song we wrote last year. Mm -hmm. And um, at some point, we were working on a Sushi Go song. We just never did anything with it. So I always think of that song as we, uh, as we pull out Sushi Go. It was basically like an instructional video. I don't know if anyone is ever familiar, if anyone was a, a nerd like us, that like in high school choir or whatever sang the song Shut the Do. Um, but yeah, it was it was Sushi Go set to that. Pika okay. color. Um, this one is my color. Pink. Mm -hmm. Should and we lay them down next to so they like are like that? Or would that just roll around? No, those will probably roll around <laughs> real quick. Um, okay, what's the two player suggestion? So I'll just set up a dark color next to you. So does that show up easily? What's something visible? There you go. I'll be the bright green. Which is the... Ooh, 3D printed inserts. That. That might be the way to go. Because... Dinner for two. I don't know. I don't know how much cheaper it is. We're not going to invest in a 3D printer. This place does not have room that we could put like a stable surface onto which we could put uh, a, a, a 3D printer. And I'm sure that owning a human child also does make that harder, but. Oops, sorry, I bumped the microphone again. You're the worst. <laughs> oh, the tofu. So yeah, we're playing the, the two player recommended setup for Sushi Go Party. I don't think I've played with the menus before. Menu is what? Draw th uh, draw four cards out of the deck, play one of them, and then return return the rest and shuffle the deck. Nice. So we had talked about buying Sushi Go Party, because we had regular Sushi Go. We talked about buying Sushi Go Party for so long. So long. And then right before the pandemic, we bought it. And then we didn't open it because the pandemic hit. <laughs> And our daughter's finally old enough to play this, which is exciting. And so we pulled it out what, last week, I think, for the first time. Yeah, like a week or two ago. Yeah, and she loves it. So she's played regular Sushi Go with us, but she didn't really know how to count points and stuff. And um, so then we bought this, and we were like, uh, maybe it's going to be too advanced, like teaching her new cards every time. No, she's doing good. Are there fruit cards somewhere else? What happened to these? What, what are those? Hmm? These are the fruit desserts? Oh, are there more? Are we missing half of them? Oh, okay. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Because this was enough for the two player, but like you you have to have more cards for the six to eight player. And I just I just thought these were all of them. I was like, what happened to the rest of the Do you want to shovel these in? Because... Sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now that we've looked at them, now that the yeah. mystery is gone. The mystery. Okay. Casey says he sleeved all of the cards for his sleeved all my games. And now not anymore. Yeah. We... Yeah, we went through that phase. We didn't, we did it for Dead of Winter. We did it for El Eldritch Horror. When those were like one of our top favorite games of all time. So those are the leftover fruits over there. Okay. And then we eventually sold those games and moved on in life. Yeah. Okay, so these are the three extra fruit cards, uh, dessert, and then these are the two for the last round. Okay. So set them aside there. The sneaky rest of these will all get shuffled together. Ugh. Yeah, we used to sleeve just a few games, you know. The very particular ones that we thought would last forever in our collection, and then guess what? They didn't last forever in our collection because we were constantly <laughs> reviewing new games. Yeah. But, I mean, also I think, yeah, just our, our style of play changed. I think that's a huge part of it, too. Yeah. Dead of Winter is a great game, but one, it's it's a big teach. Mm -hmm. You know, a big teach for new people, and we never could quite have a group of people that wanted to play it, like, consistent. Twice, yeah. There were lots of different groups that we taught it to, but nobody ever played it more than once with us. And that's when it starts getting good. So, I presume. I don't know. Like, so we, what we often did is we just played the two of us with just cooperative. 
Mm -hmm. And um, I really like that actually better than The Betrayer because I don't like being The Betrayer. I'm okay if there is a Betrayer as long as it's not me. And you can start exiling people like yeah. you, you like that. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that. I mostly like it cooperative. But I felt like we explored everything in it and we kind of moved away from those big cooperative slash partially cooperative games and just moved into more thinky, euro -y style. We became drier. <laughs> yeah. Now we like the boring face on the cover. Uh, Paul said, it depends on the game if it gets tons of plays or if they are rare out of the print or hard to get, I sleeve them. Okay. Sure. Yeah, if you're more on the collectible side, that makes sense. I mean, even like Rococo for years didn't have a reprint. Yeah. And so it would make sense. Like you want these cards to last forever because they might have yeah. to last you forever. Yeah. So there's a leftover fruit. I think it is, is it still 10 cards or is it more in two player? Oh uh, yeah, still 10 cards each. Okay. Hopefully this will be a quicker game. And some right. of those other ones. Well, see, Emotep seems like it's very quick, despite the fact that it'll be new rules and everything. But I'm worried I'll think a lot on it because I just I will not be sure. Sure. Ooh, I see why this is the two-player recommended setup, because already... Already I'm like, ooh, what do I go for <laughs> first? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I've looked at the new Rococo, and it's, while beautiful, I wonder if it loses some of its straightforwardity, so to speak. Like, All right. One, two, three, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. We both valued that as a high... My card, huh? We sure did. What does the menu do? Draw four cards, play one, return the rest? Mm-hmm. Just from that deck? Yep. Interesting. Very interesting. Big gamble. Oh, what do I want? Hmm. Okay. Flip. Yeah, there you go. You got me so suit this time. I got the miso soup, yeah. I got the miso soup, yeah. Flip. One, two, three, flip. Why, thank you very much. Thank you very kindly for letting me get li this nice uh, onigiri here. Flip. Yeah, I got nine points. You got nine points. Shucks. Yeah, I also should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. So the way that the onigiri work is you want to collect the different shapes. Uh, miso soup, as you saw, is if both of us reveal it at the same time, we have to discard it. Uh, and that's the same for, like, any player account. You could be playing four players. If any two people reveal Miso Soup at the same time, it has to get discarded. Mm -hmm. The special order just copies a previously played card. Uh, flip. I'm doing the special order, so I am going to yeah. look at the top four. And hope that maybe I've got that. That you think <sighs> maybe you're special? <laughs> what? Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> so unlucky for me. Okay, return the rest and then shuffle the deck. So. Uh, I'm disgusted. That's okay. Congratulations. Did you already draft it? Yeah. I just took my new hand. Okay, and this is my new hand? Yeah. Whoo! That worked out incredibly well. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Wait. Two, three, four. How many cards are in that hand? Five. Oh, I switched too early. Sorry, because okay. you have the same amount of cards as me. Confused. This goes here. Okay. Yes. All right. Flip. Got some of that dessert. I like dessert and I cannot lie. Flip. Not letting you get that tofu, that second tofu. That's fair. I wouldn't either. Oops. Flip. Yikes. This is just going to be... This because these ones the Uramaki left. yeah is just a race to ten of them, and there's, there's only nine. Yeah, oh. and flip over that card. What was that? It's eggy egg. I can't believe you got the seven points from that. That put you <clears> so <throat> far <clears throat> ahead. <clears throat> that hurts my soul. Well, I can't believe you got that. Given I handed it all to you, 
And this was a bit of luck, but yeah. I strategized that luck. <laughs> yep. No, I agree, Paul. This is not ideal, but this is, I mean, this is smart, the way that it's set up. Uh, you know, for any, f- for a setup for two players, not bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, when are you going to score first? Okay, so two, three, four, plus nine is 13. This doesn't count. 14, 15. Okay. Pink to 15. Look at this. Wood, 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 wood. Just in these alone, I got 16. That sucks. <laughs> and then two plus two, so another four. So yoink. That will not happen again this game. <laughs> I don't think that will be possible again this game. And then your fruit is sitting out. Oh, yeah, it's over there. So we mix in the new three more fruit. What do you think of the system in Sushi Go Party versus regular Sushi Go, where you, where you keep reshuffling the deck round to round, and so you don't have that like statistical probability? Like in mm-hmm. like in the original Sushi Go, you just go through the deck basically, dealing out X number of cards each round. So you know, oh, round one, there just there weren't a lot of sashimi. So I bet in round two. I bet there's going to be enough sashimi to, to kind of gamble it. I think it's fine. I agree with Paul's point. Are we ever going to actually say, ooh, you know, we need to play uh, Sushi Go just the two of us ever again or not? Like, probably not. Yeah. Just zoomed on that for now while I'm shuffling so everyone can see a little bit closer what those are. Regular Sushi Go plays with a third hand, so this is better. Yeah, simulating... Uh, a third person. Simulate a third person. It's sometimes weird. The worst game for that is uh, Medieval Academy. They're like recommended uh, third player thing, or they're recommended two player variant. You like draft half the cards or whatever, and then you have like a secret... Like, you might, if you pick this pile, you might get good cards. If you pick this pile, you might get good cards. Like, I seeded them, and then Chris has to pick them. It's like an I choose, you split, but you're blindly picking. I think I reveal one card or something. Yeah, it's, yeah, so you, I mean, that, that's the whole game. It's not even a drafting game anymore. You set up two piles, and you say, like, okay, like, this is the card on top, and this is the card on top, or whatever. And so, yeah, it is. Uh, it was, it was bad. Mm-hmm. To the bone. Bad. What am I thinking here? Flip. <laughs> well, how interesting. <laughs> well, <laughs> how interesting. <laughs> Do I... Okay, flip. You going to pull the me move? All right, give me four cards. Hmm. If I play this, do you have to discard that one? Because it was played this turn. It's the same turn. Discard any others played this... Discard the miso soup if any other miso soup has played this turn. Mm-hmm. I believe so. All right, I'm going to play this, and I'm going to draw four cards again. Oh, uh, I think uh, I think menu explicitly states... Oh. Uh, it might be in the rules. I don't think you can menu another menu. Let me check that, though. Does that mean I get a replacement card? It just says choose any one card to play except for another menu card. Okay. And then shuffle the remaining three back into the deck. Okie dokie. Well, there's worth four points. We'll take that. We'll take that puppy. Those go under. Oh, okay, these get shuffled back into the deck. That's worth those. Yeah, drafting games with two-player variants just aren't... I don't know. We played plenty. We played... uh, so th- there was the really bad, weird version of um, Medieval Academy. Uh-huh. And we never played that one again. Yeah, we just played our own little version. We did, yeah. 
we just had two other player two other computer players that were in between us and we each took turns controlling one or the other. Yeah. All right. Flip. Okay, flip. Flip. All right. So I the first to get the Uramaki. There you are. That's disgusting. And you're pulling those out of the game permanently. Yep. So I do get eight points. All right, flip. You are just the fruit queen over there. I am the fruit queen. Okay, then. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Them okay. when they're in the car and the guy's sitting in between them. Tag, you're a tag, you're a tag, you're it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I finally watched that movie with Chris. I'd only seen parts of it and it did not age well. It's true. The sense of humor. Okay, flip. I'm taking the tofu. Yeah, I take the tofu. Oh, interesting. Well, that clears this up for me. Thank you very much. Fofu, fofu, you, you. Okay, flip. Yeah, you definitely had the the success on that one. I'm quite concerned about your fruit game, though. Good. All right, flip. I'm taking the taking this one so you don't get it, and then yikes. Flip that. Flip that. Dunzo. Well, at least you got a lot of wasted. Uramaki cards. Yeah, these were just complete waste. Uh, these ones already scored. All right, these ones go here for later. Uh, that's a little bit off camera. Can you actually just slide it over and... There you go. You have so much, so much water. But I have no yikes. points here. That's fair. I've got pretty good points. I have eight points. You have eight because points total. this failed me, yeah. I have eight points total. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, uh, I have two miso soups, so that's six points. I have one of these onigiri, so that's one point. I have two points from salmon nigiri, and then six points from tofu. Yeah. Three, six. So funny thing, we've played this like three times in the last week, and I've won every single time, and now Chris is destroying me. Last two fruit cards, <laughs> last two desserts get shuffled into the deck. So that happens. We'll see. I mean, you can get a lot of endgame scoring from those fruit. Because the fruit... This is 12 points right now. That's 12 points? Yeah. So it's not that many. But if I get any more of any of them, it's worth more. Yeah. So I might need to be playing the fruit keep away game. Because that could turn out bad. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, if you have a fruit in your opening hand, then I think that's probably going to be the obvious thing that you'd grab. That's fair. All right, let's see. But, yeah, so fruit, what's cool about it is that you can see that Wendy, like, there are uh, watermelon, pineapples, and oranges, and each one of them, like, score for sets. Yeah. So it's cool. It's a very, it's a good, powerful kind of thing. And... Three. I don't know, something you don't want to ignore. Mm -hmm. Which, unfortunately, I have been because I've been doing other stuff really well. That should be ten, right? I think so. Sweet. Yeah, I had to... Uh, it's so hard because I do like... I do like this. Like, I'm having fun with this, but would we ever pick this up as a... As just a two-player game? Yeah. I don't think so. Yoink. Oh, good. That's the one I didn't want because it was... I didn't need two more. I only needed one more. Pass hands? Oh. Sorry. Yes. In my mind, you already had... Oh, that's funny. Yep. 
I don't need more, but I also don't want you to get 10 points from that. You don't want me to get more, yes. Yeah, because that'll go from 3 to 10. Weird. So, yeah, exactly. Yep, that's a okay. seven-point jump, so... Guess I'm taking it. Flip. Flip. Hmm. It is kind of funny not playing with uh, wasabi to try and triple the points of the nigiri. Yeah. Flip. Nigiri is way less strong. Ooh, ooh, this is a tough call, actually. Oh, this is. There's so many tough calls going on. Oh, no. Okay. Flip. Flip your card. Mm, sorry. I got a bad one. I got three miso soups. Wow. Miso. Flip. Menu. Dang it. Oh, it's the one I didn't want you to take. I have right. the... Four cards off the top. You pick one. Oh. Hmm. I think that's what I want. Okay, let's take another fruit. It's the right ones this time. Oh, no. All right, there's no other menus, so I'm not going to shuffle those back in. All right, flip. Uh-oh. Wow, now you're starting to scare me this round. Flip. Got eight, so I get eight points, please. Eight, so two and six. I mean, I think that you're winning now with, with the fruit. It's very possible. Flip. An egg and a more. At least I stuck you with useless cards this time, but. Just one. Well, I guess two. Ooh. Oof. Okay, so let's score our cards for the round, then we'll do fruit at the end. Okay, so I get six, seven. Oh, that's true, because you already scored your eight. Yeah. So that's four, five, six, seven. Uh, oh, I'm not going to have that big of a leap on you. So this is four points. This one is nine. Mm -hmm. uh, so that goes from 47 to 56. And then this is uh, six, seven. So boink, blow yoink. You win. Really? Yeah, I get 26 from fruit. You get 26 points from fruit? Uh-huh. Wow. Okay, so uh, let's move you up the two, and then uh, you go up 24 from here, so 10, 10, 20, four. Oh, maybe. No, because I only... So check this out. Because I have... Because you get minus points. I have minus points, yeah. Ooh. So I, get, I have no, um, no pineapple, so I'm going to lose two points... And then I have one watermelon, so one is zero points, and I have three oranges, so that's only three points. Hey! That's that's the score right there. Fourth game in a row I've won uh, of Sushi Go Party. I mean, look at, look at this... I'm a party master. Look at this massive pile of awfulness that you've got. Yep. Just so much, so much fruit. So yeah, so like Wendy it's would score... Video, so you can't see it, yeah, I'm trying to get it all in. So I mean, because Wendy had... Um, and these are tripli triplicated. So, so I have you seven had, oranges. Which is way too many, but you kept them away from me, so I only scored three points instead of ten. Nice. Uh, and then... I had five pineapples. Five pineapples is the full ten. And then four watermelons. Whew. All right, let's sort these cards. You know what? That was, that was pretty good. Like, I don't you know. Want to hand me half that deck? Sure. I know... Like Paul said, would, like, would we play this again? Uh, I don't know. That was kind of cool. I don't know if I would want to keep playing this set. That is the thing. is like playing regular Sushi Go, it's the same cards and I love it. But as soon as I start playing this regularly, then I want the variety. <laughs> you know, we never saw a single squid that entire game. Oh, I saw one. 
Did you grab oh, one? Oh, no, I saw it in my menu hand. Oh, That's okay. Why. I was like, no, I looked at a squid. I, I just didn't pick it up. But you're right. So obviously one of our favorite games being Dominion, like Sushi Go Party is the Dominion version of Sushi Go in that you change up the cards. Yeah. You know, and you and you get to pick the combination and the set that you want. So yeah, we might make a different set, but like, I get why this is a good two-player set. I get it. Yeah, there's definitely cards in here that are not good two-player cards. Like there's, edamame, um, you get a point for every edamame, or like for one other, whatever other players have at least one edamame. Mm -hmm. And so that's pointless. Pointless? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'm going to urinate, and then I say that we go to, let's go to, let's do, let's pull out Emotep Duel now. Okay. That we shall, you want to bring it over, and I will get it set up. Please, and thank you. While I keep the rest of you company. Ah, nails. Sometimes nails, man. Sometimes. There you go, here are they. Sometimes... So one time we played and we didn't, uh, we forgot to use these regular base cards, which are supposed to be in every set. Um, and that was a very high scoring game. Very high scoring. We all, I think we only did it for the first two rounds. I think the third round we fixed it. But yeah, we were just getting tons of sets of like super great cards. So that was interesting indeed. Oops. Here we go. Toss that puppy on top. All right, so Emotep the Duel. I read the rules today. Wait, let me pass that over here. I read the rules today briefly in like three different shifts as I was waiting for my daughter to put shoes on to go outside and finish eating. So we'll see how it works out. Has anybody played this particular one? I mean, obviously Paul has. Because he owns it. At least I hope you have, Paul, because you own it. Um, setup seemed really easy. You just put boats around and you fill them up with randomness. There we go. Every player gets their own little lineup. It's funny because in this game the every player has like these little boards that are supposed to go together next to each other and it's funny because in gizmos he did something similar but they're like connected and so i i wonder what is it better all right dun -ba -dun -ba -dun. got that chris needs a temple and let's see black and white meeples Halloween colors, we have, uh, what do you call it? Ghosts and vampires. There we go. That was on purpose. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Have we played Sushi Roll? Yes, we have played Sushi Roll. It's actually my least favorite out of the sushi games. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I enjoyed it, but uh, it was in our collection because instantly I was like, oh, look, like, a Phil Walker Harding design, obviously, but uh, just just for the way that we play, I don't think it was quite worth. It, it didn't seem worth keeping. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting that um, Casey, you want it in a tin, because I don't know if I love tin games. They're fine, but there's something I don't know. The sushi roll box is big though, like it's a lot bigger than the tins. Yeah. And I guess if you if you want the match set to fit nicely next to each other, it doesn't match. So um, they slip over and then they just randomly go on each boat space. Mm-hmm, yep, and three of them do get stacked up into the reserve. Is there, there's an order that these go in, I think, right? I think yes. it's this order. It is obelisk, temple, pyramid, tomb. Nice. Guess you did it right, me. Um, now you can, you don't have to have them lined up all straight in a line. So I might do mine somewhere different from yours just to make it easier to see. That's true. Because you're just stacking things on top. 
Might make sense for mine to go like this. Okay, you could do that. I could either have mine running across the top here or, oops, oh, at. Could it just be down in front of you like mine is down in front? Yeah, yeah. Get there you more. go, yeah, move the chits out of the way, perfect. Yeah. It can go under our heads. So it's interesting that these are separate, in, but in gizmos they're connected. Oh, if yeah. You, if in gizmos you had them separate, it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, Casey says, what, online at Yukata? Yukata? Is that where you, is, which one have you played there? Um, this. This one? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I was asking who had played this. Paul said it's been a while. Okay. Been a while since I said sorry for singing this song. It's been a while since I since so, something. <laughs> okay. So obelisks are a majority thing. They're one point each, and then they're majority. These little... Six points if you have the majority, right? Yeah, six points. Yeah. These little um, circle things are just one point per circle. Yep, that's your temple. Yeah, the pyramids are these triangles. There's two different colors, and they each have a, a thing, points per how many you have. Right, you build up a light pyramid and a dark pyramid. And then you score both separately, and then these numbers right here are not points, but instead they are uh, laid out like so. And there's like numbers 1 through 12. And you score sets for however many that are touching. If there's a space in between, it's not considered touching, and it starts to Your be hand set. is kind of blocking. Oh, I'm you. sorry. Yeah, so yeah, so you want to have like a big run, like a 9, 10, 11, 12. If you have four of them touching in a row, that's 16, 16 points? 16, mm -hmm. So every okay. chunk of them not touching is a set. Oh, each chunk. Yes, each chunk. So you, you actually don't want to have all 12 in a row... Nope, because that would be only 25 points because maximum is five. Oh, max of five plus. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, so you want to, I guess, preferably have like five and and five. Like yeah. two sets of five would be 25 points each. That would be ideal. Weird. Okay. Well, interesting. Phil Walker Harding is, he's, he makes man. you think in such a simple way. Okay, so actions are place a meeple, uh, deliver stuff from a boat, uh -huh. or play these special blue action cards. Correct. Those are your three actions possible. I don't remember what this is for. Do you remember what that's for? Uh, there's, okay, this one, this special action token, mm -hmm. if you win it, right, if you have, like, boom, 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 right, and then you as you grab your tiles and stuff, on, so you, you'd have to grab these blue special tiles just like you'd grab any other treasure, uh, on your turn, if you spend this particular one, let me see if I can zoom in, zoom, this one reads, take a token. So this one just lets me grab a token from any one of the boats, right? I just straight up want uh, this one, right? Mm -hmm. I just spend my token, boop, I get this, I add it to my temple, and then that's why there's these reserve ones. These reserve ones come and fill in anything that you take because there's okay so you just get anything from any boat and then it fills in and cool. then it fills in from that reserve yep very awesome so that's what that's all about i think uh, i'm and and by that i'm guessing that there are only three of these take a token tokens do we just play till all six boats are gone or you play till the... five five are gone okay yeah. so once there is one boat remaining and is the only boat remaining then the game immediately ends but once you empty out a boat it gets replenished from the pile over here. So once these run out, then once a boat is is emptied, it is removed permanently. Oh, okay. And then that's when you start triggering the end of the, the end game, game. Once okay. these boats start, it's a little bit longer. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's not. It's not like it's not six super rounds. Short. Okay. Well, uh, I won the last one, so I go first. Okay. So the placement where you are at doesn't determine exactly what you get. If I'm, so let's say I'm here and you are here, you always start from the back of the boat and I would get the back of the boat and then you would get the next in the row because no one's here. But you, but, so we would, we, we start from the back of the boat. I would get this, you would get this, nobody would get this. Okay. Does that Once make again, sense? Once again, your hand's kind of covering Oh, I'm it. sorry. Yeah, so. 
So I would get this. Chris would get this. Nobody would get this. Now, I, I'd have to reread this, actually, because I I forget if it was who was closest to the boat takes from the back or furthest from the boat. But I remember it was a weird thing, like you take from the back of the boat or something like that. Yeah, it's right here. So black unloads first here. I guess ah, you all can share go. and see, too. So black unloads first gets here, white unloads and gets the second one. But if if all three of us have workers... Then you would do it in uh, a row. Then it would be you, me, me. Okay. Yes. And these get removed at that point mm -hmm, you get and back. given back to us. Yep. So we'll, we'll go ahead and lay down our meeples so it's yeah, maybe so it's a little bit see. easier. Yeah. Um, Casey brings up a really good point. Mm -hmm. The reason these are disconnected in particular is because they also have B sides to them which score differently. And okay. you are allowed to mix, mix and match. It up. Okay. You're allowed to have A, B, A, A. You're allowed to do B, B, A, A. Yeah. Whereas Gizmos. Yeah. Casey's so smart. Need that. Okay. Um, you won the last game, so I guess I you can go first. I won the last game. I kind of like this idea of placing extra meeples. Seems like a positive thing. Seems quite powerful, Just yes. Just saying. Well, I like the idea of doing that. You do, do you? Maybe I'll grab myself some obelisks. Maybe you shall. Or maybe I'll get some pyramids. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird because... Um, Specifically because you have to have at least two of the meeples in a row, in a or, row column. or mm -hmm. column to trigger grabbing from a boat. Uh, the, the leftover tile, do you remember, does that stay on or does it get wiped and removed? Ooh, I, think I will it, look that up. I think it gets removed from the game. I think it does. But let me look that up. Wow, this is this game could really get in my head. Now here's the thing, the little secret is that we've played original Emotep only once, and we didn't we didn't really like it. We didn't care for it. It's definitely my least favorite Phil Walker Harding game, and and perchance we should give it another try. Uh, but I I still just don't think it was really for two players. I don't know because it's so Yeah, you remove it from the game. You remove it from the game. So you yep. know what? I am gonna place right there. You know, I'm going to try changing the lighting again because your white meeples are hard to see. So let me try that. Ooh, they are. They kind of blend in. That's better. That looks better? Okay. Yeah. Visible. The lighting's a little uneven, but it works. All right. I will put this here. All right. And then I'll put this here. Hmm. What are you going to do? Fancy schmanciness, obviously. Obviously. Oh my gosh, this is like ninth, like ninth dimensional tic-tac-toe. All right, I'll take this one. I'll make those two happen. Okay, so cool. I uh, So you get these ones out of the way. I do get three pointos in my templo. Hey! Ooh. So these refill. Mm-hmm. Just random three in the... Ooh, look at all that light pyramid action going on. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and just put a dude right back there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play three meeples. Sure you will. So... I will do one, two, and... And three. Yikes. All right. <laughs> so now it's time to unload a boat for me, probably. Probably. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to unload this boat. So I'm going to grab the front two, because I got the only two here. I don't know if these tiles are, like, Worth it or not? Because, and then this one gets trashed, just gone from the game. Oh, wait, no, no. Uh, 
and then refill this boat. This buoyancy operated aquatic transport or <laughs> boat. All right. Very nice. Well, I'll, oop, I'm dropping stuff. Ooh, yikes. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and make this one happen. So I will take two of these. Another uh, obelisk gets trashed. So, okay, we'll fill it up with three. Swap two tiles and unload. That's mm. kind of cool. So, I mean, these abilities seem great. I also somewhat fear that this game will become incredibly, like, mind-greedy and cutthroaty. I'm just going to play fast. Yeah, That's exactly. My, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna not exactly worry about it. So, yoink. Pretty nice. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. It is smart that you're not allowed to unload a boat if there's not two meeples in its row or line or whatever. Yeah. Ah, schnucks. Ah. <laughs> Ah, because if I take this one, then you can take that and get two obelisk tiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, all right. But then I get a... Uh, uh, okay, we're unloading. So I get this one, and I get the last one. You get the middle one. Mm -hmm. I want an action tile. So you can see here, the start of my pyramid is coming together. So yes, we do remove those from the board. This is unload one to two X. Does that mean one to two boats? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Check your uh... <laughs> two player emotep is bad, says Casey. I there was nothing that was really that fun about it. Yeah. Four player is fun, especially with some table talk. I could see that. I mean, that's the thing is like, I still don't know if it would be our type of game per se, but like huge difference okay. with just Two players, like, I'm going to move this boat to the place where obviously you don't want it. And then on your turn, you're like, I'm going to move this boat to the place where obviously you don't want it. <laughs> it is unload one or two boats. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just use this and not my special player ability because I want those obelisks. Yowza. Got three of them, puppy. Yeah, I mean, the fact that each obelisk thing is worth one point, but th six if you oh, have the Oh, we didn't majority. refill your boat, too. I don't think that would have made a difference. Oh, okay. I highly doubt it. Wow, that's terrible. Swap two tokens and unload. Mm -hmm. That would have been kind of cool. Oh, there you go. There's one of those just take a token. Take a token, leave a token. <laughs> That really is what it is, actually. <laughs> uh, Go over there in the corner. Yoink. This is so weird, but. Kyle says, I feel like in this game, you don't want to use your turn to unload. But I guess if both of us are doing it, then it would even out. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely yeah. better ways than others. But then also, I mean, the weird thing is like, so if you wanted to really get in your head, I suppose the reason that you would choose to unload is because if if I really wanted, say, these two things, right? Maybe which is why I position my meeples this way. If I really want these two tokens, but if I spend my turn by putting out another meeple, then Wendy has the chance to, like, fire off this row and unload that. And I'm like, oh, no, my ability to get this has been messed up or something. So, mm -hmm. But I could then just on my next turn place a meeple back in that spot where it got taken from. So I don't know. I don't know the intricacies yet of this game. Uh, this is our first time, so probably playing 
quite poorly, would be my guess. Probably. Mm-hmm. You want to open up that chat again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So easily hops off. Yeah, I should actually... Here we go. There Bam, you go. There you go. Now we can fit both. We can see the chat permanently, <laughs> and I can do the <laughs> change screen view. So I am gonna do, I'm going to unload this boat here, so you get, ugh, you get the really one. good ability. Yeah. I don't like that I'm doing that. Two of those now. So you get this one back. I get these two. And I also have the special action to take a token token. That is fair. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and we have to refill the boat. Sorry. I didn't mean to slap your hand off there. Yes, you did. I'll take a token token, too. Oh, oh, gosh. Eh, eh. Ah. Ah. I could see this being really good on Yukata because of the, just the automation. <laughs> I mean, you probably want those. But if you unload it as is, then you get these fronts too. But you probably guess that I want to build up my pyramid. So, fine. Read my mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, or, 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 or. Or I could spend my turn and use the take a token token. And then I could... Then I could get this pyramid tile, this dark pyramid tile, and I could maybe have my my big dark pyramid being built up a little bit more. Uh. <laughs> what is life? But then I could be revealing something that I don't really know what it is that you would be set up in a position to get. So, yoink. That's fair. Hmm. That's also good. <laughs> Um, I'll go here. I will. Place one, and I'll unload two boats. I'll unload this one. I forgot you had that. <laughs> and this one. Oh, so this one goes first. And then this one, you get that, and I get the obelisk. I do like, I don't know if it's easy to see, but... In here, like these tokens, like there's like a teensy bit of a cutout right there. So these pyramid tokens like fit in there really nicely, actually. So that's appreciated. It is. Wendy, your obelisk is disgusting. That's gone. And then these three refill. I was surprised you didn't take that 4.1. I highly expected that to happen. I didn't. I forgot that you had the token. Right, to be able to place a meeple and mm -hmm. take a thing. So that's part of my uh, my idiocrities is that I obviously am not, uh, to, to quote Forrest Gump, I may not be smart, <laughs> but I know what betrayal is. <laughs> Yoink, sock it to me. All right. these around what do I want too many possibilities yoink back to you <clears throat> and I guess the odd thing too is that we will at different points have different numbers of, of workers or meeples available mm -hmm. so I might be forced to take a uh, unload action sooner than you would be. True. I'm going to spend this. Stop having tokens. Go here to get, you get that and I get these two. Stop having tokens to do stuff. I know, I have tokens to use to get tokens. That goes away. And then refill this boat, please. Six, eleven, and there's so many obelisks, and you're just not going for them, which makes it less like I want to go for them. <laughs> oh, the obelisks? Yeah. I see, because you already have the majority. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Ooh. This tomb scoring just seems so, I don't know, not janky, but like scary. It's very hard to get to work. I yeah. can't believe how many brown ones of these are. And there's like 
four of these total that have shown up. Sure, so far more of the dark pyramids have shown up than the light ones. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. This is one of those moments, right, where I look at this and I say, obviously I want to take this boat, but then that leaves... Wendy on her next turn to be able to place a worker here so that she can get more of her light pyramid. But then I will, but then she, but I, but then she. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is this is not nearly as bad as the original Emotemp two player. Yeah. But this is definitely like ah. That's why I'm not I'm just not even thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna yoink. This one goes away. I get the first two here. So baby. This pyramid's big oh yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh, weird. She did the thing that I... I did the thing. I didn't even like to see what these were. Maybe it'll make a difference. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, weird. Wendy did the thing that I thought that she was going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Though... Ugh. Ah, let me think about this. I suppose, <sighs> yikes, so you would get the nine, I would get the 12, you get the light pyramid. My pyramid is big. This dark pyramid is 15 points thus far. So not a game to play at midnight for the first time. Oh, it's, it is fine. I mean, possibly this is good because we're just like, yeah, let's just play it. Like, yeah. let's not overly think these things here. Yeah. You have three seconds. Three. Two. This that's that's, <laughs> that's incredibly two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Incredibly Not distracting. that fast. I, I do that with our daughter <laughs> when she needs to make decisions. Sure. Um I guess that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'll just guess I'll just go there. Interesting decision. Thank you. What's happening here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, life. Um, all right. Something interesting is going to happen at this point. Wendy is out of. What do you. You still have tokens. How do you have so many tokens? I've Why gotten are, five tokens this game. I don't have very many of these things because I have all tokens. I have nine things. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things plus a token. And I have nine things plus two tokens. So. Uh, are you going to take a boat or are you going to not take a boat? Million dollar question. Fine. I want tokens. There you go. You may have your stinking you light pyramid. Have a triangle. So number seven comes out here, and I have a token. Oh wow, we've already gone through these tiles for the most part. These are the, these are the only tiles left right here, right? Yep. Fill me up. Well, I want all of these, so I'm just gonna take all of these because three, four, Go five for is it. nine points. All right, so there's only three tiles left in the reserve er or in the uh, available area. So <clears throat> So I'll go right there. <coughs> Your turn. My turn, huh? Yup. Cool. I'm going to take a token. I'm going to take that one. Will you grab one from the reserve, top of the reserve, and fill that in? Ha ha ha! I grabbed the one that she wanted. Ha ha! And I put it at this lame single point one. Woo hoo hoo hoo! So lame. Get a little bit zany here. <laughs> This is definitely one cerebral game. I will say that. So. 
I will swap two tokens, this one and number two. Is that and a, unload? Is that swap? I thought it was within the boat. Oh, I thought it was just any two tokens. Yeah, let's double check that. <laughs> that would change things. Oh, well, swap two cargo tokens on the same boat. On the same boat. Then unload a boat. Oh, I was misthinking that the whole time. That is less wonderful. I mean, that's why it does on the picture show the two cargo tokens being swapped within the same boat. Mm. Okay, let me think. I'm letting you think. Is that what I want to do? Do, 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 do. Swap two tokens. That's fine. I'll just take a token. I'll just take number six. Whew. Okay, so replace it with the reserve tile. Ooh, fancy. Fancy schmancy, yes. Um, so I'll take this boat. So you get stuck with that crappy piece of crap, and I get these ones. Okay, so then these come out. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, these are big action tokens. Place two to three meeples. Both of them on the same boat. Very okay, nice. Okay, so now the reserve of uh, draw tiles is completely empty. So these boats are it. And we're only going to draw five of the remaining six boats. As soon as the fifth one is unloaded, then donezo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I will swap two tokens. I will swap this one and this one. And unload. So I get this, and you get... Measly one point. And then this ten gets burned because Wendy is a giant douche monster. And that sucks. <laughs> so obviously I can tell that I'm not really liking this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yep. Yep. So, um, yikes. <laughs> uh, yikes. Um, yikes. Uh, have I mentioned yikes? Have you mentioned yikes? Yeah, I don't know. Do you have any more action tokens? No. Oh, thank goodness. Mm, no, I want this one. <laughs> Yoink. So I'm going to swap two and unload. Mm. So I'm going to swap. Yikes. Okay. They're all good for me. <laughs> Yeah, place a meeple and unload one or two boats. That's gross. I hate it. I hate mm -hmm. it. But these points right here are super dumb. So I'm going to do... Wait, is that... Oh, wait. I don't need to swap tokens. Okay, no, I'm mistaken. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm just going to unload these, I think. Okay. So you get the front one, which is gross. You get another action tile. Have I mentioned that that's gross? I think that's kind of gross. Pretty gross. Mm -hmm. So you get that, uh, and then this one gets burnt. This boat done. Cool. Yoink. I hate so much about this. <laughs>
And it's interesting, too, now at this point of the game, as the boats start disappearing, then, like, the placements are more obvious, I suppose, would be the word. Like, there's very obviously only a few things I could do. And so placement, like, I can't... Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yoink. Interesting. I'll place a meeple and unload two. I'm going to unload these two. So... I get these two and you get that one. Miserable. <laughs> and then I get the four and the 11. Oh, the four victory point thing in the 11. Okay. Yeah. So all those go away. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I can place two, three meeples on my turn. <laughs> hey, take a whole boat to yourself. Not many points left. There's not many points left. That would be accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the joke is I don't have two or three people as I have one. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yoink. So, there you go. You take a turn now. Okay, well, I'll place two, three meeples. Disgusting. One. Lay them down. Two. That's what we got. That's true, you have no point of playing it. Wow, this is such a, such a cerebral little game. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, duh, I'm going to unload this one, so I get the front two and you get the back one. So yoink. Mm -hmm. And yoink. And then we place this on my turn. Cool. And then you have, you have five obelisks mm -hmm. over there, so um, I'm going to swap and unload because, well, these are each worth one point, point no matter yeah. what. So, Chris takes takes your meeples? What did I do? Why does Chris take my meeples? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. That's right. We, we uh, Game ends. Game ends. We don't do the last boat. Oh, you're right. You're right. So. Got it. Ha. 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 Phone of mine. Oh, there did you I go. forget to do that? I forget to take meeples back at one point. I don't. I don't think I'm going to win this one. So it's quite all right. Okay. So I get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for that. Eight, Where's my nine, phone? Okay. In my pocket. Another eleven. So I'm at twenty-two plus. I have five of these, which is fifteen. Calculator. Yo. Plus 25 plus are. 1, 26. Uh, 63. Um, oh, is this, are unused action tokens like a point or something like that at the end? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I think I, I remember know. reading something like that, but also maybe, maybe yep. there's 17 Each points. Each unused action is one point. Each people still in a harbor field yields one point. So I had two and you had three or something like that. Or no, I had that, right? No, no. Um, oh, this didn't get hap This didn't even happen. Yeah, because, because the game end triggered. What happened to this guy? Was he sitting here or no? Because I had, yeah, I had yoink, yoink, yoink. So we removed that. The one you cleared the two vertical yeah. columns. You should have cleared. I don't think I have this one either. I don't think I have any. Oh, I really did have meeples, huh? Oh, okay. Well, um, we're just gonna play it out as. So this was supposed to be gone. So I guess I would have played meeples just to put, like, something out. just to put something out. We'll we'll call that good because we're fudging it. Sure. <laughs> thanks for the catch. So yes, uh, you get a point Kyle. for each meeple out and for each unused action point. Um, just I, I don't know. Yeah, oh, that's we'll, very we'll B sides. Is it the same? It's still the same. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll pretend this is an end game ish setup because I, if I had extra value meeple, they would just throw them out. Okay, so I have but 16. this one got pulled back when. It got taken. 
I have 63 points. You have 63 points. Let's okay. see what I have. I have three points from the obelisk and not the six-point majority. I mean, this part's not bad because that's 10, that's 14. Um, I have one point from my light pyramid, and I got all of the dark pyramid tiles, so I do get 21. Nice. Um, it's, it's not really going to be much. I have a set of three of these tombs in a row, so that's plus uh, nine, and then one on its own. And then I have, um, what was your score you said? 63. 63? Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to close. One plus, and then, so uh, one action tile and three dudes. And now I have 53. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We've that just was... been trading off who wins every <laughs> game, man. No, I think I won two games in a row. I think you won games in a row more than once. I don't remember. You won Baron Park. I did win I Baron won... Park. That felt great. I won this one, silver and gold, and... Um... Oh, did I win Cloud City? You won Cloud City. I won Cloud City. What was yeah. the one in between there? I've won Sushi three and you've won two. Nope. You won Sushi Go Party? I won Sushi Go Party. I won Sushi Go Party. Right? You won, won Sushi, Sushi Go, Go Party, Party by the two points. That's right. Oh, still more tiles. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What else did we play? Is that it? Did I name off everything that we played tonight? Why is this so hard to remember? Just nine games. Sushi Go. Did we say Sushi Go yet? I don't remember. I don't... We did say Sushi Go. So I won Sushi Go. I won this. I won... I don't even know what we played now. It's terrible. They're all sitting there. The Cloud City, you won. Sushi no. Go, you won. I thought you won Cloud City. Cloud City, I won. Because it was the very first game we played. And then I won the second game because I just remember saying that I won the second game. Gingerbread House. Oh, that's what it was. So Wendy has won Gingerbread House, House Sushi Go, Sushi Go, Emotep, Emotep Duel, Duel, Silver and Gold. You Silver won that and Gold, one. yeah. So Where's, those are the four you've won. You've won Baron Park and Cloud City. Have we already done seven? We have two more games left? No, we have Archaeology, Cacao, and Gizmos left. Oh, what I'm is wrong so with my math? <laughs> Someone help us. Someone write down what happened. It needs to be written in history. What a neat little... At least I can say there's a neat little insert. I think it's neat that people stayed up with us, with us this late. Yeah, hey, it's, it's cr it crossed midnight. It did. It Happy Halloween, midnight. officially. Happy Halloween Pacific time. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of y'all are. Thank you, Paul and Teresa, for letting us borrow that. That went surprisingly fast. Oh, I, I wasn't surprised at all. I would... Figured that that one would be one of the quickest, and it was, and it was also better. Better than Emotep. Okay, so, Cloud City, Chris won, and Baron Park, Chris won. Yes. I won Silver and Gold, Gingerbread House, Sushi Go, Emotep. So that's, okay, we played six games. Six. I can't even count on my fingers. I thought that was seven. <laughs> yes. Because you won four, and I've won two. All right, let's do the one where I have to remember rules first. Okay. And then we'll do Gizmos. Uh, we also have um, Archaeology. Oh, and Archaeology. Oh, that's one I have to learn the most. Let's do Archaeology. Okay. Ooh, are we, even, are we gonna get through these tonight? Are we gonna still have viewers as we get through these tonight? That's that's the real question. Yeah, that's the different question. The rest of the, I mean. We'll do this. Gizmos, Gizmos is obviously a Wendy win already. Like, I think that's. That is the expectation. I may or may have house. not won everything except one or two games. Okay, so we have, uh, we did throw away the archaeology box because we've got a quiver. And this. We got an off brand quiver. Uh, this is fantastic. I really like this thing. So, archaeology, where are you, my archaeology? Okay, so here's the two player cards that we use. We mm, are. I'm already remembering this a little bit. We are not using these ones. Here you go. So these ones will go back. All right, archaeology card game. Very simple. Um, probably. I mean, this is this is a reprint. This is a second edition, essentially, of his of Phil's first published game, and it is. Uh, Ready to shuffle these. Or do you have to pull stuff out? Um, you know what? Shuffle those. Put. 
12 face down. 12 face down and then three face up cards. Yeah, yep. So, how archaeology works. There is a different... Um, hey, Casey, thanks for hanging out super late with us. So, happy Halloween. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Yeah. So, there is a different one of these um, burial mounds or, like, special areas each game. I think this is something new in the in the second edition here. I think that in the first one there was, like, just the Pyramids of Giza, so it, which was a very standard one. This is going to be a, a slightly different one. So, how it works is... Yeah, separate out 12 cards. You said three face up? Yeah, three face up. So, one, two, and three. Oh, wow. All the same. Okay. I realize are these all... No, they look pretty mixed. <laughs> so we'll do three separate chambers here, the one on the top and then the one on each side. And so how this works is when we play a map card... You have to separate the maps first? I don't remember. Mm. Oh, good. Yes, we did separate the maps already. So what will happen is when you play a map card, you can draw all the cards from one of these chambers. Right now, it starts with one card face up in each chamber. But throughout the game, we're going to be revealing uh, cards from the top of the deck. If we ever reveal from the top of the deck a sandstorm card, then the top card, of, or then each chamber will get one more card face up added to it. The sandstorms force us to discard half of our cards, rounded down. In a two-player game, there will be six sandstorms. And we have one tent each that we can discard so we don't have to discard down. Correct. Is there a way to get more tents, or is that it? Nope. Yeah, tent is one time. It's just a one-shot. One shot time thing. For I, the whole game. I don't remember a lot of this. And then I just need to check how many maps we use. I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map. Rarity. Do, 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 do. I was shuffling these even more because they didn't look as shuffled as I had hoped. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect, yeah, six maps. Six maps get shuffled in. So, yeah. <clears throat> Paul, you're still hanging out. Cool, man. <laughs> you just went quiet for a little bit to the point that I assumed that you would... Uh, you just slipped silently into the night. Don't you have work, like, in the morning, you said? Six. Okay, so six sandstorm cards. Uh, the six maps also get shuffled in here. So we'll mix them up. Yeah, I appreciate everyone who's sticking around and staying up. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap, thieves cards. So thief cards in a two-player game, we're going to have four of them. I think I need another shot of chocolate or something to keep me awake. I'm not hungry. Uh, I want some protein. Yeah, I'll take one of those, like, turkey jerky sticks or whatever. Sweet. I mean, also grab a Reese's or something on the way back if you're up there. <laughs> Yeah, so the cards get all shuffled up, and we'll start with a hand of four cards each. I believe it's four. Yeah, four. I'll double-check the rules. Read them earlier today. But, uh, and then at the start of your turn, you just draw a card off the top of the deck. If it is a thief, you get to steal a card from another player's hand. If it is a sandstorm, you have to discard. Everyone has to discard half their cards rounded down, lest they burn their tent. Um, use up their tent, I should say. And then if it is a... Is there another event card in here? No, no, okay. Uh, and then afterwards, you get to play sets of cards, if you want. I think there's another step of setup here. Let me, let me make sure. Shuffle the remaining Sandstorm Thief and map cards in the remnants of the treasure pile. Oh, sorry. We are supposed to have face five face-up cards here, so if any maps or whatever get revealed, we'll just reshuffle them back in. Wow, that's a lot of coins, and that's a lot of parchments. Okay. Here we go. Cool. So that ended up not messing things up, because no sandstorms or thieves came out. I will try. Woohoo! Thank you! Mm. 
Hand of four cards. Two, three, four. We do have to keep these secret from each other. Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. This is that. No need for the first player token to be visible. String cheese, turkey stick. Great combination of a snack. Great combo, yes. So we're going to play through all of the cards in the game, uh, is basically what's going to happen. We're going to play through the whole deck, and once we're done playing through the deck, the game doesn't end. We still, If we still have cards in hand, we can still play sets. The other thing to notice is that some of these cards here in hand have a value in the top left. So ones, twos, threes, I think even up to fours. So basically what a turn looks like is you draw the top card of the deck, and... Um, resolve it if it's anything. If it's just a regular treasure card, you just add it to your hand. Second step is you may trade with the middle if you want to. So I could trade, I could make any number of trades, but you have to max, match, you have to match the trade value. That's the mm -hmm. word I'm looking for. So if I wanted to trade in this one, I would have to grab something from here that has a trade value of one. So I could get a parchment spring. The reason for that is that you want to have a lot of the same cards in hand. Because you can see, uh, for example, these coins, if you archaeologize a coin, a single coin in hand... Um, <laughs> I hope your mint Oreos are good. Yeah, Kyle says he's enjoying a scary... Intentionally, just to... Just to... Mm, just to grind my gears. Okay. I think Ben and Jerry's has a mint Oreo ice cream. Oh, does it? Yeah. I think okay. the ice cream's mint, and it's just regular Oreos, but... And the Oreos part sounds great. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. So the way that uh, so the third thing you can do on your turn after you draw the card, resolve it, and if you do any trades, is you can play a set of cards from hand. If you play a card, just one of it, then it's worth the first value. But if I were to say have five coins in hand uh, and play them all together, right? Then you get the increased amount. As you can see, the jump from one to two to three to four to five is huge. And every single one of them is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So the parchment here is worth almost nothing for the first three, but then it can jump up to 10 points if you have a set of them. This is the number of copies of the card there are in the deck, mm -hmm. uh, no matter the player count. So, so that's what you do. Also, if you have a map card, if one of your cards is a map, you play the map, and then you can do whatever the effect is uh, in this region up here. So that's why I mentioned earlier with the buried ruins, if you play a map, boom, I played a map, pretend this is a map, then you can to grab all of the cards that are face up in one of these piles. And that's why if the top card that you draw from the deck is a sandstorm, it says deal one of these face up to each pile. So the longer that you kind of let it ride, the more valuable the built up treasures are gonna be worth, but also the other player Good might. Swoop. Yeah, could swoop. All right, these are my secret cards. Yep, those are your four cards, starting hand. Oh, also, dang it, yeah, if you have, um, if you have, like, a sandstorm or a thief or anything like that, like, anything besides, like, a regular-looking treasure card, put it back in and we have to fix it. Oh, okay, because I have two of them. <laughs> what does a thief do? I just shuffle it in, right? Yeah, yep, shuffle them in. Okay. And then deal yourself some replacement cards until you have not sandstorms and not thieves. Because I didn't follow the setup instructions. That's fair. A nice ice cold glass of milk on the side of your ice cream. I mean, mm. something. It wasn't some ice cream he had. He just had Oreos. By the way. Oh, just. Oh, they're mint Oreos. Okay. By the way, most brands of like gluten-free Oreo looking cookies don't taste anything like Oreos. But one brand does. It's like Coots, K-O-O-T-S or something like that. Or K-T-O-O-S, something like that. Uh, anyways, they're delicious, and they dissolve in milk um, quicker. Oh, my gosh. I just drew two sandstorms. <laughs> they dissolve in milk quicker than regular Oreos, which makes them way faster to eat, which is dangerous because I eat more of the container a lot quicker. But it's also wonderful to not have to sit and wait and wait and wait with your fingers like half covered in milk. Waiting for that perfect sogginess. Okay. This makes more sense that you're just eating Oreos, mint flavored Oreos. Yeah. With milk. Okay. Um, you won the last game. You are the winner of 
plenty of games tonight. So see if I can redeem myself. I need to win the next two to tie you before we go into gizmos, in which case you'll win. That's fair. That is fair. All right, well, I'm going to play these for better or for worse. Did you draw a card at the start of your turn? I did not draw a card at the start of my turn. Shh, don't look at that. Hmm. Oh, different choices now. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, I'll do this. Three, four, five, six. Woo! I can lay a set or I can wait, right? Correct. Okay. Or, in, and, and the other option is play a map to grab from these, which I assume that we're not going to do until we get some sandstormage. So the start of my turn, wowie. <clears throat> wowie, wowie. Oh, that's the benefit of sand. playing now, right? I'll just go ahead and play now then. Okay. I forgot the sandstorms. What does the thief do? Thief, take, you just yoink one card just from an opponent. Just one random hand. card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'll play that so I get 20 points for three talismans. Could have been worth so much more. Could have been worth so much more. I also drew two thieves and two sandstorms as I was trying to draw four cards. So I feel like my my luck either, maybe I spent it all on that and it's better, or I just have really terrible luck, so. Sure, okay. Um, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's now or never. It's never. So back to you. It's your turn. I'm not doing any additional actions. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I'm going to eat this. Well, you should. Uh-huh. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> mm -hmm. All those coins. So I drew that one, which is funny because it would have been worth more. Ha! In your face. Yep, that's a nice talisman that you could have had there. <laughs> if anyone else is up, what are you all munching on? Or are you choosing to not munch? End of your turn? Yep. Dribbity draw, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why? Golly gee willikers. All right. I think... I think I won't regret this just yet. I'm going to put out a map. A map has a trade value of three and a pot shard with a trade value of, uh, of one, so a total of four. I'm going to grab this Pharaoh's Mask. And... Uh, Is that turn? Um, yeah, it's your turn. Giving up a map is hard. Hard choice, but like these aren't going to be worth anything for a while. Yeah. I pass. All right, my turn. Mm hmm. Thief, thief, thief. Woohoo. Oh, you thieved my cards. I thought it was you thieved. You got your cards thieved. No. Okay. So I drew all the things that would benefit. Okay. Yoink. Okay, so that thief is out of the game now. That counts as my card draw. That is the whole draw. Um, <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, Ugh. These choices are agonizing. I think I'm going to play a set of two Pharaoh's Masks. Wow. That's 15 points. It could be so much more, but there's only four in the whole deck, so... Mm -hmm. mm, I'm going to end my but turn. But it's so early. It is early, but then I don't have to keep, like, hoarding them and worrying if you're going to steal them, or if a sandstorm comes, like, oh, do I hold on to these with the Forlorn Hope? Sure. Uh, and, and sandstorm cards are discarded into this trading market area. 
Your turn. Oh, you're done, Zoe, huh? Mm-hmm. Would you be so kind as to fill up my water bottle, please? I can do that. Woohoo! I draw a card. So us staying up till 2 a.m. is not that uncommon. That's fair. So we're actually doing fine. I'm a little tired, but... If you've just been talking and on, you know, just on camera a bit. But other than that, like, not too much different. I'm going to pass as well. It's back to you, home dog. All right. The longer that we stay up, though, and you I have to be I energetic. My apology. I didn't make it super cold because I out of habit was doing my own in my mind. <laughs> but oh, there's ice in the freezer. Well, that's terrible. Our, our water machine has three buttons across the top. Uh, red for boiling hot. Light blue for, like a little bit chilled from room temperature and dark blue for like actually cold. And I like actually cold water and my wife, the killer of joy. Your turn. And it's cold enough. What did you, you traded in two pot yeah. shards and parchment for the map? Yep. All right. Well, I will draw up a thief. Again? Again. I just traded my pot shards. I have, like, nothing. I have nothing in my hand. I have one of four chances of drawing... Your map, map right back. No. Okay, I didn't get the map. But the map's not that exciting right now. The map actually really sucks right now. Yes, I would agree with that assessment, actually. I should have kept my single ones. You would have been more likely to take... Take garbage? I had four of the same cards. Chris is now taking two of those four, and I should have just played them when they were four. Mm. I thought the odds of him getting... Anyways, so that was your turn? Was it my turn? Um, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and play a set of coins, because that's, that's 12 points. Terrible. Your turn. That's it? Yeah. I keep drawing, like, cards worth nothing. Mm. Um, pass. Back to you. The water's cold enough. I made a big ordeal of nothing. You passed? Um, yeah. Or, okay. Draw... And I'm going to uh, swoopity swap in the uh, yeah I'm going to swoopity swap in the market. These each have a trade value of one, so trade two cards that have a value of one. And now I'm going to play a set of five pot shards. Very nice. And that's fifteen points. So he's joink. All right, uh, that's it. Back to you. I have no cards in hand, so you can't thieve nothing. Oh, Paul says, usually you have Saturdays off. I guess I'd, I wasn't sure if, if business had picked back up, actually, because if... That's true. Enter, I mean, are you still at the same place? Because the entertainment industry is not doing great in Las Vegas, is my understanding. But... Uh, I'll stick this down. I'll take these and I'll just lay them out. Ooh. Just take 10 points. That is 10 points. That's more than the Pharaoh's mask is worth. Yep. All right, you done? I'm done. Cold water. See, Kyle agrees with me. Sandstorm. Ah, oh, I was going to play my other thing. That's fine. So each of us has a discard down to half. A discard, a number of cards, half rounded down. So if you have five, discard two, essentially. Um, okay. So Sandstorm does cause these cards to be flipped over. Ooh, broken cup. Broken cup and a pot shard. This is a lame chamber here. There uh, because I drew a sandstorm card, which is nothing that goes into my hand, I do draw another card. So. Okay, that's the end of my turn because I'm not doing anything with this. Back to oh, you. Oh, you didn't have anything to discard down either? Yeah, I had zero okay. cards at the start of my turn. Well, I thieve your one card. Give it to me, baby. It's lame, it's lame. <laughs> It's this. <laughs> it, I, I literally just drew a pot shard. House of Blues is one of the only restaurants open at the Mandalay Bay, and we have some super busy days and just do not... Oh, you just don't have concerts. Okay. People just go there for just for the house part and not the blues, huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, you're done, Zoe, with your turn? Yep. Oh, the thief is gone. Oh, yes, the thief is gone. I throw the thief away. I draw a card, and it is a sandstorm. You don't lose any cards, and I lose half my cards? Correct. Oh my gosh. These coins have done nothing for me the entire game. They're great for you. I should have just gotten my 20 points. 
early on, man. I draw a replacement card and I am done. Which back to you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sandstorm. Ooh, that's two broken cups. So that alone right there is already worth 12 points. Talisman and another pot shard. <laughs> so you can buy stuff and then play sets, right? Mm hmm. And use maps if you want to raid the buried ruins. All right, we're going to do this. This one and this one for this. Mm. Then I will play my map. I'll go ahead and take this. And then I'll play. 10 whole points because woohoo, so exciting. Because I keep getting hit so bad. All right, you're done. This is the whole trade market available. Sorry mm -hmm. if I bumped a mic. Hmm. I'll swiftly swap the coin for the broken cup. Because I think Wendy took a broken cup from up here. So, Mama didn't raise no fool. Okay. Your turn. Draw. Uh, back to you. Guess what? Drew another talisman. I keep drawing them, like, not during sandstorms, like, sense. right after I play a set. Yikes. You done? Or? Yep, I'm done. Tim's still on. Hey, how are you guys doing? Getting tired? Uh, a little bit, but we, you know, a little... little We're late-nighters. A little prescription of sugar always helps. So, yep. uh, dry, I'm done. You're done. Wendy has won four of the games thus far, Tim. And I have won two I of them. I thieve you. <sighs> hey, at okay. least we've, we're equal with thieves now. I thieved you twice of that. Hmm. And guess what? I'm going to play my broken cup that I just stole from Chris. Shucky darns. I that. Okay. That's, I mean, yeah, it's 12 points. 12 points is points, so. It is points. Okay. Are you done, Zoe? I'm done, Zoe. Yikes. All right. Um, hey, you know, I'm going to trade out two pot shards for two parchment um, scraps. And... Ooh, yeah, Tim says, go, Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> you have twice as many wins as me. And I'm playing this as a set of four parchment for ten points. Very nice. I might rue that decision. I just drew a card, and then I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's a map. It's and a map. I will it's take a map. this and play the Broken Cups. <laughs> yeah, count me surprised, too, Tim, that Paul is still up. I drew a card, I'm done, it's back to you. Okay, I draw a card and I'm done, it's back to you. Uh, pass, back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. All right, draw. Mm. Pass. Tim, are you you kind of a late owl yourself? I know, I know that you get caught up like working on your videos and stuff for your YouTube channel, and so, yeah, but I've noticed that you you know you tend to be up a little bit when we're doing some of these later streams and stuff, so. Oh, that's right. Tim's wife is also named Wendy. So that is true. That is true. He says he feels obligated to root for you, and I won't hold that against you, Tim. Uh -huh. But. You know, I think I'm going to map again. Take these. Oh, wait. I have, sorry. I have to buy stuff first before I map. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, if you're going to swap out anything in the, into the market. I'll put two parchments in the mar market for two pot shards. Okay. Then I will map to take these ones. And then I will lay down five pot shards. And two talismans. I think I'm winning this game. This game is a bit sprawling, especially when, you know, one person is playing all of the cards and, <laughs> and I am not. <laughs> I was annoyed at the beginning because you were getting all the thieves and stuff, but no, it's all, it's all good. I mean, I'd rather have, like, great cards is the problem. Yeah. So. 
Um, yikes. When you're done, let me know. I'm done. All right. I draw a card at the start of my turn. Did you just draw a map? Yeah. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Back to you. Yep, pass. Your turn. Oh, draw a card. All right, back to you. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, did I just draw a card? You just drew a card. Oh, I'm allowed to do stuff on my turn. Really, yeah. really quick. Yeah, okay. let me let me do stuff because <laughs> I'm just so used to not having something to do. So I'm going to trade. This is a trade value of eight. Map, talisman, parchment scrap, oh, and nice. pot. Get all those coins. I'm getting all of the coins and playing a set of five coins. There we go. Nice. That is a that's a turn right there, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty points. Thank you very much. That is beautiful. I'm gonna trade my map for three parchment scraps because the map is basically scrapped parchment, and then I'm gonna play four parchments. Here we go. All right, I draw, and that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> and I draw, and that's my turn. Are there really four more sandstorms shuffled into this thin part of the deck? Oh my goodness. The answer is yes. Sandstorm, so you discard half. Um, I have only one card, <laughs> and I draw a replacement for sandstorm. Sandstorm, so I draw replacements, and we're off. It's back to you. All right, and I draw <laughs> sandstorm. No, not quite. I mean, I guess we have our tents, but like this was not the, the head to protect. Not the, yeah. <laughs> You're done. Not the moment. Yeah, I'm done. Oof. Let's see what happens. All right, back to you. Oh, you didn't put. Oh crap! You're right. Um. So, these are the three chambers. So many parchment scraps in all of the chambers. Coins and ooh, there's the last pharaoh's mask and one of them sitting out here. I don't know if we'll even draw that much trade value though to get the last. It's true. Pharaoh mask. Okay. Who's turn? Now it's my turn? Now it's your turn. Yes, thank you for pointing that because we did have the last two, or two more sandstorm. sandstorms. I'm going to protect myself because there's only one sandstorm left, right? Yeah. If you double sandstorm on the same turn, do you still have the discard down? I think so for the second one. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I will go ahead and I will play the map that I just drew and I will take this. <laughs> stuff. Okay, that's it. Is that your turn? That's my turn. I will draw a card. No, dead gummit is a sandstorm, and I needed it to not be a sandstorm. Because I need a trade value to steal that mask away, but instead I have to get rid of these. Oh, wait, I guess I only get rid of one of them. Ho ho ho! Mm, get rid of those. And then you drew up a replacement card? Now I draw a replacement card. And, and wait, 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 I get to do stuff. Oh, you get I... to do stuff. Yes. So I thought on Sandstorm Returns you didn't get to do stuff. No, it's just... You still do. Okay. You see, yeah, you, you just discard and this then drop sense. a replacement. So so we're getting close to the end of the deck, and so we're going to play out our hands, but everything here in the market is still... Um, like, it's up for grabs, but if you don't have the trading power, you can't get it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play... I'm going to play a game of keep away. Uh, should I or should I not? Let me think about this. Because I don't want one to get her second Pharaoh's Mask because that would be 15 points for her. But I don't think anything I'm going to do is actually going to really change the outcome of this game. Um, <laughs> uh, so do I keep away Wendy's points or do I just get another broken cup? Because the thing is, if I trade these out, then I let her get... It's almost equivalent in points. It's almost equivalent. I'm, I'm trying to just, yeah, think like... I also only have two cards and one of them is Pharaoh's Mask, so I'd have enough money to be able to get the Pharaoh's Mask. So depending on whatever that is... Depending on what you draw. You know, I'm just going to try this. I'm going to try this. So I swap out these. These are trade values. Two. I grab the Pharaoh's Mask, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play my one Pharaoh's Mask. Okay. Back to you, Run Bun. Okay, it was not enough, so for the Pharaoh's mask, so I wouldn't have been able to get it. So I have four, five. Just oh, I guess if that's the, I thought that was the safer bet, but now I realize. Maybe it wasn't. 
That was that was actually the dumber move. All right, cool. Yeah. It is 12.45 in the morning, and I am not playing optimally and obviously losing a lot of these games. <laughs> hmm. What do I do if I do that? It's 12 points, 12 points. I think that I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pay those, so five. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do two, three, four, five. Play the map to get these. Yikes. And then play a three coins and a parchment. Let's go over so y'all can see. Cool. And then on my last turn, I just play out the parchment. So we're uh, empty hands, right? Yep. Because that would trigger the end of the game. Uh, and now we just count up all of these sets that we've played. And judging by the fact that Wendy has played three times as many sets as I have, because that doesn't count. Because, yeah, this trade market just goes away. Uh, three maps by themselves is 12. Uh, three of them? Or four, sorry, four. Four, okay. I don't know why I said three. So 12 plus 12 is 24. Okay. You're just typing stuff in for me. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Plus one. Calculator. Yeah, plus one. Hooray. Plus 12. Plus, plus three. 12. Sorry, there was a fifth map, apparently. Plus, oh, okay, plus another three. Okay. Plus 12. Yeah, you played all of the maps. Plus 15, 10, 20, 10, 10, 10. 127 points. I don't think I have that. Watch, this will be your day you win gizmos. This will be it. Yeah, it'd be this amazing. Be your moment. Okay, so, okay, starting, I, my set of five coins is 30 points, so at least I'm going to start strong there. This one is 12 uh, these pot shards are 15, parchments are 10, Pharaoh's mask is 15, and then 4 and 1, so that's another 5, so 87 points. <laughs> I only won by a few. Yeah. What was that, my score? 123, I think it was. Yeah, so... I didn't double your score, so that's good. You didn't double my score. That was very considerate of you, okay, Wendy. Very positive thinking there. So Wendy's up five games to my two. So I've got a chance at uh, Cacao. You got a chance at Cacao. Watch, this This will be your moment for Gizmos. I believe it. We'll see. So, yeah, so thankfully, all of the like extra weird cards over here get pulled <laughs> out. Oh, oh uh, maps. Do you have maps? Oh, I didn't pull out maps, but I can do that. By the end of the night, this will be Wendy's Hall of Fame designer, Phil Walker, Harding, and Chris's, uh, maybe not so much. How many maps are there? Five? This should be six. I mean, it says right on the card. Oh, the, that would make sense. Are those all six? Yeah. I think one of the maps was in the map pile of cards or something like that. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Which, which it wasn't supposed to be, but... But that's because I messed up. No, 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 because we didn't shuffle those in until after I did that part. I messed oh, up true. the rest of the setup, but that part I did okay, right. Okay, it's only five maps. That was the thing. That's why I was saying one, that. One of, them was in the, one of them was in the market, I think, by the end. Oh, because I thought I, I bought the one out of the market. Maybe there were two in the market. It's highly possible. Okay, here's all the cards. Sweet. Okay, cacao. On to... So you need a little bit of a refresher on cacao, huh? Yeah. I'll get it. Are there extra stuff in here? Yeah, so these are the expansion bags, and we'll just not play with those. Okay. Some of these are promos, I think. So this is all courtesy of of, of Paul. So if you're still awake, sir, thank you very much for letting us borrow. Um, Let's do white and purple. Works for me. I think those are different enough. Is this purple person, or this is also purple person? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Got he has, it. I think, both expansions in there, which... We've never played. We've never played, and I've been very interested. But not tonight. Not tonight, no. All right, purple for you. Purple for me. Okay. Purple for you. Some cacao. Some money. Point thingy jiggies. Some white tiles. And some basic tiles. Okay. All right, so let's recap so far while we're setting up here. Yes. Right, because Tim asked us, you know, if we're going to do kind of like an overall ranking. So, of the games that we've played, 
thus far. Thus far, which I can't even remember the games we played thus far. It's been right. night. Thankfully, we have them on the couch, right? So, yeah. Cloud City. Yep. Sushiko Party. Mm-hmm. Imhotep Duel. Silver and Gold. Baron Park. Um, Gingerbread House. And that game we just played. Archaeology. So, this is seven we played. We're going to play Cacao now, and then we're going to play Gizmos. And if I had to take a guess as to which one of these, of all of these games, is your favorite mm-hmm. out of all of them, it would probably be Gizmo. It's super Gizmos, yeah. <laughs> Easily, hands down, not a question. That is your favorite. That's my favorite Bill Walker his. Harding game. Um, I really like Baron Park, but we've played it a lot, and so I think in my mind, I like. It's probably still number second. Like it's still probably number two. Okay. Um, then Gingerbread House. Or silver and gold. Those are very, like, neck and neck for me. Okay. So those would be three and four. And then archaeology and um, and Emotep would be at the bottom. Um, so cacao must be number five. Okay. And then how about Cloud City? Where does that fit in there? Cloud City, probably under cacao. So number six. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that would probably that's probably where I'm at. I haven't played Kick Out in a while, so maybe if I replay it now, I'll love it, and I might change my mind on that. Maybe if you replay it now. But. Thankfully, I think we are going to replay it now. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to play it now. Maybe my opinion will change on it. Ooh, my hair is looking extra extra Ooh, wacky. I'm definitely so evening. sleepy. It's kicking in. But Gizmos is a good way to end because that will reinvigorate me. Gizmos is always exciting. Always, always exciting. So. The, I don't remember. I remember how the, the this part works mostly. But are these face down? Do you have like three in hand or something like that? Correct. Yep. Okay. You have a hand of three tiles. Uh, so Cacao was recently in it's in beta on Board Game Arena. So I did get to play it uh, not not too long ago. Ooh, and so you will win. Maybe. Maybe, maybe you'll win. Or maybe I'll go seven and two tonight. Oh my gosh, that would be so embarrassing. That wow, yeah, that'd be <laughs> terrible. So oh, these are victory points. Um, these are victory points, even though the coins. But I did learn that in one of the expansions, one of the ones we're not going to play tonight, the ones that that Paul has. I did learn that the um, the reason that they're coins is in one of the expansions, you can use them to spend for things. Hmm. So there is like a, a you know, you, this idea of you could spend a little bit to make a little bit. Yeah, spend that cacao to make that cacao. All right. All right. So a general idea of the game. Um, oh, crap. I think, can you pull out the rule book? It's kind of tucked in the stuff. Because we don't play with all of these main tiles in a two-player game. I will let you look that up. Excellent. Thank you. There's also a secondary rule book. Is this? Oh, overview. Perfect. Uh, that, that's expansion. That can go back. Perfect. Okay. These are the two, actually. I like, there's lots of papers in here in different languages as well. Stuff like this is why I love Phil Walker Harding games. This is the rule book. Sheet of paper folded in half. You know, super easy. Super, super easy. And then this is just an overview of what the different tiles do, which will be also self-explanatory. Hall super, super of easy. Fame rule book. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, okay, so four player, or two player game, we keep all of our tiles, but the jungle tiles, um, for the two player game, take the following jungle tiles and put them back into the box. So, two single plantations. Is that what this is? That's okay. what, yeah, so yeah, so two of these. One time market, selling price of three. Yoink, that one's gone. Gold mine value one. One water. One sun worshiping site and one temple. And one temple. Ooh. Cool. Well, now I know what all the pictures are because we just like. So let's uh, let's see. Them. Them. So starting tiles is a single market and a two cost, or a single harvest space and a single plantation. Yeah, single plantation and a uh, two cost, two cost market. market. So, actually, would you pull those tiles that we we took out, mm-hmm. and we'll use those to kind of demonstrate the game for you, to refresh you? Sure. So how the game works is we'll have a hand of 
tiles that have different numbers of, of workers printed on the different sides. And so you'll see, for example, that I have this tile which has one meeple on each of the four sides. And so uh, on my turn, if I place this over here, then uh, that means I'm activating the adjacent uh, jungle tile one time here and then one time down here. In the future, tiles might get added out, and I'll explain how that works. Um, so this one lets you harvest a cacao. Boom, you put that on your player board. This one lets you sell a cacao for two points. So I would take that off of my board and earn the two points for it. Those are some of the most straightforward spaces. Um, are the these? Them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, other tiles. This one is a majority race that we want to have at the end of the game. So at the end of the game, if you have the majority of meeples facing it, then you will earn the six points, and if you have the second most, you'll earn three. This one you get to sell, but at a higher price, at three, instead of for uh, the two bucks. Single plantations. There are also double plantations. So if this, were, if this had a, a double picture on it, then for each meeple facing it, you get to harvest two cacao. So if you have a worker tile facing it that has two meeples on the same side, and say this was a double plantation, then you would do the double plantation action twice, i.e. grab four cacao. But you only have room for five, so... But you only have room for five on your player board. That's true. It sounds great, but might not be. This is the sun-worshipping space. So for however many workers are touching that, you get these sun tiles. Uh, you can have a max of three sun tiles on your board. And the reason that you want to have these is that as that once the main action stack of tiles runs out, uh, and in, then in the end we're just finishing playing out our worker tile stack, we'll still have a, like three tiles left it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, when that happens, if you spend one of these sun worship tiles, you can take one of your new worker tiles and place over one of your existing ones. You can overbuild. No, you can spend those. it to overbuild any time, not just at the end, right? No, you have to wait until, uh, the, uh, until the whole action tile is, or the pile of tiles is exhausted. Okay. Yep. So you can sell majorities that way. <laughs> you can, yes, exactly, exactly. So that works really well with these majority temple spaces, right? So at the end of the game, psych, I actually want to have more people facing this direction. So I'm going to overbuild a one facing here with a two. And also, you get to activate everything around it, so I could activate this and sell a cacao mm -hmm. for two points still. So, uh, what else? There's water somewhere. Here you go. Um, mines are just straight up, you get that number of points. So if I had two facing it... Be two points? I'd just get two points. Yep. Simple as that. The last thing is water. When you activate water, uh, you have a meeple sitting over here on your board. So if you activate water, you put two dudes facing you to advance this track two spaces. So it goes all the way from negative 10 all the way up to 16 potential points you can get mm -hmm. from water. So that's, uh, I mean, that's it. That's Those are the action spaces right there. That's all of them. Okay, how does it refill on the board? <laughs> how do you put out more tiles? So at the start of the game, we'll just have these two sitting out. And then I'll likely take my turn and do something like that, right? Fantastic. And then you take your turn and you'll probably put a tile over here and do something like this, right? Yeah, groovy. But now, if I were... And, and then I would draw back up to three tiles and everything. Let's say that I take an action space like here. I don't know, let's, let's just do here as a better example. You'll notice that our worker tiles are always diagonal. They checkerboard from each other versus the jungle tiles, which are the action spaces. There will be two face-up action tiles available. And therefore, uh, when I place this tile out here, I activate this thing so I get one cacao. And then I can choose from one of these two face-up action tiles to place it right over here, say for example. Mm -hmm. And I do that I now trigger every worker facing this tile, whether my own or yours, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a double cacao action, so I get a double cacao action for this worker facing that, 
for this second worker on this tile facing here. And I even get it for this worker facing down here. Which, as Wendy pointed out, you're limited to five cacao that you can hold. So this is too much. You would take up to five and then mm -hmm. just discard the rest. So the action spaces will get filled in as a space has... Needs it. As, as it needs it, right. Okay. So, so this obviously is missing. So, for example, if I were to place this out here, there's always two available. Uh, if I put this out here, now I can take a a huge sell action, right? Sell this one for three, and then I get to do it. Sell this guy for three, and then sell with this guy for three. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, so... Let's do this thing. Easy peasy, really breezy game. Did you give me my one guy back? No. I did not, so... There you go. Uh, Wendy, you're the winner of the last game in this so little marathon. So I begin marathon. again, huh? So you begin again. Let me zoom out the camera. Okay. Well. Whew. Let's go ahead and do this then. Yuck. Okay, so I'm going to take one and I'm going to sell it for two points. I'll take two points, please. Oh, I should probably put all the cacao back. Two points. Did they say secret? Nope, they're double-sided. They're double-sided. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to keep it secret. No, secrecy. Okay, and I drop back up. Okay, I'm going to scooch your board over just a oh, wee little bit. Sure. So Y'all can see. And my pointage. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. All right. I, yuck. I can't believe these are both just single plantations sitting down here. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and... So you have to place always adjacent to like one feasible side, but I'm, Mama didn't raise no fool, so I'm just gonna do this, grab a cacao, sell the cacao, two points also. But the way that I'm going to win is the two points I'm gonna grab are gonna have the number 10 on them. <laughs> <laughs> are you allowed to take from the top of the deck or no? Uh, no, nope. Okay. And I will do this. Draw back up. Oops, like this. And I'll put this there so I get Two, one, two, and then I'll sell. Oh, wait, no, that's too many times. Sorry. I get three, and I will sell two times. So I get to keep one and get four points. Okay. Here, just give me five. Yep. Okay. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, oh, ba -doo, and this ba -doo, flips ba -doo. over and reveals a new one, a double plantation. Fascinating. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and do this then. I'll put the double plantation out. So with my existing and the previous one, I get uh, four cacao because I triggered this one for two, triggered this one for two. Uh, so I get four. <clears throat> and then I will, I have two of them facing here, so I'm gonna sell two of them. Boom, four, uh, two points each, therefore four. So I do the same thing as Wendy, but I have an extra cacao just sitting here. Woot woot. And I drop a tile. That you do. Okay. So the game is very basic right now as we're just gathering and selling and stuff, but with like those temples, those majority things in there, and then the water track, it really becomes a neat, neat little uh, puzzle by the end of it all. That it does. Wait, what do I want? Oh, and, 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 you know what I forgot to do is before this is revealed, I placed here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Therefore... This is another space that has two worker tiles facing it, so a jungle tile does need to go here. It fires off, but Wendy has no workers facing it. So you just get one. Yeah, so Wendy doesn't get any benefit of it. I get this cacao from this worker here. So, woot woot, baby. Very cool. Now these flip over? Yeah, now two new ones come out. Okay. There so we go, I'm much I'm gonna better. go ahead and do this right here. <laughs> is that right? Oh, no. No, I don't think that's right. It's this one. Is that what I want? <coughs> Wait, let me think. Sorry. Now I have to do math because that's double. Uh, let's see. Kyle says Wendy sells only one, not two. Just to clarify. Um, I, this one and this one? But this one. Oh, no. This one already triggered. Oh, because that one wasn't there. Okay. You're right. Okay. So you get. Give me back a cocoa and take back two dollars. Thank you. Good catch, Keeping Kyle. Keeping me honest. Look at that. Honesty is a policy. It is a policy. 
It's a bearable one. It is. Okay. This is what I want. Okay, I want this. So I'm going to take two, and I'm going to sell three. That's my plan. So Very cool. Take two, sell three, so I get nine points. Whew. Yes, ma'am. Give me a uh, one, and I'll give you a tenner. Sounds good. New tile release, or uh, releases, comes out, so. I didn't cheat that time, Kyle, right? <laughs> Oof, oof. I, oof. I, ugh. <laughs> oh, so many good choices. I like this. I like what I can do here. I'm going to do this, which allow me to sell twice, and then I also get to put out a tile here, which will be a majority tile. I do that, yoink. Um, so I've got one facing it. Wendy has zero. So I'm going to sell these two at three each. So six points for me. Very nice. Six points for you. Six points for me. I'll have some six points. You have one, three. What? What is that? That's the Duff Beer song from uh, Duff Gardens in The Simpsons. Mm. Draw back up. Two, three tiles. Okay, I'll go ahead and do this. So I get two cocoa. I sell two cocoa. That's four points. Yep. That's cool. Getting two from there. These ones sell. Sweet. So what you say? Four points? Yep. Give me a one and I'll give you a fiver. New replacement action tile comes out. Look, another temple. You keep controlling these temples. Maybe. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from trying to get some control no, of them it's there. it's very true. It's very true. Oh, okay. Still got this. Interesting. It's interesting. Interesting. Yoink. I'm going to do that. Perfect. So I will fill in this empty space here, and I'm going to put a temple right there. Mm -hmm. This gives me one cacao, and then I get to sell two of them for three points each. Very I.e. nice. Another six. I'm gonna trade these two fibers for a tanner. Hey, more temples. Hey, more temples. Where's the water? The water is what I'm always stressed about in this game. Oh yeah, it having hasn't come out yet. Yeah, having negative ten points is zero percent fun, but getting sixteen points is quite sweet. Kyle asks, are there any Phil Walker Harding games that you have not played or are missing from tonight? There, I mean, there's, I would say that his more uh, obscure games, there's a, there's a, another designer, Johnny Pack, Johnny Pack Canton, who owns some of the even harder ones to find, like Food Pop something, or, um, yeah, he has a couple of like really obscure games that I'm pretty sure are harder to find at this point. Um, I'm, I'm going to look some up. I, I think of, in, of his popular games that you can readily find in print, we don't own Cacao. Uh, this is the one, that, one of the ones that we're borrowing, which is a shame because I really like this game and I want to... I want to own it. I don't know if we can justify the shelf space is part of the problem. Um, so I place this here so I get two Cocoa, uh -huh. right? Yep. Okay. This one fires, that one fires, and you got two dudes facing that temple. Cool. Ooh. Still no water. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm supposed to draw a new tile. So, yeah, so this one is one that we don't own, and Emotep mm -hmm. uh, is one that we don't own. And apparently it's, it's a fairly justified uh, sentiment to say it's not really good for two players. So I, I, I don't actually ever foresee owning it because yeah. if a game doesn't play well for two... We probably won't keep it. Yeah, we probably won't. So Unless it's like suitable for our five-year-old. Then maybe. We have to really like it, though. Like Sushi Go. Like Sushi Go. 
The great thing about kids is like they keep growing and eventually they grow into games. So that's nice. That's fair. That's it's fair. quite nice. Oh, this is so thinky. And I feel like my brain is done. You feel like your brain is done? Yep. I think I, I feel like it's done. I feel like I'm just... <laughs> well, the good news is that what do we have left? Gizmos, right? So... Oy. Oy. Oh, I love this game so much. Let's do it. So I'm going to put this one right here. The four cost market, or the, the yeah, selling for four market. So this one activates a double, i.e. I get, two, uh, my single seven. worker gets two. And then I'm going to use these two workers to sell one each for Very four, nice. so, or four each, so uh, eight. I'm going to put in the tenor and put back two singles. And, oh, I guess this temple has to come out here. Yep. So, okay, revealing these. See, these tiles come out quick. Yeah. Uh, and so... Yeah, so if we if we end up ever getting these uh, sun obelisk things, then we can overbuild existing tiles. But if them and all the water at the bottom, <laughs> then that's going to be what a little bit harder. Do? Yeah. Um. Sell two for eight. Well, what could I do? You don't have any cocoa cacao left, right? That is correct. Yes. So. If I do this, then I do this, it gives me seven and you don't get a benefit. That's true. Yeah, you cut me short, uh, this, this yeah. worker. I'll take the seven. I guess I'll just take him. So I'm looking up the Phil Walker Harding titles. I know that there's a couple that we don't own that, like I said, are... are quite obscure. Okay, so there's one of those mines that literally just every worker facing it is worth one point. Um, oh, the adventure games! The uh, Phil Walker Hunting, the adventure games. We did the dungeon. So those are kind of like a point-and-click adventure thing. We don't have... Uh, we played through it with our five-year-old. She loved it. And then her cousins who are seven and eight or six and eight or seven and nine, something around there, they also loved it. They did. It was yeah. a little little light for us, especially at the beginning. Uh, it got better chapter, as you progressed. Yeah, chapter one is uh, quite quite basic. That's fine, yeah. right? Um, but it's so it, one of the cool things. It's kind of like an escape room style game, basically. But it does have um, it has three chapters to it, so you can play a little bit more. And you get a little bit more out of it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good right there because I've got a double guy facing here. You more points than me for sure. Okay. So I'm doing this. Did you say I have more points than you? For sure, yeah. I mean, I only have 26. I only have 24. And mm -hmm. you're getting way more right now. Okay. You're getting eight more. So this one guy gives me two, and then I'm going to sell them both, and I get eight. Chris might win this game. I might. You also have way more of these temples because they kept coming out on your turn. Hey, you can find me for those. Hey, there's water. There's water. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for some water. Uh, we don't own the Baron Park expansion, which we play that once at Dice Tower West, and I really liked it. I don't know if it's necessary, I guess would be my one statement on it right like mm -hmm. quite like it would be happy to keep playing it uh there's a bunch of like promos and stuff for cacao which i think that paul might actually own here you go so there's here's a couple of the more obscure phil walker harding titles uh cannonball colony um from 2008 caption if you can from 2009 Cannonball Colony has a 7 rating on Board Game Geek, 7.0. Caption, if you can, is a 5.9. <laughs> so, not a classic. Dungeon Raiders? I think that's one of the ones that Johnny Pat Canton owns, actually. Um, and people say good about it. I just, it's just hard to find. They even made a 2018 reprint. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, some Fjords modules, which was mentioned. 
Flickershay? I don't know anything about Flickershay. Um, boop, 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 boop. Bunch of Emotep stuff. The Lone Ranger Shuffling the Deck card game. He also made a Pacific Rim Shuffling the Deck card game. <laughs> And I don't know what that means. I don't actually know what those systems are. Like a card shuffling game, whatever that means. I don't know. Pack of Heroes is the other one that I was thinking of. So those are like the obscure, definitely not in print anymore games that I'm sure are very hard to find. Sorry, I'm still pondering. <clears throat> My brain is dead. It died. It died and it's done. And I feel like I'm making bad decisions. <laughs> I think I feel like everything's set up that I keep giving you like these big surrounding spaces for really beneficial things. Um, does that make sense? She's thinking. She's thinking. She's thinking. 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 She's thinking. She's thinking. Thinky. Thinky. Yeah. That goes there, and this goes here. Yeah. <laughs> Move this up one. Giving none of us anything from here, huh? Yeah. Pretty slick, Rick. Good, good. Giving us nothing. So you got one water. Nice. Got a water. That's six points. <laughs> the first water. There's a lot of points. Okay, let's reveal these and see. Oh, there's the sun tile and there's a two value mine. Baby, what a, how is this gonna go? How is this gonna go? Oh, interesting. Yeah, you stole this temple from me. I'm a thief in the night. Hmm. <laughs> Though sun temples can be nice because to be able to overbuild something that you already have out can be huge, especially when there's something like this, a double cacao next to a four-cost market, being able to overbuild in one of these spaces yeah. can be huge. I think I'm going to do this, though. So I'm going to do a triple move in water. So one, two, three. Hmm. And I don't get to place anything else out. So, Wendy, it's back to you. Back to me. I don't remember if there's any more water, or if in a two-player game it's just two water tiles. I think that there might be one more water in these two tiles left here in the stack. Kyle says you play Karuba with a kid six and nine years old. That's awesome. That's awesome. I guess Karuba is another game that soon, soon, I don't know how well our kid, you know, five years old, she's pretty good, you know, she's pretty good. Like, she's really good at the idea of taking turns and such like mm -hmm. um so i am proud of that part at least <laughs> there's the, yeah there, i mean uh, to be fair like there's a lot that she's very good at um so sushi go party has been a huge hit recently in this house that it's, it has it's so nice to make that transition from like four-year-old preschooler kind of games to like real games. All right, five points, please. And I'll trade in a cocoa. So doing this one for two and then selling yep. that for mm -hmm. another three. Nicely, nicely. Another hey, look, water. some more water. And I got my, picked up my last tile. Last while a tile. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I'm going to do this. Oof. I hope that's good. So I'm doing three water and then a fourth water. So one, two, three, four. I'm at positive 11 points in water. Woo! That is a lot of water. That is. And then, oh no! That means this has to come out here. <laughs> you get nothing. I get nothing. Let's see if I can shift some of these tiles without wrecking everything. Going to wreck it. Okay, this flips face up and has a three cost market, uh, a three coin selling market, whatever it would be called. Karuba is such a great game. It's so good. Yep. That it is. 
What if we tie on a temple? Just it's tied. It's tie. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's. I'm gonna do this just to be weirdo. I can't actually sell two sets, but I don't know what I'm doing. Three points, please. Is this mine? That's probably mine. That okay. is. Uh, give me two. Three. We'll give you a fiver. Yep. How about you give me tenner? There you go. Yoink. I think you're winning this. I might be. That'd be cool. Cause I. <laughs> Heaven knows I need them tonight. <laughs> Um, what can I do? I need to lock down some temples. I mean, oh, you know what? Let's look up really quick. In two-player game, do temples still give the second place three points? Oh, that would have been nice to know at the beginning. I assumed that they did. Because they're still, like, not having a guy attached thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to have one attached. It doesn't yeah. say, it doesn't say not, but then in that case, there's no second place. So, okay. hmm. So here's the weird dilemma that I have, right? Is that there's only one sunstone space right here. And both of my tiles, because I put my triple workers facing the water, which, you know, to be fair, was good water points. But I had zero dudes touching this. So I could place a worker tile out here. Or, you know, I go to the size here. But because the main stack of tiles has run out, I don't get any other benefit for for like having this space where normally, since two worker tiles are touching together here, uh, like there's nothing to get from it. Mm -hmm. I could get one of these sunstone tiles and overbuild something on the map, but I don't think there's anything I particularly would... Oh no, no there is. Let's do it. Yoink. So all I get is one sunstone. Okay, back to you, Wendy. Back to me. Oh, there is, huh? Oh, there is. <laughs> this might be my win tonight. Might be. Because I would put money down that I'm not going to win gizmos, which would be a conflict of interest because then I'd just throw the game. <laughs> I'm trying to think, are there any other Phil Walker Harding titles that are um, that are known that we don't own? We don't any of the don't own any of the, any of the sushi go uh, sushi go party like promos. And there's a bunch of those on Board Game Geek look, which look very, very cute. Two and two cacao. Oh, we don't own Sushi Go anymore because we own Sushi Go Party. And they're one in the same, though, when I consider, like, have you played or do you own? Well, I, I mean, interestingly, I would consider if we owned, like, the thing for me is if we owned, how do I say this? If we owned Sushi Go and someone says, oh, do you own Sushi Go Party? I'd be like, no. Sure, it'd be different. <laughs> but if someone, if we own Sushi Go Party and someone asks if you own Sushi Go, then I'd say yes, because we own all the cards to play a game of Sushi Go. Yeah, it's literally all the same cards, yeah. Yeah, all right. Second to last move, what you gonna do? Second to last move, what you gonna do? Uh, I will just go here. Yoink. So that I get a dude into this temple. That's something I get, I, I harvest a cacao. I, I'm trying to remember if cacao is like a point at the end of the game. I thought it was nothing, but. Uh, it's sun tokens left over are a point. But. Well, I think you definitely won this. I'm just going to go here for six points. Baby. You okay there? Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is my fantastic last move. This is where I'm going to overbuild. In fact, I'm going to even zoom in for this. You're going to get that Coco and four thing combo? Yeah, dude. I'm going to spend points. this sun token to be able to overbuild here because that is a double Coco. Ooh, ooh, from this one worker, and I sell here for seven, and I sell here for, nope, four uh, sell here three. for four and three, which equals seven. Um, so I spend the sun token, is gone. 
So I get seven. I'm going to trade in three and grab a tenner. Alrighty. That was the one overbuild of the game, I guess. You so. have one more point in me than points, but then you have way more here. Oh. So you win. <laughs> yeah, I have 11. You have minus negative four. Four. Yep. You're at, what, 40? You're at exactly 40. I'm exactly 40. Wow, look at that. 40, yeah. 41. Um, 11. 41 plus 11 is 52. So yeah, clearly we're... 36. <laughs> clearly we're doing great. All righty, let's clean up real quick. We're almost done. We're almost we're done. We're the race to the finish. One game left. Kyle, Ooh. are you sticking with us the whole time? Man, that would be mighty impressive. Huh, I gotta say, I really like this. This is probably one of my... Like, this is probably one of those games that I consider to be uh, criminally underrated. I don't know where it stands, like on the board game geek ratings or anything. I'll look, remind me to look that up once we get Gizmos set up, but I'll help, I'll help clean everything up. Oh, oh don't, don't close it, there you go. Don't close it! <sighs> Let's see. Oh, whoops, oh. this is the cacao bag. Oh, huh. there's a different cacao yeah. bag now. <laughs> and then our tiles, our color tiles. That was was, we had like individual player bags. As well. Yeah. So yoink, 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 just... yoink. So that's probably, these are probably your tiles, I guess? Yeah. I'm going to put it back because this is not our copy. So obviously I want to try and put things back into the correct baggage. They're the same size bag. But this one has a red strip on the top. Look at that. Look how different that is because it has a red strip on the top. Oh, okay. Kyle, you don't have to stay up with us the whole night if you, if you can't. But I mean, it is Friday night. Everything's uh, everything's hype on the west side. As yeah, my mind is definitely getting shot. What? Uh, <laughs> um, what? It, who Words, does that song? No, speak. I'm gonna lose Coco, or I'm gonna lose Gizmos tonight, and it's gonna be because I don't function more now. Things. Kyle says his wife thought that Cacao was too simple. Would rather play um, would rather play Carcassonne. And I mean I I I think Carcassonne is the deeper game of these two. Sure. There's beauty and simplicity. But there's some beauty and simplicity, yeah. Then and I don't know, there's something so like quirky about this idea of having your workers on these tiles that just kinda um, no, that's expansion. Everything base game was in here. Yes. Yoink. And then the rule book was on the bottom. We are a rule book on the house. On the top. <laughs> um, we're a rule book on top household. <laughs> <laughs> we stick our rule books on our roof. That's how we function at midnight. Oh, for uh, 12.30. Hey, that went pretty quick. Wait, no, 1.30? One thirty. Yeah, don't sell yourself short here. Last game of the night, Gizmos. We'll see if this holds up as <sighs> Wendy's favorite. I think this is the one that we're probably, like, most comfortable and just familiar with. Yeah, I'll go pretty quick. Um, left or right? Your left hand, please. Here you go. Oof, I am not first. Oh wait! Oh, wait. you won. You're supposed to be first. Ha 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 I could understand like Carcassonne yeah, being the better game of the two. Yeah. And it could just be that like I've played a lot of Carcassonne in my time, and so there's that part of me that's like rooting for the underdog. No, Cacao is great. I think Cacao is possibly more fun so to speak, whatever, whatever, like, obscure metric that may be. You know what I mean? Sure. Cacao feels a little less mean. Carcassonne can get real mean. We also haven't played with a lot of the expansions. I don't think I've played with any expansions. No, that actually, yeah, so to state it correctly, we've played with neither, we've played neither of those games with any expansion stuff. Yeah, that's fair. So while we have Cacao from Paul, I would actually love to dig into some of the expansions because... They're really good. So if Paul gives us permission, still hold on to it a little bit. 
Is Paul still there is the question. I kind of hope not. I think he has an early morning inventory so. of work to do. Uh, Kyle asks, do you track plays? We you don't. Might, you might be surprised by the statistics. I always felt like I lost when playing certain games uh, or against certain people, but not always the case. It's true. We've actually kept track of gizmos just because it's been so rare that Chris has won. I have won... Uh, you won one time for real, and then there was one time that we thought you won, and then I won on a technicality or something. <laughs> like, I miscounted a card or something like that. <laughs> it was yeah. like... It was something like that. It, it is true, especially with a game that, like... And, and so, okay, here's the thing. Is I have been playing a perpetual grudge match of Can't Stop on Board Game Arena with one of my friends, uh, Jordan, from the No Cube Zone. For, like, a couple months now, right? Most of the pandemic. Yeah. Like most of the pandemic. Uh, and so, on Board Game Arena, it has the benefit of tracking plays because we don't track our physical cardboard plays um you take out 10 of these or 20 of these Ooh, ooh! i should know this i think you take out 20 or is it 10 how many cards are there total that's 20 one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Oh, no. Okay, I... I it think... might be 15. I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. I think you keep 20. Or you take out 20. You remove 20. Yep. Okay. Those 20 are gone. Yes. Okay. I... We had it. We had it. We should have just felt more confident. Yep. I guess that's true. This is the only part of the marble dispenser you, you really need, need to it to be visible. Yeah. It's kind of um, dark. We want. Yeah. Let me see, see if. Light. See if it helps or hinders. Yeah, I mean, it'll be right in the shadow. That won't help, right? Because it's. Yeah, it's shadowed. Unless I turn it. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Now you can see. That's not weird at all. It's weird for us, but it's not weird for you. <laughs> what if it was... There you go. Perfect, right? I can see all of it. Um, what is it? Four level ones, three level twos, and then two level threes. I thought it was five. Four, three. Uh, it is... No, I'm pretty sure... I'm quite certain... How do we do this? I, I think I've almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, is that a bit? No. I mean, it doesn't help that those are blacks in the back, so they're yeah. extra darker anyway. We'll just keep it like this. Hey, yeah, that'll work. Good enough. No, it, it is um, 432. I'll double check the rule book. Yeah. I'm certain. I but... think it's, yeah, it's four or five. I'm sorry, I bumped the mic again. Yeah, 432, baby. Okay. Woo. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So my point of um, my point of board game arena is because it tracks plays for me. <laughs> I don't have to. It just does it, right? Um, I was looking at the stats of my friend Jordan and I's plays of Can't Stop, and we joked that I would beat him like mercilessly <laughs> and just win so often. But when you look at the stats, it turns out I only won about sixty-one percent of the matches. Now, out of one hundred and fifty matches that we've been playing <laughs> over the course of the last six months. Um, <laughs> you know, 60% is quite a few more matches. Significant, yeah. Yeah, like like winning 70 to... No, what am I trying to say? If you win like 80 to 70, especially if you Isn't have... Isn't like 15 extra matches? Something like that, yeah. So it would be 90 to 65, right? Is that That's right? That's not right. No. Don't do math right now. Let's just play. No, 60%, not 75%. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, 80 to 60, right? Let's just call it that for simplicity. 80 to 60. Like, 20 more wins can feel really significant, especially if you've had, like, a run of wins or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I've been having a run of, of losses with him recently. He's, he's kicked my butt, like, the last four games. So that it, it is an interesting trend. But literally... With just gizmos, we've counted. And I've only won, legitimately won against Wendy once. And we've played this game over ten times, so. 
That's funny. All right, your turn. Oh, yeah, I get to start. Um, what's in the lineup? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Clearly the right answer. Yoink. Okay. okay. Hey, I got one, too. Boo. Well. Boo. Okay, so I'm going to spin red. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to try the blue one. So when I pick blue, there you go. I'll spend a red. And when I pick a yellow. Very nice. I need to do something different with where I'm putting stuff. Uh, you can put your marbles over here. Like, because you never put anything under research. Oh, true. Okay. Okay. My side is a little bit more cramped than Chris's. Yeah, because we want to have a stupid marble dispenser visible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next up, your old pal Chris is going to pick blue, because then I also get to take one at the top. Hey, I will do the same with you. How come all your blues are showing up? Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Um, we'll spend a blue to build this little gizmo. So when I pick black, I also get a, uh, a rando at the top. Mm. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> On it, baby. I'll take a converter and I get a rando. No. When I built, no, that nothing happens. Correct, yeah. I played this on two separate trips for work. One game, I crushed the people with point from building. Am I tired? Am I having the building children? points when you get like build a black, get a oh a, yeah, a or okay, two or five or whatever. I was too tired to grasp what yeah. was happening. Okay, so I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna pick a blue and rando at the top. All right, back to you. All right, this is <laughs> wild. So I'm gonna build this one, which now pick red or. Whatever. Ooh, build black, get a. Hmm. hmm. But I think I'm gonna. Okay, we have a. a, a limit of five. Limit of so five. So I will grab a blue. Will you just hand me one out of the top? I think that'll be easier than me, like. Yeah, probably. Yoink. All right, back to you. I'm gonna pick a yellow and one out of the top. Yeah, it's it's wicked awesome when you can get like a really good combo of building ability. I think building is probably my favorite thing to fire off. So I'm gonna spend two blue, speaking of which, to build this building building. So I built a build a bear. So I need to build yellows and reds is what I need to do. Mm-hmm. All right, back to you. Back to me. This game is so good. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to pick a blue and uh, one for random for the top, please. Another blue. Thank you. Take a red and a random for the top. You've had so many blues revealed. I, it's been nice for me. So I'm going to spend a blue to build this one so that when I build yellow, I get two picks. Yes. Is this deep? Ooh, if you finally you get a pick, that's that's really good actually. Because one of the problems with with filing is that you don't get to trigger as many like real benefits, you know. Okay, uh, I will spend a yellow. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Hum. Bum. Yeah, what I really want, what I really, really want. Okay, so I'm going to spend a yellow to build this little gizmo. My upgrade so I can hold extra marbles. Now, I built a yellow so I get two picks. So I'm going to pick a blue, which gives me one out the top. Please. Just a yellow. And then is this a black or is this a blue? Black. Black. Okay. It was literally a whole lineup of black. So there you go. There's my six. There's your six. I'm gonna go ahead and search through here. Get three. One, two, three. And I will build this one, which costs two. Neat. 
And I'll stick these under. The later it gets, the better the games. Yeah. Right. My favorite, like my favorite time at, at the conventions and stuff that we've been to is like that real chill late night, last minute, like. Just hanging out with people. Yeah, real late. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's a game happening and sometimes there's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's. It's fair. It's nice, silly time. It really is. So, uh, I'll spend a black to get this. Uh, I want upgraded filage. Filage pileage. Mm. Back to you, my dear. Take this one. What if I wanted that one? How inconsiderate. You can't have it. Um, I'm going to build this red here, which is a plus. And if I build red, I also get a pick. I only get one pick, though. So. <clears throat> you want many colors of black or red? <laughs> uh, you know how to give me that red stuff, baby. Okay. I'm going to build a yellow, which gives me a pick and a... Victory point. Do you have the victory points? Yeah, they're sitting here. So I'm right? building this. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I don't want to put my victory points. There we go. <laughs> uh, I have a limit of Oh, I didn't take a pick. Seven. Sorry. I'll pick a blue. No, come on. You can't play me like that. Uh, you took my red. I take your blue. <coughs> that's, how this, that's how this goes. I just mean you can't make me super excited. Like, I'm picking that blue. <laughs> oh boy. All right, what do I want? Um, build from file, get two picks. That's cool. That's this some weird stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the problem is I just don't have that many car that many marbles of the same color, and those conver there's no converters out. Which I realize I should probably just, I'll just file. Or I mean, I'll uh, research. research. Mm -hmm. I'm look at these three. And hidey ho. Hidey, hidey, hidey ho. Good try. <laughs> Good try. Uh, there we go. I need the converter. Awesome sauce. That worked out. So one of the things about Gingerbread House and about Gizmos, both came out in the same year, and they both have a very similar like top decking mechanism. The research, the, the research well. mechanism is brilliant. Oh crap, also I picked a, what did I do? I built a red. You built a red? So I. You pick a color. Pick a color, which will be black because. Now you get one from the top. Now I get one from the top. And, you're and it's blue. Well. Because black is also a wild for me. Woo, okay. Tickets to go to MeepleCon Dice Tower in 2019, but okay. wasn't able to because of work. I have to file, so I will get one from the top. Please go under. <laughs> That's a bummer, Kyle. Yeah, Dice Tower West is awesome. Like, it's just, it's fantastic. We've been mm -hmm. to a couple of different conventions, and uh, we haven't been to any of the big ones, but, like, of the ones that we've been to, Dice Tower was so good. It's so nice. So very chill. Um, it's just all games all the time. Yeah. It's, that's what we go for. There's no, like, announcements that interrupts it. Like, some of the other mm -hmm. conventions we've been to, which, not to, like, poo-poo on them or anything, but, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's really swell. So, what am I doing? I have all these marbles now, and I even have some wild ones. How did you build some of those? I think you're in a really good possibility to win, hun buns. I might be. I'm going to spend... You're... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to spend these three stuff. blue to get this one so that I build more and get more. I don't get anything for building blue. It's the <laughs> I mean, that would be sweet. So anyway, I got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen gizmos ends it, though. So. Yeah. I don't have anything big, though. So I'm going to build this whoop, right here, which lets me pick one, which gives me one from the top and a victory point, please. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Yeah, when, once Dice Tower West happens again, Kyle, I really would recommend it. I really would. It's it's a very, it's a very fun time. I think you've bought, I think you just have more points overall. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I only have nine points. Okay. Or 10, 11 points. You have um, one more point than me. Picking black, one at the top, please. Thank you. All right, back to you. Back to me. <laughs> I'm a search. One, two, three, four. Especially, oh, you know, another great point, especially as a first convention, I think that Dice Tower West is really good. I will build uh, it's... this with these. Whoa, one, two, baby. Three, which gives me a pick, which gives me one. Hmm. Well, I'm in a deal of a pickle. Uh, huh. Okay. All right. I think that what I'll do is I will spend... Yeah, I'm going to spend this one black to build this one here, which will trigger this to give me a victory point. Woot woot. A victory point. And also, if I build a black... No, 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 I don't get any picks or anything. So there you go. There's that. Yeah, as a first convention, Dice Tower West is super good because it's just less intimidating. Um, Let me go through here again. Some conventions are in, like, a lot of different halls and they're kind of distributed around and stuff. Dice Tower West has always just kind of been, like, one big room, which is neat because... It, it's, you know, it's a bit loud, but there's always that background noise anyway. Okay, so I'm building a yellow... This counts as two. That lets me get a victory point and pick. I'm picking a red, which gives me two from the top. Yikes. Now you're worrying me. <laughs> That's my goal. Um. You have a blue you can pick or many blacks. That lineup has been <coughs> so full of blacks, and they've been refilling with blacks instead of reds. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what's going on? I'm going to start dropping stuff into the back instead of the front or something. <laughs> mm. I'm going to... I'm going to research four cards. Thank goodness. Yeah, so I'm going to spend a yellow... To build this converter, these tuck back under. Ah, this game is so brilliant. All right, I built a yellow, so I get two picks. I will pick a black, which gives me one out the top, please. And now I get to another pick, which I will pick a black. But because I've already fired this one off, it doesn't get doesn't to. It doesn't get to refire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Goodly, goodly. Hmm. Like, what can I do? Hmm. <laughs> Six. So I can hold two more marbles is my max marble size here. Okay. I'm going to spend this to build this, which lets me get a victory point and a pick out the top. Or a pick. So I pick a yellow, and now I get two out of the top. Look at that ketchup and mustard you got going on. Uh, this refills. I think I'm going to research again from here. Four cards. You know, I built, I built, I built this filing thing, and I've, and I've not filed because... I've just I've had the influx of marble, so I don't need to I don't need the filing. But I say that because I'm gonna build another file power because okay. So we spend one black marble as a yellow. Uh, and that is good for me. Three. Chris, research level two or three for better. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I, I could be um, be plowing through this thing. But I wanted to build that yellow. I wanted to guarantee being able to build a yellow because it gives me two picks, which I will pick a black. 
Can I get one off the top, please? Mm -hmm. Which is a black. And now for my second pick, and I'll pick a black. So now I'm in a good position where I feel really confident researching level three. So, uh, oh, uh, I built a, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yep, back to you, honey bunch. Okay, I'm going to spend three. Okay. On this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm a thirteen gizmo. Which lets me get red and two out the top. Okay, I'm really hoping now. So I can research four cards. I'm gonna research two, three, four. Give me something good to eat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna build this one. Because this always tends to work out pretty well for you <laughs> whenever you get that. So I'm going to spend seven marbles. Okay, that counts as one of every color. So you get two picks and a victory point. Woo! So spending seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Um, yeah, so I get one victory point. Swell. And I get two picks. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pick a black and take one out of the top, please. And I'm going to, I'm going to pick a... Um, blue so you can get another one out of the top? Yeah, probably. Yeah, hand me a blue, if you would. And one out the top. Okay, I'm going to spend seven to get this one. <laughs> what is this called? Upgrades? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that counts as everything. So I get three victory points and two picks. I'll pick a red and a yellow because those both give me two each. One, two... Three, four. How many marbles can you hold max four, though? Six, yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, there was a point where I had seven, but my yellow did count as two for this, so technically one I just didn't pick. There okay. There was a weird moment there that I was like, oh yeah, I have seven now and I should only have six, but my yellow counted as two, so it was okay. I'm at 14 gizmos. I might could actually win this game. We'll see. I so often rue that rue that moment though when I say that. Okay, so I'm spending four reds because I have two black converters. Yoink yoink. So I'm gonna build this under file, I guess. So it's a red. So I get a victory point and I get a pick and the pick will be a black, please, and then one out the top. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, next one. How many do you have actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. One. So we're one basically more. on the same. So it ends the round after you get sixteen. Then I can get my sixteenth one. Oh well, uh, yeah, possibly. That's probably how it works. Okay. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, because I'm the first player, so you will finish out. I'm gonna spend three. To build this one, which lets me pick one, which lets me get two from the top. I'm going to research level three. One, two, three, four. And. Oh, no! Oh, no! Now is the moment that I wish I had black marbles because, yikes, that is amazing. That is amazing. That is, oh, wow, yeah, yikes, yikes, this is gross. This is disgusting to me. <laughs> um, wow, I don't like any of these. So I'm just going to file one of them. I'll just do that. That was unfortunate, but when I file, I get a victory point. When I file, I get two picks and one out of the top. So um, I'll take, so first pick is a blue. When I pick a blue, I get one out of the top, please. Blue, and then I will take a, I will do another pick, which I will pick a blue. Oh, actually, you know, I, if I picked a 
black, I would get one out of the top. So yeah, sorry, I'm gonna swap this out for a black okay. so that I can get one out of the top, please. And then because I filed, I also just get one out of the top. And you're at your eight. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna spend these two to build this black. Three victory points, please. You get three vic, wow, okay. So I'm I gonna a, take these two. I get a million picks, but I just actually want the red. <clears throat> so this is my, uh, this is my dilemma, is I have all of these Oh, wait, am I 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I thought I had one more, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought there was one more round. Okay, well, I mean, I have all these marbles, so... Okay. Oh, that's a lot of points. That's eight points. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that's, that's the thing. not bad. All right. Cool. So well, let's see what happens. If you if you want this one, it's fine. It's fine. I will be sorely disappointed, but it'll be fine. You have so many points and points. That and that, yeah. Here. Yeah. I don't know. These are okay. So yeah, let's just count them up. How about this? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-two. 42. Yikes. That sucks. That is a sucky, sucky combo. Uh, okay, so this is, I have 8 marbles, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, 19 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I 28, mean, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah, okay, so I won okay. again. <laughs> 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 like, literally... This like every time we play this game, one is like, oh, you know, this this might be the time for us, and then she gets like twenty more points than me. <laughs> That's fair. Not an unusual occurrence in this household. So I mean, it's true what Kyle said. I probably could have been switching to the uh, like to researching from the higher higher stack yeah. cards earlier and stuff. I just wanted like, to try and play it a little bit safe. The fact that you let me get the one that was like that other three, the one that was like this, but for victory, I don't know where it went. That one. Like the one that you let me get that one um, for victory points, the doubler, instead of you taking it, was like... Well, I mean, I wasn't going deal. victory point heavy. Like, I didn't think you were going to end fair. the game with ten victory points, is the thing. You know what I mean? That's fair. So... I wasn't that victory point heavy when I was started going for it i guess they just exactly like i was yeah like we did have this game a particularly lot of building uh of, of build uh build benefits build benefits come yeah. out so yeah i thought i would need a calculator <sighs> for my score but my score was so pathetically low i didn't need a calculator <laughs> well kyle you officially win best friend of the evening yeah man congrats you stayed with us way late hopefully yeah hopefully you don't have anything ridiculous going on tomorrow so I, uh, I, I think I like Baron Park more than I like Gizmos, but Gizmos is a good, it's such a pure engine building game. So that's probably second. I love the triggering aspect. One thing lets you get like eight other things. <laughs> mm -hmm. That just makes me happy. It feels like Christmas, you know? <laughs> it's Halloween, just, honey. Yeah, I spent a dollar, you know, I mean, I spent a dollar and I got like five things from it. It's wonderful. It's yeah. like trick-or-treating. There you go. Yeah, it's like trick-or-treating, yeah. <laughs> Except if someone hands you a Snickers bar and you're like, I have this ability when someone hands me a Snickers bar, I also need to get two Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> Person's like, I can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> Said it was your special ability. Um, let's see. So top t t top tier games of of tonight for are for sure Baron Park, and then Gizmos, and Cacao. Really like Cacao. Like I think those are. Oh, it's so hard to say, but like those are some of the top tier mm. games for me. Um, Silver and gold. Silver and gold's really good. I really, really like Gingerbread House. So, Gizmos, Baron Park, Gingerbread House, Silver and Gold. Like, those are all... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Baron House, um, Ginger... Baron House? <laughs> Baron Park, Gingerbread House, <laughs> and Silver and Gold were all kind of at the same level. Okay. Like, if we were to, like... Like, we haven't done our top 100 in, like, a year or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if we really want to again, whatever, but... Um, yeah, those are fun to do. They're very simple level, yeah. Yeah, but uh, mm. I think I rate cacao higher than silver and gold, but I really like silver and gold. Gingerbread House comes underneath that for me. Um, just hang out with the family tomorrow? Yeah, cool. Nothing too huge. Yeah, yeah, the engine building is 
ridiculous in Gizmos. It is. It's it just tickles my fancy. It's so, so much more much. fun than Splendor. You know what I mean? Like Splendor yeah. is a pure engine building game, but the engine that you build is small and and puny. It takes a long time to feel like it gets going. Yes. Whereas this one is, it's done and it's finished. Like it doesn't feel like it takes too long to get going. And once it gets going, you're like, I still get to go more. Yeah, you get like a few turns of really appreciating how amazing your engine is, and then the game's over. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, I think Cloud City is, is in the lower tier of, of all the games. Like, yeah. it's great, but it doesn't have the same like sticking power as something like Gizmos. Gizmos is ludicrous. You know? Yeah. Um, and Silver and Gold is really charming for some reason. Like, I almost feel like it kind of should be like a lower tier i mean when i say lower tier i mean like these are still games that we all like like yeah pretty much all of them um but like i, I like silver and gold i look at it and, and i play it i start playing and i think like this is this is like an okay game and then by the end i'm like this is really fun you know it just kind of rises for me yeah um sushi go is sushi go so high oh, i forgot about that when i was saying my top four sushi go super up there too so this and Sushi Go are probably my top two. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think Baron Park is still my favorite. And then the other three are kind of like very similar level. Okay. Yeah, so Cloud City, good game, but not amazing. Yeah. Um, the Emoteps haven't really done it for me. Mm-hmm, me neither. I don't know if even playing Emotep at four player, like... It it's a just... lot of I think that you think, that you think that I think. So what are you going to... Yeah. What are we going to do? It adds in that abstract element to it that I don't love in games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think of Duel tonight? Um, Probably better than the other one. I don't remember the other one very well. I just remember that it was... It ha- It also had a lot of that, like, I think that you think that I think that I'm going to go here. Yeah. So you're going to take this boat, I think, because of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at least it was quick and simple. I, I appreciate that more when it's quick and simple. Yeah. Someone... Yeah. Now that I think about it, I remember someone saying that Emotep Duel is kind of like reverse Targi. <laughs> more uh, more variety for other games than Cloud City. Silver and Gold is an easy game to take on a date night for us. Yeah, it's true. true. You can just bring it with you anywhere. Yeah, not a ton of table space. Um, not a ton of date nights for us anymore. Actually, Friday nights are our date night. So this, yeah. this is our this is our big time together. This is our, yeah, I mean, today, yeah, so usually we bust out, like, one of our big Heavy classic games. games, like a Terraforming Mars this or a This time we just busted Odin. out, like, nine games. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. We've never done anything ridiculous like this before. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah. So, cool. So, Kyle, thanks for hanging out. Mm-hmm. It, it's been awesome. Thanks for everyone that, that came and watched. And if you're watching this later, thank you for watching six hours of us playing game after game. We hope that you get game. to gorge on candy tomorrow or at least something unhealthy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like battery acid. That's probably unhealthy, right? Yeah, that's less of something I would gorge on. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably fair. Probably fair. Anyways, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out to the stream. Um, uh, we'll just put this up once again. If you are mm-hmm. still watching, if if you have any means available to uh, donate to Giuseppe's uh, leukemia fund, that'd be radical because he's just a, such a great person. So again, thank you everyone for hanging out. Uh, Kyle, absolutely, you're welcome. It was really fun. I don't know the next time we plan on doing something silly like this again, but I mean, how cool is it? We played nine games in nine six games. hours. Whereas if we were to do like, let's do like every Alexander Fister game we own. <laughs> <laughs> Over the course of a month and a half. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would not be like a, a one evening, let's bust out nine games. Kind yeah. of thing, so. Well, we're Maple Overboard. Thanks for we're watching. Maple Overboard. <laughs> maple Overboard. <laughs> Thanks we, for watching. We are tired and going to go to sleep overboard. <laughs>